Chapter 151 Colossus Upgrade What the H, L is this? No. What kind of god is this? Everyone looked at the statue of Lu Chen in Li Dachuan's hand and fell into deep shock. Damn. This kid's faith has changed too quickly. Li Dachuan carefully wiped the statue of Chen Lu in his hand and slowly put it back into his coat. Then he looked at the confused people and said, From today on, the only god I believe in is God Lu Chen. And I officially announce that the Lu Chen sect is officially established today. I, Li Dachuan, am the first believer of the Lucian religion and am assuming the position of Archbishop. We, the Lucian sect, believe in the only true God in the world today. Lucian! Li Dachuan was impassioned and successfully imitated the master style. Coco, this leader is not a God. He is a human being. One of the team members hesitated and said. Li Dachuan smiled evilly and said with a certain amount of sarcasm, and a certain amount of pride. What do we pray to God for? It's for spiritual and material prosperity. Did Lucian give these to you? Everyone looked at each other, not knowing how to answer. Give it! Li Dachuan suddenly stepped on the chair with one foot. All given. Let's talk about the spirit first. He saved us from the aliens and saved our lives. Let us live in this safe base so that our spirits can become stable. Is this spiritual giving? Let's talk about material things. I wonder if this meal of food in front of you is something you have never seen before after the end of the world. And if you stay in the base, you can exchange for supplies as long as you work. Is this material giving? Li Dachuan slapped his thigh suddenly and gestured back and forth. Now that we have talked about this, you should have no doubts anymore. Everyone stared at each other, being fooled by Li Dachuan. Then I declare, Li Dachuan shouted. Lucian's sect was officially established today. After finishing speaking, Li Dachuan continued quickly. Join the Lucian sect now, and you will get many benefits. No membership dues. No tribute required. Sincerity leads to spirituality. And sincerity leads to spirituality. Li Dachuan was dancing and smiling, looking like a magic stick. I'll add it. Come on me. I'll add one. Everyone was persuaded by Li Dachuan and agreed to join. I have to say that the power of faith is still very powerful. Not to mention that Lu Chen really has this strength. After more than two hours, the celebration banquet finally came to an end. Lu Chen and Zhuang Yuan returned to Thunderstorm and took a nice warm bath. Letting Zhuang Yuan see and go to sleep in the back compartment first, Lu Chen opened the upgrade panel alone. It was time for him to upgrade his tank again. Through this annihilation of the beast tide, Lu Chen has reached 52nd level crystal nuclei and countless first level crystal nuclei. This means that he has basically obtained the freedom of the first and second crystal nuclei. The panel of the Colossus unfolded, and Lu Chen decided to use the only third level crystal core to upgrade the Colossus. Armor. Zero element armor. Upgrade the body armor to zero element armor. Zero element armor is neutron armor. It has higher density and performance. It can greatly increase the armor level and reduce the armor loss caused by energy weapons. Three levels are required. Crystal core one half. Shield. Deflection shield. Consumes huge energy to form an energy deflection barrier within 100 meters of the tank, which can neutralize enemy kinetic energy weapons and energy weapons to a certain extent. The required third level crystal core is one half. Arms. There are no upgrade skills at the current level. Energy. Cold fusion energy. Unlock the nuclear fusion fuel chamber and trigger nuclear fusion to provide energy for the tank. The energy acquisition and safety are far greater than fission energy and one half of the third level crystal core is required. Science and technology. Hyperspace communication. Each time you upgrade, you can get a hyperspace communication device. Chariots within the coverage of the communication device can communicate in real time. The required third level crystal core is 1 slash 1. Other functions to be unlocked. Without thinking much, Lu Chen directly photographed the third level crystal core on the hyperdimensional communication. Not just because his crystal core is only enough to upgrade this skill, but also because this skill is indeed very important. The crystal core shoots in, and the blue data line pours out. Overtime communication is being upgraded. While waiting for the upgrade, Luchin opened the crystal core analysis panel. Two of the crystal nuclei he had collected were finally put to use. One is the crystal core left by the tattooed man in Hong Yuan warehouse, which is the crystal core of the five lightning whips. After placing the crystal core into the tank, the analysis begins. Analysis object. Secondary crystal nucleus. Skills available for analysis. Electric energy surge. After unlocking, 
the tank's kinetic weapons will gain additional electric energy while increasing the attack power. It will also cause a paralysis effect on the opponent. When the paralysis effect is superimposed to a certain level, the opponent will have a certain chance of falling into a dazed state. Analysis cost, corresponding to one second level crystal core and 10 first level crystal cores. Analysis time, 6H. Perfect. Lu Chen couldn't help but say while looking at the analysis panel. He originally wanted to install this crystal core on lightning. But later, it was discovered that each tank could only have one additional skill. The corrosion bonus of lightning conflicts with this electric energy bonus. Lu Chen had no choice but to stay until now. After this battle with the beast tide, Lu Chen was surprised to find that unmanned combat aircraft could also adapt to this skill very well. Although this skill is equipped on the Colossus. It is part of the Colossus. Unmanned combat aircraft can also have this additional attribute. This is so cool. It feels so cool to think about fighter jets raining thunderstorm bullets from the sky. Without hesitation, Lu Chen chose to analyze with his thoughts. After choosing to analyze, Lu Chen took out another crystal core. Dropped by the man who controlled the crow in Hong Yuan Warehouse. Looking at the crystal core in his hand, Lu Chen couldn't help but sigh that Hong Yuan Warehouse was indeed the pinnacle of Nanchen's combat power. Many of the cores they drop are very useful. If Hong Yuan Warehouse did not choose to attack one by one at that time, but directly attacked with all its strength, at that time, I might not be able to beat him. It's a pity that Lu Chen put the crystal core into the analysis chamber. There is no if in this world. Analysis object. Secondary crystal nucleus. Skills available for analysis. Smart cluster. After unlocking, the vehicle will become easier to control and will gain certain smart effects such as smart cruise and smart weapon locking. Analysis cost, corresponding to one second level crystal core and 10 first level crystal cores. Analysis time, 6H. Perfect. It also perfectly fits the core of the Colossus. After loading this crystal core, the drone will turn on the automatic cruise effect, and the Wasp machine gun and Tomahawk missiles will unlock smart locks. Smart cruise can greatly reduce the amount of attention Luchin needs to control allowing him to control other tanks while using a fighter plane. And smart locking is even better news for body contours like Lu Chen. Without hesitation again, Lu Chen directly shot the crystal core in. Parsing starts. Chapter 152 The hunting begins. Overtime communication upgrade completed. As the system beeped, information that a hyperspace communication device could be installed appeared in Lu Chen's mind. Following the instructions, he came to the failed metal tower. This operation will activate the metal tower communication function and unlock overtime communication, whether to activate it or not. Chase Lu's thought choice was, and the next second, the top of the metal tower began to rotate. The bright white mechanical device at the top of the spire spins faster and faster, faster and faster, until finally, a blue laser shot into the sky. The dark clouds looked as if stones had been thrown into the pond. Blue ripples spread out in all directions. Overtime communication has been unlocked. Signal anchor. Shanda Group Metal Tower. In the area centered on the anchor point. As long as the tank is registered in the tank group system, you can enjoy real-time communication. Note, ordinary tanks can also register and log into the tank group system to enjoy overtime communication. After reading the message, Lu Chen came directly to the garage without saying a word. Fortunately, Shanda Group's garage is large enough to park all the tanks inside. Lu Chen's thoughts flashed, and a blue scanning line shot out from his left eye. His eyes only need to stay on an ordinary tank for three seconds to register the tank into the tank group system. After walking around the garage twice, Lu Chen made sure that all the tanks were scanned into the tank group system. Returning to Thunderstorm, he reopened the panel and came to the tank group system. Fleet information. Qian, small tank armor status, 100%. Fuel reserve, 100%. Registered Personnel Information, Lu Chen, Zhuang Yuan, Lightning, Small Tank Armor Status, 100%, Energy Reserve, 100%, Registered Personnel Information, Lu Chen, Yudan, Xiao Shui, Xiao Xiang, Xiao Yang, Crazy Bee, Small Tank Armor Status, 100%, Fuel Reserve, 100%, Registered Personnel Information, Lu Chen, Thunderstorm, Medium Tank Armor Status, 100%. Nuclear fuel reserve. 100%. Registered personnel information. Lu Chen. Colossus. Large tank armor status. 100%. Nuclear energy reserve. 100%. Registered personnel information. Lu Chen. 
Ordinary Tanks. Number 127. Seeing that ordinary tanks were only generally summarized with numbers, Lu Chen expanded the specific information and classified all tanks into categories. In this way, when the time comes for communication, there is no need to find a specific tank separately. You can directly call the entire fleet according to the fleet number, which is more convenient and faster. The total number of tanks is composed of 112 vehicles in the main fleet and 15 vehicles in the Shanda Group fleet. Considering that the Beast Wave is passed, Shanda Group does not need additional defense. Chase Lu merged the Shanda Group's tanks into the main fleet to make up for the tanks lost in this battle. At this point, the 127 tanks were still divided into 15 ordinary fleets and special operations teams by Lu Chen. It is worth mentioning that Rong Hubiao, as Lu Chen's next key training target, has also been included in the main team. The teams with superpowers in the team are the number 1 Lin Zhuang team, the number 7 Yu Ji team, and the number 9 Rong Hubi team. After everything was arranged, Lu Chen closed the panel with satisfaction and returned to the thunderstorm car. Just wait for the analysis of the Crystal Core to be completed early tomorrow morning. And the Colossus Combat Power will receive another qualitative improvement. Entering the quiet bedroom space, Zhuang Yuan had fallen asleep, and there was a hint of fragrance lingering in the air. Chase Lu lay gently on the bed, wrapped in a velvet quilt. Early the next morning, all the chariots gathered in the square. Lu Chen and the team members explained the hyperspace communication technology and how to use it. Everyone was amazed by this amazing technology. You must know how important communication between convoys is in the end of the world, let alone this kind of ultra-large scale communication across time and space. After Lu Chen finished speaking, Rong Biao stepped onto the high platform and delivered today's mobilization speech. He cleared his throat and looked at Chase Lu, who nodded, which gave him confidence. Rong Biao stood still on the stage, silently read the already familiar manuscript, and said in a deep voice, Dear warriors, dear relatives and friends, since the end of the world broke out, our world is occupied by zombies and alien species, and all life is in ruins. They devour our people and destroy our cities, surrounding us in layers of high walls and dark corners. We can't eat fresh food. We can't see great rivers and mountains. We have lost our entertainment life and our equality and freedom. Our soldiers fight against monsters every day and narrowly escape death. Thousands of years of race are on the verge of extinction. And thousands of years of civilization are destroyed in one fell swoop. These beasts deserve to die. Rong Biao raised his arms and shouted impassionedly. His speech ignited everyone's emotions. Everyone in the base responded with enthusiasm. And blood rushed to their hearts. Just yesterday, we were victorious against those beasts. Killing them until their blood flowed like rivers. Let them see the anger of us humans. And today... We will open a new chapter of the end of the world. We will hunt down the beast hide. Rong Biao's veins popped out. He raised his arms and roared. His loud shouts echoing through the sky. We have to kill all those beasts and let them know who is the master of this world. Open the city gate. Rong Biao gave an order. And the mechanical door slowly opened with a bang. Let's go! Let's go! Let us vent our anger! This chapter is not finished yet. Please click on the next page to continue reading the exciting content. Kill! 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 Go ahead. Rong Biao's speech brought the atmosphere to a climax. The convoys started their engines and poured out of the base with a huge roar. Family members stood on both sides of the gate waving goodbye. Although they were worried. They knew it. This battle must be fought. Humanity will never be fenced in. The convoy rushed out of the gate and started a new chapter of hunting. This is a human counterattack. Rong Biao looked at the motorcade driving into the distance and murmured to himself. Damn old man. Don't die outside. Inside the base. Under the leadership of Li Dachuan. Everyone around them closed their eyes and prayed. God in heaven. Love our God Lu. You are the true God who is all powerful in the last days. Thank you and praise you. We recite your name and pray for the safe return of all warriors. Lumen. The large troops that poured out of the base spread out under Lu Chen's order and moved through the city. Orange Light Avenue. Safe. Red Pepper State Office. Safe. Cripple Street. Safe. Through hyperspace communication. The teams can communicate with each other at all times and support each other. It was precisely after unlocking this technology that Luchin dared to carry out this task. It can be said that the previous teams became separate entities as soon as they left the base. But now the team seemed to have formed a big network. 
and they can report to each other whenever there is an abnormality. A single move affects the whole body. Under Lu Chen's instructions, the convoy marched towards the south. Call, call. Chariots roared past the city roads, picking up debris all over the sky. Roaring chariots swarm around the city like a pack of wolves killing prey. From today on, the ecological status of humans and alien species will completely change. Chapter 153 Marching into Nanchung and the Alien Deer King Hai Chung At a certain subway exit, fireworks flickered on the heavy iron door, and a red fire blade poked out from inside. The fire blade drew a huge doorway into the iron wall. With a bang, the cut iron door fell outward. A man stood at the iron door. His arm was red. And it turned out to be the sharp blade just now. Watching the iron gate fall, he withdrew his power. And his arm gradually cooled down and returned to its original appearance. The passage is open. Come up. He raised the intercom and said. As soon as he finished speaking, the rumble of the engine came from the ground. The man stood aside and saw a row of steel chariots rushing out of the subway exit. Those tanks were all loaded with heavy armor. With a total of eight tires on the bottom of the vehicle, and four shooting holes on both sides of the vehicle. A total of 16 steel chariots were lined up outside the subway entrance. The fire knife men boarded a chariot and picked up the communicator. Chief, successful landing. Yes, the future of the base is in your hands. I wish you good luck. Xiongwu will definitely live up to his mission, said the fire knife man named Xiongwu. Let's go! A voice came from the communicator. The steel convoy set off towards the south under Yugo's order the Salvation Army, headquarters hub. There were a lot of people waiting in the metal room. Boss, it's just reconnaissance. Do we need to send so many troops? Yes, sir. It's just a small Nanchung. Just as Lin Ji hung up Zhong was call, someone asked from below. He smiled, and the communicator in his hand quickly transformed into the armrest on the metal seat. No matter how weak the enemy is, we still need to pay attention. Lin Ji stood up, and switched to the map of Nanchung City on the LCD screen. Nanchung City is the top priority of our next plan, and we must not make any mistakes. Underestimating the enemy is often the first step to failure, and I hate failure. He glanced down coldly, with an expression of indifference. The leader's teaching is correct. Your Excellency is wise. Everyone below quickly expressed their appreciation. Hearing the appreciation, Lin Ji's expression actually relaxed a little. Let the logistics team reblock the road they just left. Linji waved his hand and sat back on the throne. At the subway exit, a group of people rushed there. They took out various welding tools and prepared to repair the holes. Damn it! How did you open such a thick iron door? One of the team members said. The others in the team looked at him with disgust. Idiot! This is Lord Yugo's fire sword. There is nothing in this world that he can't cut with one sword. The team member muttered and whispered. Hey! There are some things you can't cut. You just haven't seen them. What are you talking about? Several people yelled. It's okay. It's okay. Suddenly a man stepped in and stood between the team member and everyone. He comes from a small place and has never seen much of the world. The man said with a smile on his face. Everyone made a sound and turned to work. The man took off his hood and revealed a familiar face. Kamikaze nudged the team member next to him. Shut up and get to work. After they escaped the flames of the Vulcan last time, they were assigned to another logistics team. Today, I suddenly received an urgent mission and came to repair this exit. The team members used a robotic arm to lift the iron plate up, align it with the hole, and weld it. Captain, you said that Lord Yugo opened this iron wall? Kamikaze was working while talking to a more senior man next to him. If it's not him, could it be you? The man choked him, and everyone laughed. Kamikaze's expression remained unchanged, and he continued to ask. Are you going out on a mission? Why did you break the door? He <laughs> he. The man smiled mysteriously. It's a mission, and it's related to you. Is it related to us? Well, they are going to fight the bandits in your hometown. After the man finished speaking, everyone burst into laughter. Kamikaze was stunned after hearing this. Nan? Nanchung? Isn't it Nanchung? How many other hometowns do you have? Could it be that you are not a mixed race? The man and everyone else threw their heads back and laughed. But their laughter could no longer reach Kamikaze's ears. Kamikaze turned his head to look at his team members in a daze, looking at each other speechlessly. What kind of thing do you think this is? They went through great hardships and finally escaped from Nanchung. When I came to this base, I thought I could live in peace and contentment. 
they endured being roasted by fire and ridiculed. Who would have thought that these desperate people would definitely go to Nanchung? Hey! Hey! Why didn't you say anything? Do you have a little wife at home? The man elbowed the kamikaze twice. Kamikaze turned to look at him with a wry smile on his face and couldn't help cursing in his heart. Damn you idiots. Whoever messes with this special code in your family is not good. You are going to mess with the king of heaven. Signs of a beast tide were found on Hedong Avenue. Traces of a beast tide were found on Hedong Avenue. Signs of the beast tide were also found on Hedongsi Avenue. The information of the two convoys was transmitted into the Colossus from the communicator. Please keep your distance and launch high-altitude reconnaissance, Luchin said. And then his thoughts flashed. And the drone swarm started. The Colossus was driving at high speed. The rear compartment slowly unfolded. And black and gold fighter jets soared into the sky. Thanks to the swarm control skills. He now does not need to stop and concentrate on controlling the fighter plane. The control of the fighter plane now only takes up a little bit of the computing memory in his brain. After the fighter plane took off, it quickly rushed to Hedong Street, where the situation occurred. The high-definition camera was turned on, and real-time pictures were transmitted to Lu Chen's mind. He seemed to be flying in the clouds at the moment, with the entire Nanchung at his feet. Scouting from high altitude, Lu Chen soon discovered a group of wildly running heterogeneous deer. Attention! All convoys! Attention! All convoys! Approaching Hedong Avenue! A tide of beasts has been discovered! Please keep your distance! Receive! Receive! After issuing the order, he also drove close to Hedong Avenue. At the same time, he controlled the fighter plane in his mind to pass over the alien deer herd and drive forward. He wants to find the third generation species who leads this beast tide. Not long after, a building collapsed and Lu Chen found the third generation species running wildly. The fighter plane accelerated suddenly, lowered its body, and transmitted the appearance of the third generation species into Lu Chen's mind. It was a huge alien deer king, with the horns on its head standing like a mountain. Chapter 154 Angry Beasts After observing the deer king, Lu Chen controlled the giant statue with one hand, stretched out the other hand, and opened his palm. Using his fingers, he can better feel the flight attitude of the fighter plane. Compared with purely conscious operations, you can perform more subtle movements with your fingertips. Each of Lu Chen's five fingers accurately control the corresponding fighter plane. I saw his fingertips move slightly, and the five fighter planes immediately staggered up and down. The two lowered their fuselage and flew towards the ground to observe the wave of beasts from a closer distance. The other three fighter planes flew high into the sky to provide a wider field of view and detect the overall scope of this wave of beasts. After a period of careful observation, Lu Chen obtained more detailed information about this wave of beasts. The beast tide spanned six streets in total and was nearly a kilometer long. This means that once a battle occurs, one's own front will be stretched very long. Moreover, there are not only heterogeneous deer in the beast tide, but also an astonishing number of rats at their feet. These smaller aliens can easily break through the fire net and cause damage to the back row. The good news is, these aliens are not able to climb buildings like the alien apes. Therefore, their attacks will basically be limited to land, and there will be no threat in the air. Team 3 and 4. Speed up and follow up. 9. Team 13 slows down and keeps a distance. After analyzing the opponent's strengths and weaknesses, Luchin adjusted the positions of each team from high altitude. He must ensure that the team is in the right position with the beast tied. Once the battle starts, ensure enough output space while not allowing the opponent to escape. Zhuang Yuan, when we come to the middle section of Hishi East Avenue, you are responsible for sniping the mutant deer king head-on. Yudan, Lead the team to detour from Guangcheng Road to the side of the beast tide. After completing the final fine-tuning of the super tank, Lu Chen stared closely at the alien deer king, his eyes gradually becoming sharper. To shoot a man. Shoot a horse first. To capture a thief. Capture the king first. In the last battle with the alien apes, we failed to deal with the ape king immediately, which resulted in our own side suffering huge losses. This time he will directly carry out the beheading operation. With a slight movement of his fingers, five fighter jets caught up with the alien deer king from the flanks and entered its line of sight. The deer king's eyes with dark blue pupils noticed the fighters on both sides, but it just rolled its eyes and didn't react. I guess I thought some big birds were flying nearby. Just in time, the corners of Lu Chen's mouth were slightly raised. So I'll give you a hard slap. I saw his fingers move slightly, and the side of the tomahawk missile popped open automatically. 
With the help of intelligent cluster skills, the red aiming center automatically locked onto the Deer King according to Lu Chen's thoughts. Two locked on its left and right eyes. Two locked on its two hind legs. And one locked on its anus. The locked crosshair kept flashing, which was predicting the movement trajectory of the Deer King. I have to say that this function is really great for Lu Chen. Convoys prepare! Lu Chen shouted into the communicator. The war has begun! Swish swish. Lu Chen flicked his fingertips. And five Tomahawk missiles shot out of the air. Because of the additional lightning. When the missile passed by, it left a brilliant arc in the sky. In an instant, five missiles accurately hit the part Lu Chen wanted to hit. Boom! A violent explosion sounded. Accompanied by a strong electric current. The Deer King, who was running very fast a second ago, let out a painful scream and fell to the ground. Bang! The missiles that hit its eyes caused it to lose its vision. And the two missiles that hit its hind legs made it lose its forward momentum. Coupled with the high energy current attached to the missile, the Deer King was knocked down in an instant. After falling to the ground, its huge body rolled over on the street. The ground cracked. Gravel flew. And a large number of alien species were crushed into bloody foam. But this was not the end. Five fighter planes lowered their bodies and flew over the herd close to the ground. The wasp machine gun with electric power is fully firing. Two, 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 two. Five fighter planes fired in a salvo. And a heavy rain of bullets roared from the sky. Luchin didn't need to bother aiming. Every bullet fired from the machine gun could accurately hit the vital parts of the aliens. There was another bloodbath. And it rained blood instantly on the broad street. The fighter plane immediately caught up with the alien Deer King. Its nose was raised. And the other five Tomahawk missiles were ready. Whizzing. Another five bullets were fired. Luchin had no intention of giving the other party a chance to resist. See la la. The missiles carrying electric current pierced the sky and arrived in front of the Deer King in an instant. Just before the hit, a roar came. When the Deer King was rolling, he forcibly twisted his body and aimed at the missile with his huge horns. Boom. When the explosion sounded, Lu Chen immediately raised the fighter plane to observe the battle situation from the air. The moment the Deer King fell to the ground, the speed of the beast tide was affected. After the opponent entered the shooting range, the convoy immediately opened fire. Bullets rained down from the sky and the chaotic beast wave lost most of them in this initial confrontation. Slow down, stop, and get into defensive formation. Lu Chen's order came out. Weapon range is their only advantage, and they must control the distance and make good use of this advantage. Under Lu Chen's order, the convoy stopped quickly and formed a formation on six streets. Lu Chen let the fighter plane hover in the sky for reconnaissance. After the smoke and sparks from the explosion dissipated, the Deer King slowly stood up from the ground. Its mountain-like antlers were gleaming with silver, and its blasted wounds were healing at a speed visible to the naked eye. It actually defended against the attack of five Tomahawk missiles. Luchin couldn't help but be surprised. You must know that missiles with additional electric energy are the most powerful long-range output in the fleet except for the disintegration laser. Roar! The Deer King let out a long and heavy roar, lowered his head slightly, and used his antlers to block the rain of bullets. Under its shouts, the chaotic beast tide gradually calmed down. The deer also faced the direction of the bullets with their antlers on their heads, while the rats hide beneath their bodies. Roar! With another angry roar, the beast tide launched a charge in the direction of the large army. It's faster, going faster than they can. Lu Chen realized. These aliens are enraged. This group of bloodthirsty creatures realized that they were being slaughtered, and the violent alien blood surged crazily in their bodies. Full fire! Full fire! The third generation species is not dead. The beast tide is charging! Lu Chen shouted at the communicator, while controlling the fighter plane to rush back to the battlefield from behind. Fish eggs! Attack the beast tide from the flanks! Zhuang Yuan! Prepare the disintegration laser! We must block this charge. If the beast tide is allowed to break through the defense line in this inconvenient street, the team will be destroyed. He won't allow this to happen again. Chapter 155 A Real Man Must Face the Truth As the deer turned around and charged, the pursuit immediately turned into a positional battle. The convoy that originally chased the herds, but for output will now face the risk of being collided head-on by the herd. Full fire! Full fire! Lu Chen's roar echoed in the communicator. Rong Hubiu could tell that Lu Chen's voice was no longer as calm as before, and he was obviously not afraid of losing the battle, but afraid that the beast herd would cause a large attrition of team members. 
the last Ape King incident had a huge impact on Luchin. Neighing sounds resounded throughout the world, and a dense herd of beasts in the distance were charging forward. Their antlers withstand most heavy machine gun fire. Bullets no longer deal as much damage as they did in the first wave. These beasts are angry, Rong Hubyam muttered. Then he took out the rifle next to him and kicked open the car door. Captain! Captain! Where are you going? Asked the team member next to him. Rong Hubi glanced at him, picked up the communicator, and switched to the captain's channel. This channel is connected to each team captain, and neither Lu Chen nor Zhuang Yuan can hear it. Brothers, do you hear that the leader is worried about us? Although I, Rong Hubiao, am not very powerful, I am not a child who needs constant protection from others. If this wave of beasts comes over, we will have no way out in a place like this. If you are a man, just get out of the car with me and face these bastards. Let these anxious beasts see what anger is. A real man must be straightforward. After saying that, Rong Hubia turned around and got out of the car, and walked to the front of the car with his rifle raised. The ferocious alien species are coming like a tide. Heavy machine gun bullets whizzed overhead. The hot blood was boiling in his chest. Rong Hubia took aim with his gun. Just when he was about to launch, there was a bang and a rocket flew out. The rocket accurately hit a crazy mutant deer, blowing it into a bloody mess. Rong Hubia turned around and saw the tall Yuji walking forward while reloading ammunition. Women can also be frontal, Yuji said coldly. Then it knelt down on one knee, took aim with the rocket on its shoulder, and fired another shot. Okay, okay, Rong Hubi praised in his heart. This was the benefactor who saved her on the city wall last time. Two, 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 two. In addition to the ravages of heavy machine guns, the battlefield was soon joined by noisy gunfire. More and more team members rushed out of the chariot and opened fire on the herd in front. Captain, we are here. A team member patted Rong Hubia's hand and walked forward. Rong Hubia grinned widely, thinking that his shouting was in vain this time, because he felt that this group of people would rush to the front even without their own mobilization. Good. Rong Hubia yelled angrily and pulled the safety switch sharply. Let's kill these beasts together. Two, 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 two. Boom, boom. Heavy firepower shoots at the large target mutant deer. Rifle firepower shoots at the mutated rats underneath. And the rocket launcher causes range damage. In a symphony of guns and cannons, the momentum of the beast tide was suppressed again. Fighter support arrived and found that all the team members got out of the car and roared and opened fire. Luchin suddenly realized, this is a group of warriors. This is a group of warriors who have survived in the apocalypse for so long. Their resilience and courage far exceeded his expectations. They are not children who need constant care. And they themselves are not nannies. Worrying about the attrition of subordinates, while busy running for their lives is completely contrary to the original intention of command. He should do a good job in command and deployment. And trust these soldiers with the rest. Fighter planes pass by at low altitude. And the expressions of stubborn resistance of the soldiers came into Lu Chen's eyes. He chuckled. What a great job. These people. Then he pointed his arm towards the sky. And the fighter plane quickly pulled up. After completing a 180 degree spin in the air, he went straight towards the alien deer king. Do what you should do, and trust your teammates for the rest. Clear the main avenue of Hadong. Clear the main avenue of Hadong. Lu Chen is going to have a real man showdown with the Deer King on the main road. The first step in a real man showdown is to shake people. Zhuang Yuan. The maximum power of the cracking laser. Prepare to support. Yes. Yudan. Approach the main road with all your strength and prepare for support. Yes. After giving the order, Lu Chen clenched his fists with five fingers. The tail wing of the fighter jet spurted out blue flames, spurting towards the Deer King. The wasp machine gun began to idle, and a whole process of killing enemies emerged in his mind. It will be a precise and elegant massacre. Fire! With a slight movement of your finger. Five fighter planes. Ten machine guns. Full firepower. All the bullets were shot towards the Deer King's left front leg under Lu Chen's thoughts. This is not an ordinary bullet but a bullet with electrical energy to increase damage. Moreover, the fighter plane shot from all angles, and the deer king simply could not block them all with his horns. It roared angrily and blood spurted out from its left front leg. Seeing that it couldn't stop the bullets from the wasp machine gun, it simply stopped blocking them. Its recovery ability is very strong, and this little damage cannot hinder its progress. The deer king buried his head and roared, sprinting forward with all his strength. It is going to destroy the fleeing convoy in front. 
just as the dear king was halfway through rushing through the pain. Zhuang Yuan rushed out in a thunderstorm. The muzzle at the front of the car has begun to rotate. And a disintegration laser is accumulating power. The dear king noticed the huge energy fluctuations and knew that it was a very powerful weapon. So he lowered his head and prepared to resist the blow with his antlers. It has complete trust in its antlers for absolute defense. Chase Lu smiled when he saw it burying its head in charge. Because all this is expected. Lu Chen was not sure whether the cracking laser could penetrate the antlers' defense. But he was sure that the disintegrating laser would not hit the antlers. Suddenly, the running deer king suddenly felt that his left leg had lost feeling. The next moment, its body tilted and fell to the ground. Its antlers could no longer stand between it and death. Launch! Lu Chen ordered. Boom! The energy of the disintegrating laser poured out. And the powerful laser instantly penetrated the body of the alien deer king. A thundering roar came out. And the alien blood in the deer king's body instantly vaporized. Releasing clouds of steam. Lu Chen's mouth curled up slightly. Although the bullet could not cause substantial damage to it. But the electrical energy attached to the bullet is accumulated bit by bit. When it accumulates to a certain level. Its entire leg will be temporarily paralyzed. This is the opportunity Chase Lu has been waiting for. The alien deer king was not dead yet. It lay limply on the ground and howled. The wounds on his body are healing at an extremely fast speed. Lu Chen clenched his arms downwards, and the fighter plane dived towards the deer king on the ground. Next comes the finishing stage. Chapter 156 Unexpected Gain As the fighter plane approaches, the wasp machine gun continues to fire, superimposing the paralysis effect. When the fighter plane passed over the head of the deer king, Lu Chen's thoughts flashed. Fiery red flames appeared out of thin air in midair. Space teleportation. The next moment, Lu Chen teleported into the red flames. Fishball! Fire support! He gave the order, then adjusted Chian's landing posture with one hand, and controlled the fighter plane to enter cruise mode with the other hand. If he breaks away from the Colossus, he will lose control of the fighter plane. But after loading the smart cluster skills, the fighter jet can enter smart cruise mode. That is, it can automatically navigate in the air without control and provide automatic fire assistance. Boom! The red flame fell to the ground with a loud noise. And smoke and dust flew everywhere. Without any hesitation, Lu Chen turned the steering wheel with one hand and stepped on the accelerator to the bottom. With a terrifying friction sound, Qi Yen completed a 180 degree U turn. The raptor swings its tail. After adjusting the direction, Lu Chen activated the flamethrower with his mind and four fire dragons surged towards the deer king's fallen body. At the same time, the fighter planes returning from cruising and the lightning blasts coming out from the flanks were also firing on all cylinders. Bullets with corrosive venom and bullets with electric energy are fired alternately. Huh. The deer king let out a mournful roar as he realized that he was about to die. The three super tanks joined forces and finally broke through the deer king's self-healing system. The speed of flesh and blood healing could not keep up with the speed of wound rupture. The Deer King's body is gradually collapsing. The disintegration laser is charged. Zhuang Yuan's voice came. After Lu Chen and Yudan jointly attacked for several rounds, the cracking laser was once again ready. Emission! Lu Chen shouted. And at the same time, he quickly distanced himself from Yudan. It's also uncomfortable to be affected by this thing. Boom! A huge roar sounded. Like the sun shining brightly. Yudan and the other boys quickly closed their eyes. But they still didn't have time. The four people in the car seemed to have been hit by a flash bomb. And their vision was filled with red light. Lu Chen had already taken out his sunglasses from the supernatural space and put them on. While waiting for the laser to be released. I had to drink a glass of red wine leisurely and elegantly. High class. Waiting for the aftermath of the laser to dissipate. Chase Lu drove the red flame forward to check. The originally huge body of the deer king was now only a puddle of black and rotten flesh. With a flash of thought. Two third-level crystal nuclei entered the space. Lu Chen was about to close the space. But suddenly he was stunned. Etc? Two? Why did two of them explode at once? In order to make sure that he had not made a mistake, Lu Chen took another look. Sure enough, there are two. Ah! Chase Lu was surprised. He always thought that you could only have one crystal core like a devil fruit. But now I didn't expect that this deer exploded into two? Could it be said that the third generation seed can be integrated into the second crystal core? Without worrying about it, Lu Chen teleported back to the Colossus and took Qi Yin back into the vehicle space. Yudan! Zhuang Yuan! 
You support the remaining battlefields. Good. After giving the order, Lu Chen also resumed control of the fighter plane. Observe the entire battlefield from the sky. Thanks to the heroic struggle of the soldiers. All fronts have entered the final stage. The bloody alien deer herd did not break through the firepower of the convoy. Occasionally, some small things like alien rats and squirrels broke through the defense line and were quickly killed by the soldiers. After the death of the deer king, the beast tide was even more defeated. Now many warriors have reboard the chariots and are chasing the escaping alien species. Attention! All convoys! Don't pursue too far! The remaining convoys began to clean the battlefield and count the number of people as soon as possible. Seeing that no help was needed on each battlefield, Chase Lu sent the fighter plane back and entered the Colossus to replenish energy. While waiting for them to clean the battlefield, Lu Chen opened the panel and studied the two falling crystal cores. After putting each into the analysis and transformation room for study, Lu Chen knew the skills corresponding to the two crystal nuclei. One of them has healing abilities. Implanted into the human body, the subject can have powerful and savage vitality. When equipped on a chariot, it is a defensive armor that gives the chariot life and can be automatically repaired. The other one is a speed type ability. It can be implanted into the human body and can increase the movement speed of the subject. Equipped on a chariot, it unlocks a sprint skill that allows the chariot to dash forward and cause damage to targets in its path. After reading the skill introduction, Lu Chen confirmed that these two crystal cores were indeed dropped from the Deer King. Because the abilities they analyzed match the abilities of the Deer King. These two abilities are not particularly useful for tanks and do not arouse Lu Chen's interest. But what he cares about is why the Deer King can produce two crystal nuclei. Did it suck the same kind of food? Can humans and advanced zombies be like this? The emergence of this information means that future enemies may become more powerful. One ability may have shortcomings, but multiple abilities can make up for each other. In short, this is a very important news. After thinking about it for a while, Lu Chen closed the analysis panel and came to the upgrade panel of the Colossus. There are good and bad aspects to this news. The bad thing is that the enemy may become more powerful. The good thing is, the number of drop cores will also increase. For example, if you only kill a third generation species this time, you can unlock Colossus's skills. Without hesitation, Lu Chen slapped the crystal core on the deflection shield. When used, a huge amount of energy is consumed to form an energy deflection barrier within 100 meters of the tank. It can neutralize enemy kinetic energy weapons and energy weapons to a certain extent. This ability is undoubtedly an excellent choice for team battles. In the future, he won't be too afraid of aliens like the Monkey King who can attack from a distance. When the deflector shield was upgraded, the large forces were also clearing the battlefield. This time the team finally achieved zero losses of tanks and team members. However, Several team members were injured. Some were attacked by alien rats. And one was shot in the butt by a team member. Other than that, there was no damage at all. Regarding crystal nuclei, apart from Lu Chen's two third level crystal nuclei, there are still 19 second level crystal nuclei and 500 first level crystal nuclei. After listening to the captain's report, Lu Chen couldn't help but smile. Compared with the last battle, this time can be regarded as a complete victory. Keep going! The hunting is not over yet. Lu Chen shouted into the communicator. Go ahead. Kill! 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 All the team members responded to the call. This victory also greatly increased their confidence. Facing the beast tide led by the third generation species. Zero casualties can be achieved. This means that they have enough power to protect their lives in the last days. Chapter 157 Wrong Prediction After clearing the alien deer herd, the large army continued to sweep towards the south because continuing south will exceed the range of Shanda Group's communication anchor point. So from behind, Lu Chen could only gather the convoy and further reduce the scope of reconnaissance. However, after a long period of time, the team never discovered the movement of the beast tide again. Now the convoy has passed the distance that Lu Chen predicted that the beast tide would reach today. Lu Chen started thinking while driving the Colossus. It shouldn't be. Judging from the detection situation on the first day, the scale of the beast tide cannot be that small. The only possibility for this situation is that the beast tide has exceeded the range he predicted. My prediction was based on the moving distance of the first wave of beasts. On the first day, they passed by the bases of the Firebird Gang and the Xiaofian Gang, which had defensive forces. The big strongholds in the middle of Nancheng have been cleared by themselves. So they don't need to stay. 
So now the speed of the bee's tide has far exceeded my prediction. Luchin woke up like a dream. This is bad. If we go south at this speed, the bee's tide will most likely have landed on the death angel. Gather the whole team. Set off at full speed towards the angel of death. On the rooftop of a certain single-family building, three people were standing in a group fighting against the landlord. A pair of kings! One player slammed the cards on the ground and showed a proud smile. This is the last one. Explode! Lindachui threw the four twos on the ground and showed an even more proud smile. The team member looked at Lindachui's proud smile and rushed forward to strangle his neck. Lindachui! Let me hack your mother! Hit me how you want! Beat me! Lindachui whined as his neck was strangled. After a few seconds, with the help of another team member, the two were separated. How many times? How many times? I belong to your family. Why are you constantly bombarding me? Lindachui took a few long breaths. And then he remembered that the man was from the same family as him. He had no choice but to scratch his head and said, I can't help it. It's so exciting. You go ahead. Another team member shouted. Lindachui smiled. A3. An ace. The landlord wins. Another team member shouted with a smile. Lindachui. Lindachui's teammates were about to spit out the fragrance when the observer with a telescope next to him suddenly shouted. They're coming! They're coming! The three of them immediately jumped up from the ground. And Lin Dachui took the telescope. Sure enough, we saw a wave of alien species rushing towards us from a distance. Go! He yelled. The four people immediately turned around and went downstairs. Rushing into the communications vehicle parked downstairs. The communication vehicle is a tank equipped with high-power communication equipment modified by Lin Dachui. Lu Qing gave them the order the night he left the angel of death. That is to say, Nancheng City is about to be invaded by a beast wave, and the base must expand the scope of detection, and their team is one of the mobile sentries released by the base. A large number of alien species appeared in the direction of Donglin Department Store. A large number of alien species appeared in the direction of Donglin Department Store. Lin Dachui controlled the communication vehicle and rushed back while the team members next to him used the communication device to transmit information to the base. Even though Luchin had already said H, low, Lindachui was still shocked by the scale and speed of the beast tide. Can this be won? Can this special code win? The communication vehicle sped towards the base, and several communication vehicles that set off with them appeared in the surrounding area. The heavy machine guns on the base gate are all ready, and all kinds of rocket soldiers are also in place. Outside the base, there are also flame trenches that have been built in the past few days. Just when he set off this morning, Lin Dachui felt that these things were enough. But after witnessing the scale of the beast tide with his own eyes, he fell into deep doubt again. Communication vehicles entered the base one after another, and the half-closed door was firmly closed. Lin Dachui grabbed the door and got out of the car, running up to the top of the city wall. Li Gang stood in the center of the city wall, looking calmly into the distance. In my impression, Li Gang seems to have always been a person who never changes his mind even when the mountain collapses. Thank you for your hard work, Li Gang said as he saw Lin Dachui hurriedly climbing onto the city wall. Lin Dachui wiped the sweat from his head and said, It's not hard work. The hard work is still behind. The two of them looked into the distance again in silence and saw densely packed alien species coming in like a tide. Every time he saw these monsters, Lin Dachui would wonder where these things came from. Are there really so many living things on earth? Can you win? Lin Dachui asked silently. As soon as these words came out, Li Gang suddenly turned his head and looked at him. Lin Dachui immediately realized that he had said the wrong thing. On the battlefield, such words that disturb the morale of the troops will be punished by death. He lowered his head silently, waiting for Li Gang's scolding. You have to win even if you can't win. Li Gang didn't rebuke him. He just said word by word. Lin Dachui froze on the spot. Yes, the residents in this base all depended on him. At this juncture, the only way to win is to fight to the death. The alien swarm is getting closer and closer, and the outline can be seen without a telescope. Lin Dachui kept trembling between his legs. Even though he was determined to die, his fear could not be suppressed. Although he looks rough, he is just a young programmer in his early 20s. Heavy machine gun ready! Li Gang shouted calmly. Can't hold it. This was his first reaction when he saw this wave of beasts. As the captain of the guard army, he knows the base's defense capabilities best. So he immediately judged that it was impossible for the base to complete this wave of defense. 
The number of beasts far exceeded the leader's prediction. But you can't withdraw? Even if he knew that failure was certain, he could not take a step back. Like the trenches, he shouted. Two wide trenches, watered with firewood and gasoline, were grazed by a bullet. A raging fire ignited, which was the flame barrier between them and the alien species. In a few seconds, the alien species was about to enter the range of the heavy machine gun. Brothers, we are the last defense of the Angel of Death. With us here, these beasts can't even get close to the base. Li Gang picked up the communicator and roared. He had never been so excited before. But this time is different. This time it is a battle with even less chance of winning than the Corpse King. He must raise the morale and confidence of the soldiers. Kill those beasts for me! Li Gang raised his arms and roared deafeningly. Captain! Captain! There's a situation! The observer suddenly pulled the indignant Li Gang and said. What? Li's newly ignited emotions were interrupted, and he took the telescope in his hand. I saw that the beast tie composed of various different species fell into chaos. Some of them turned their heads. Some rushed forward, collided with each other, and became a mess. What's going on here? Captain! Look up there! Li Gang's camera moved up, and he saw five black steel-colored fighter jets flying towards the base from the sky. ZZ! The communicator on Li Gang's chest rang. Here we are! A calm word came out. Although the voice was soft, its power was indeed powerful. Chapter 158 Is the Beast Tide Terrifying? We are the masters of the world. Five jet black fighter planes flew over the base, completed a 180 degree turn, and turned back. The metal steel wings shone brightly in the setting sun, and the missiles and heavy machine guns mounted on them gave off a cold and powerful aura. Everyone in the base looked up at the fighter plane as if looking at the sun. But looking directly at the sun will burn your eyes. But looking directly at the fighter plane can give you hope. What a nice view! Lin Dachui murmured. The moment he saw the fighter plane, the fear in his heart was completely relieved. As a modified pilot, he was almost moved to tears when he saw this weapon in the sky. This is what humans should be like. Although he has a mortal body, he has the ability to catch the moon in the nine heavens and catch turtles in the five oceans. As a modified pilot, he had fantasized more than once that humans could turn the tide through his modified weapons. But his abilities are limited and the resources in the base are also limited. Looking at the perfect combination of power and beauty in the sky, the crystallization of human wisdom, Lindachui knew that Chase Lu had done it, and Shin Lu could always do it. Call. Fighter planes passed over the base, bringing with them a gust of wind. The strong wind stirred up a lot of dust, hitting everyone's eyes. No one wants to close their eyes. No one wants to miss even a millisecond. They opened their eyes wide and stared at the cold steel fighter, Pride and security filled their empty hearts. Our plane! This is our plane! Woohoo! Come on! Kill those beasts! Everyone raised their arms and shouted. And the base was filled with excitement. The warriors on the wall also cheered, hugging each other and crying. The base, which was on the verge of life and death a moment ago, completely reversed itself after the fighter planes appeared. Li Gang quietly watched the team members leave their posts and hug each other with their teammates. He is a rigorous person, and it is impossible for him to let the soldiers relax until the last moment of the battle. But today is an exception, because everyone present saw the fighter plane passing over the sky. An idea will pop up in your heart. Victory has arrived. It is a tacit understanding unique to humans. They need this kind of shocking power so much. Go ahead and hack these sons of bitches. Li Gang clutched the telescope tightly. Call. After the fighter plane spread the news, they returned to the battlefield. This wave of beasts is the largest wave of beasts so far. There are all kinds of hybrids inside, including three of the leaders. A super alien army composed of three waves of beasts. Because there is no base in the middle of Nanchung, all the alien species flock to this last piece of fat. The large troops have already set up their formations, and the firepower network covers the entire beast hide. No one except Lu Chin in the air knew how big this wave of beasts was. When he first saw this wave of beasts, he took a deep breath. Too big. Too many. All over the mountains and plains. Only by pulling the fighter plane very high can it encompass all this wave of beasts. Densely packed. Black and disgusting alien species piled up into mountains. Three giant third generation species stood among them. Seeing this wave of beasts for the first time, Luchin really doubted whether he could win this time. However, this suspicion dissipated very quickly. Because this wave of beasts has an extremely prominent problem. If compared to humans, 
This makes B's tide is equivalent to a combined force. The joint force's paper combat capabilities are certainly quite strong, but they also have a particularly difficult problem to deal with. That is a command and management issue. One wave of beasts is managed by one third-generation species, and three waves are managed by three different third-generation species. When they have the same goal and charge towards the sky of death, their momentum must be very strong. But what if something changes? What if an enemy appears behind you? Some may want to continue charging, while others may want to turn around and kill the enemy. As choices expand, disagreements arise. When disagreements arise, chaos ensues. Although these three generations have awakened their consciousness, their fighting wisdom is no less than that of humans. But in the end, they are just poor imitators. Humanity has gone through thousands of years of joint cooperation and intelligent division of labor. How can these beasts understand everything with just one mutation? These three-generation breeders are extremely powerful when brought out individually, and their leadership capabilities are also as good as their own. But if put together, they have no ability to cooperate at all. There is no room for two tigers in one mountain, and three third-generation species will only lead to greater chaos. Go to HL! You beasts! Luchin roared wildly. His arm suddenly swung down, and the fighter plane suddenly fell. The lightning storm brought by the wasp machine gun came in an instant, combined with the violent storm from the front. The beast tide, which was already in chaos due to the surprise attack, became even more chaotic. The beast tide army is being brutally slaughtered by humans, who are far less than one ten thousandth of its number. The roaring command sounds of three third generation birds mingled in the sky, and the appearance of fighter planes made them change their strategies. But this is no longer an army led by one person and such changes can only bring more chaos. But how can they understand it? The alien army was in chaos under chaotic command. They trample on each other, attacking without direction, roaring, growling, and fearing. They realize that they are being slaughtered, and they are angry. But there is no way to release this anger. With crowding, stampedes, and attacks seemingly coming from everywhere, the anger in their hearts is gradually turning into fear. Fear makes them desperately want to escape and escape brings greater chaos. Fish eggs. Invading from the flanks. Zhuang Yuan. Maximum attack frequency. Yes. Lu Chen issued an order, and immediately launched five tomahawk missiles at the beast army. Boom. A violent explosion sounded, and countless alien species were killed. Lu Chen estimated that this wave of attacks would cause tens of thousands of casualties. Boom. Boom. Zhuang Yuan's firepower was at full blast and every two minutes a wave of divine punishment like lasers was fired into the beasts. This wave of beast army has collapsed. The command of three generations of species became in vain. Swish swish. Five more tomahawk missiles. The target is a mutant wild boar king. It had been hit with a disintegration laser. The last five missiles made it a whimper. After shooting the wild boar queen, Lu Chen pulled up the fighter plane and flew to the denser center of the battlefield. After setting the fighter jet's roots, Lu Chen decided to give them something good to play with. The decision is yours. Crazy B. The blue conveyor light belt flashed. And the steel green mad B appeared in midair. Lu Chen teleported into the cab. Adjusted his attitude. And landed suddenly towards the densest area below. Be afraid? How? Chapter 159 Massacre. Side thrust. Machine gun. Thorns and spikes. Controlled by Lu Chen's thoughts. The entire car began to rotate. Spin faster and faster. Faster and faster. The corners of Lu Chen's mouth are getting higher and higher. Kill without mercy! She. As the wild bee crashed down. Massacre also fell on the beast tide. A burst of blood mist exploded instantly. Soaring all over the sky. All alien species that came into contact with the wild bee instantly turned into blood foam. Any body type. Any superpower. Super bee. Massacre online. After landing suddenly. Lu Chen endured the huge dizziness and adjusted the movement of the tank. The entire crazy bee is like a top, killing all directions among the beasts. The damage caused by the minigun is even more terrifying, and the aliens are dying in large numbers. The fear of death hangs over the entire beast. They are frantically trying to escape from this age. L. Let these beasts feel the fear of being dominated by humans again. Hack. The soldiers watching the battle on the city wall fell into a huge, WTF, shock. If they hadn't seen it with their own eyes, they would have thought Lu Chen was killing the chicken. They knew they would win. But they didn't know it would be such a near massacre victory. Too exaggerated. Lin Dachui recognized the crazy bee that he had modified. 
seeing the crazy bee looking like a murderous god. He jumped up excitedly. I modified it. Ha! I modified that car. Kill! Kill me! The moment he saw the mad bee, Lin Dachi roared. What could make a pilot crazier than seeing his modified tank wreaking havoc on the battlefield? As the wild bee landed, the second third generation species was also wiped out. When approached by a monster like the crazy bee, no alien species can escape. After the crazy bee dealt with a second generation species, Lu Chen quickly teleported back to the Colossus and took back the crazy bee. The time to control the crazy bee has reached its limit. After a while, he will faint. Lu Chen, who returned to the Colossus, quickly took back control of the fighter plane. Zhuan Yuan, cooperate with me and kill the last third generation species. Yes. Zhuang Yuan activated Thunderstorm under Lu Chen's order, aiming the front of the car at the last behemoth on the battlefield. She is now very good at operating Thunderstorms. And aiming is her strong point. So the disintegrating laser is a completely suitable skill for her. Miss Miss Missed. The muzzle is opened again and charged. The cracking laser fired on this crowded battlefield was as terrifying as the god of death demanding life. Every time a cannon is fired, a large amount of alien life will be harvested. Whizzing. Lu Chen also controlled the fighter plane to approach the third generation species, preparing to launch the final attack. First, the wasp machine gun attaches thunder and lightning to anesthetize it, and then kills it with one shot of the disintegrating laser. I saw that the last third generation species left on the battlefield was the alien toad king. It looked towards the sky suddenly, its protruding eyes filled with anger. It can feel, feel that great danger is coming. A widow. He opened his mouth, and let out a terrifying roar. Countless amounts of dark green saliva spurted out from its mouth, dripping onto the herd. The corrosion instantly melted a large area of alien species. After it roared, Lu Chen could clearly see it in the air. A wave of alien toads in the beast wave suddenly turned around and aimed at him. In the chaotic beast tide, this neat group of alien species is particularly conspicuous. This was a desperate fight. Lu Chen quickly reacted. He quickly raised his fighter plane to give himself time to react. Sure enough, the next moment, he pulled up. This group of alien toads sprayed corrosive venom into the sky. Venom bomb shot towards the sky. Like a big net. Fortunately, Chase Lu reacted in advance and managed to avoid it. Lu Chen inside the Colossus took a breath. If he was hit by these venom, the fighter plane would probably be scrapped. The next moment, he took back control of the fighter plane and prepared to continue the attack, but suddenly discovered a problem. The rain of venom didn't stop. They shot into the distance in the form of a parabola. According to this trajectory, they would just land in the group of tanks. Lu Chen stepped on the accelerator, and the Colossus started with a bang. This time it was no longer like the time when he faced the Ape King. The place where the venom net landed happened to be Rong Hubiao's team. Get away! Rong Hubiao shouted back the moment he saw the venom net. Don't worry. The first three rows go into the front car, and the last three rows go back. He issued the order in the hope of minimizing losses. But he still overestimated the judgment of ordinary people in critical situations. No one wants to be one of those unlucky ones. And no one wants their family members to face empty tombstones. Everyone rushed forward crazily. And the team's vehicles immediately collided with each other. It's over. Rong Hubia's heart sank. This time it was going to be over. Just as the Venom network was getting closer and closer, data lines appeared on the skyline. The next moment, a light blue data network densely packed with pixels opened instantly. What's this? The thoughts of Rong Hubio and the team members were only disturbed for a moment. And then, they were enveloped in fear. No one thought that the film-like thing could withstand venom bullets. They were still pressing the accelerator and twisting the steering wheel frantically. Click rub rub. This chapter is not over. Please click on the next page to continue reading. When they were panicking, waves of ripples spread out on the thin data network but the venom bullets that flew towards him had disappeared. What? The team members looked at the sky in surprise. They couldn't believe their eyes. You actually blocked it? Are we saved? Inside the Colossus, Lu Chen let out a sigh of relief. He blocked. The light blue deflection shield unfolded, and the area within a hundred meters centered on the Colossus was under absolute defense. As long as the deflection shield is not broken, the convoy inside will not be harmed. Use the deflection shield to resist the last dance of these three generations. Lu Chen focused his attention on the Toad King again. Have you had enough trouble? This time it's my turn. Swinging his left arm downward, the fighter plane landed vertically from directly above the alien Toad. 
the wasp machine gun that was already idling and preparing fire to net of bullets into the sky. 2222. The Toad King directed the alien swarm to launch a final attack on the sky. The venom bullets all over the sky hit him again. Lu Chen's lips curled up slightly. The moment the venom bomb came into contact with the venom bomb. Start at time zero. Lu Chen slowly adjusted the flight path of the fighter plane in the forbidden time realm. Dodged the bullet nets all over the sky one by one. Die! When time was up, Lu Chen roared. Five fighter planes fell vertically. And the dense bullets paralyzed the Toad King. Emission! Lu Chen shouted at the communicator and at the same time raised his arm. Five fighters suddenly pulled up. Disintegration laser shot. Boom. The powerful laser beam instantly drowned the terrified Toad King. Chapter 160 light up the entire Nansheng. As the disintegrating laser struck again, the last third generation species on the battlefield fell to the ground. The originally chaotic herd achieved unity of purpose at this moment. That is to escape. All alien species quickly fled in all directions. They crawled through mountains of corpses and seas of blood, running over the corpses of their own kind. Escape. There was only one thought in their minds. To escape from this terrifying purgatory. They no longer had the courage to continue fighting. And running away became their only option. Pursue! Luchin ordered. This may be the last chance to farm crystal cores in Nancheng City. The beast tide passes through the entire southern city. And the original alien species in the city will also join it. So here is almost a collection of all the alien species in Nancheng City. Under Lu Chen's order, the neatly arranged steel fleet started their engines one after another. The grand hunt begins. Lu Chen guided the convoy from the air to gradually form an encirclement. Surround the remaining alien species that have completely lost their fighting spirit and kill them one by one. The battle gradually came to an end and Lu Chen controlled the fighter plane to hover in the sky. Look at the thousand miles of corpse mountain picture below which they personally created. The corpses of the alien species piled up into hills, and blood flowed into rivers. Flames and corrosive smoke filled the entire battlefield. Lu Chen silently turned on the video mode to record the end of the battle. Afterwards, Lu Chen wandered over the base and announced the victory of the battle. Waves of cheers suddenly erupted in the base. This victory has a different meaning. This is the victory of mankind against alien species. This means that humans will no longer be the one being slaughtered in Nancheng City. The fighter planes returned to the Colossus and the battle ushered in the cleanup phase. Lu Chen drove Qi Yan across the battlefield and pocketed three level three crystal cores. If nothing else, the harvest from this battle will be the richest ever. The sun was setting, and the cold moon illuminated the entire battlefield. After several hours of collecting, the team members finally cleared up the battlefield. The next job is to pour gasoline on these alien corpses, and then burn them to ashes under the baking red flames. The convoy returned in triumph. But because the base of the Angel of Death was not large enough, the tanks were reviewed outside the base. The residents of the base poured out of the base to celebrate the hero's triumphant return. After Luchin got out of the car, he was greeted with cheers, like a mountain roar and a tsunami. This great victory brought the morale of the people to a climax. Chase Lu took the stage to give a speech, accepted the praise from the people, and updated the merit exchange table. This battle brought his reserve of secondary crystal cores to 120. And there were countless primary crystal cores. After analysis, Lu Chen listed all the crystal nuclei suitable for human implantation on the table. Each team can decide which one they want to redeem. After these battles, Lu Chen believes that many teams have the conditions to redeem their abilities. After the merit exchange table was released, the soldiers immediately fell into a discussion. Everyone began to count the number of crystal cores in the team and discuss which ability to redeem. After all, superpowers are basically unique and very scarce. And they are all on a first come, first serve basis. Stepping off the podium, Lu Chen was quickly stopped by Lin Dachui. He rushed up with excitement on his face and told Chase Lu how shocking and powerful the Crazy Bee was. Crazy Bee has become his most proud and proud work. Lin Dachui was talking non-stop beside him. And Lu Chen couldn't bear to interrupt him. After all, the birth of Crazy Bee is largely due to his basic modifications. Just as Lu Chen was smiling and waiting for him to finish speaking, an idea quickly flashed through his mind. As the super tanks continue to be strengthened in the future, the number continues to increase. The role of ordinary tanks is becoming smaller and smaller. And as the crusade force changed, the third generation species was the main species. And even the advanced species. The power of ordinary weapons is becoming less and less powerful. Super tanks can keep evolving. 
Lu Chen doesn't need to worry. But what about these ordinary people? Do we have to give up when the combat level gets higher and higher? Lu Chen shook his head. This idea was completely wrong. Throughout history, humans have never been the most powerful creatures individually. Human beings can stand out from the biological world by communicating with each other and working as a team. This is true even in the last days. If Lu Chen just wants to be alone, then ordinary people are indeed just a burden. But if you want to accomplish something greater, end the apocalypse and clean up the hymn, Lu Chen needs the power of unity. It's a pity that mechanical modification abilities have not yet been discovered. If Lin Dachui is implanted with relevant crystal nuclei in the future, he should be able to create more killer weapons. When he doesn't have superpowers, he can assemble monsters like the crazy bee. Now that he has superpowers, Lu Chen simply couldn't imagine what he would do. After waiting for another long time, Lu Chen saw that Lin Dachui had no intention of stopping. He had no choice but to make up an excuse and take the opportunity to escape. Hey! Leader! Hey! Lin Dachui was about to call Lu Chen to talk for a while, but found that he seemed to have used Flash. In two swishes, the figure disappeared. No! Lin Dachui lowered his head. There is still a lot that he has not said. Just when he was feeling lonely, Lin Zhuang came to his door. Brother Hammer! Help our team modify the car! Lin Dachui's eyes lit up when he saw someone calling him. Ah! How do you know that I modified the crazy bee? This chapter is not over. Please click on the next page to continue reading. WTF? Lin Zhuang's face was filled with questions. I mean, actually, it's just a matter of making changes at will. The main thing is the leader's opinion. What the H, L? I'm asking you to help me. If you really want to ask, let me tell you about the transformation process of Crazy B. Lin Dachui took two steps forward and hugged Lin Zhuang. Hey, don't think about running away anymore. In the garage, Lu Chen, who had finally escaped from Lin Dachui's clutches, opened the Colossus upgrade panel. Armor. Zero element armor. Upgrade the body armor to zero element armor. Zero element armor is neutron armor. It has higher density and performance. It can greatly increase the armor level and reduce the armor loss caused by energy weapons. Three levels are required. Crystal Core 3 has Shield There are no upgrade skills at the current level. Arms There are no upgrade skills at the current level. Energy Cold Fusion Energy Unlock the nuclear fusion fuel chamber and trigger nuclear fusion to provide energy for the tank. The energy acquisition and safety are far greater than fission energy. Three halves of the third level crystal cores are required. Science and Technology Hyperspace communication. Each time you upgrade, you can get a hyperspace communication device. Chariots within the coverage of the communication device can communicate in real time. The required third level crystal core is 3 slash 1. Other functions to be unlocked. There was no doubt at first. And Lu Chen directly unlocked another time space communication device. If a hyperspace communication station is placed in Death Angel, the two bases of Shanda Group and Death Angel can communicate in real time. More than half of Nansheng City is also included in its communication range. Now it is no exaggeration to say that my hands and eyes are all over the sky in Nansheng City. Lu Chen thought about the other two crystal nuclei for a while. Chapter 161 Merit Exchange After thinking for a while, Lu Chen decided to choose Cold Fusion Energy. Because the deflection shield still consumes a lot of energy. The current energy source of Colossus is nuclear fusion energy, which does not require fuel. It only needs to absorb air to generate energy in the nuclear fusion chamber. It is almost inexhaustible. But there is a limit to how quickly energy can be generated. That is, you can quickly release skills and use energy, which cannot be replenished in a short period of time. When the deflection shield is turned on, it will consume nearly 30% of the current energy, compared to a fighter plane which only needs 40% to charge each time. It is considered a huge consumption. Moreover, Maintaining the deflection shield will continue to consume energy, consuming 1% of the current energy reserve every second. In other words, although the deflection shield is an excellent team battle defense, it will also quickly consume Colossus energy. As for armor defense, it's not really needed yet. After thinking clearly, Lu Chen directly took pictures of two third-level crystal nuclei. Cold fusion energy is being upgraded. While waiting for the upgrade, Lu Chen began to think about the future direction. The beast tide is over, and the monsters in Nancheng City are almost gone. In the future, I have to go to bigger cities to kill monsters. As for which city to go to, he hasn't decided yet. 
although his hands and eyes were already clear in Nanchun City. He was blind after leaving Nanchun City. The layout and power of those cities. The levels of alien species and zombies. Judging from the current economic ranking, Nanchun City is at most a small second-tier city. The population and scope are far less than those of large first-tier cities. In the end of the world, a large population also means that they will become a breeding ground for monsters. The number and levels of alien species and zombies will be far greater than those in Nanchung City. What's more important is that the him organization will have more layouts in these big cities. The stronger economic strength before the end also means that the overall combat power of their base will be much higher than that of Nanchung City. There are currently three first-tier cities around Nanchung City, and each of these cities has its own advantages and disadvantages in terms of strategic status. Chase Lu was still undecided on which one to enter after repeated considerations. After all, those who have no grudges against them can only choose from a rational perspective. After thinking for a while, Lu Chen felt a headache and simply stopped thinking about it. Next time we hold one, let several leaders think about it together. Tomorrow's task should be to go to the bases of the Firebird Gang and the Jokian Gang to retrieve two mechanical hearts. Previously, because they were busy defending Shanda Group and the Angel of Death, they had not yet obtained the two mechanical hearts. I just hope that I won't encounter the same kind of existence like the Corpse King, who can directly take away the heart of the machine. Overtime communication upgrade completed. Cold fusion energy upgrade completed. After the upgrade was completed, Lu Chen first came to the metal tower of the Death Angel and activated the overtime communication. After activating it, he also tried it specifically and used the communicator to call Rong Biao, who was far away in Shanda Group. At 2 o'clock in the morning, the moonlight was hazy. After Lu Chen called for 3 minutes, Rong Biao took the communicator and responded. Fortunately you didn't sleep. Otherwise, I would have thought that the hyperdimensional communication was broken. Lu Chen said with a smile. Rong Biao. After ensuring that the two bases could be connected smoothly, Lu Chen returned to Thunderstorm and went to sleep with Zhuang Yuan. The next morning, Lu Chen was getting up to do morning exercises. As soon as he opened the car door, he was startled by a group of eagerly waiting team members outside the garage. When they saw Lu Chen, they pounced on him like a dog seeing shit. Chief, our team came first. Chief, our team is the first. We started lining up last night. A group of people were jostling and shouting, making Lu Chen's head hurt. Don't scream. Don't scream. Come one by one. Lu Chen waved his hand. Whoever comes first, go to bed. I'm first. I'm first. Me. Me. Our team. Hey. 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 Lu Chen called these people to stop again. Hiss. He held his head and thought. This is not a solution. Powers are first come. First served. Each team has something they want. So they fight to get it. After thinking for a while, Lu Chen clapped his hands and said, I'll give you one last chance to line up in order. After everything is arranged, I will ask Tsukiji to interrogate them one by one. If you lie, 500 cores will be deducted. As soon as these words came out, all the team members were really frightened. After all, Tsukiheim's terrifying mind-reading ability has been known to everyone since she was the leader of the Death Angel. Lu Chen smiled slightly when he saw the team members lining up obediently. If you are in trouble, please ask you, G. After lining up, the captain takes the lead, and the team members follow and come forward in order. The first one is Team Li Hai. Li Hai has two big panda eyes. In this case, either there were many people exercising last night, or there was indeed a queue in the middle of the night. Li Hai team is a newly formed team in Shanda Group. The total team won a total of 800 crystal cores which is still a very good result. Li Hai directly chose hand and foot coordination, which seemed to be a very useless skill. This skill is to enhance body coordination and combat effectiveness is close to nothing. But Lu Chen didn't choose him randomly from 120 crystal nuclei. Although the hand and foot coordination is not very powerful, it is very helpful in controlling the tank. In other words, if you choose this skill, you are very likely to get the next super tank like a fish egg. Lu Chen gave Li Hai a meaningful look, but Li Hai just stood calmly. The team members behind him had no objections, and it seemed that they had discussed it. Not bad. Lu Chen thought, this Li Hai still has a very strategic vision. The goal is not limited to those cool single target skills. Okay, get in the car. Lu Chen pointed to Thunderstorm's cab. He thought Li Hai would step forward, 
but he didn't expect that he would take a step back and give way. Chief, our team has made Uchiang a superpower. His driving skills are the best. And he is the most suitable for this special ability. Chase Lu was stunned for a moment. Admiration rising in his heart. This kid is bound to become a great player. You know how many people dream of controlling a super tank. No man would be willing to refuse this kind of killer weapon on the battlefield. Not only did Li Hai see through Lu Chen's intentions, he also resisted this temptation. Choose the most suitable person in the team to implant the crystal core. This overall view will definitely become a great tool in the future. Lu Chen nodded and remembered the name Li Hai in his heart. A few minutes later, Ah Yang successfully implanted the crystal core. Everyone in Li Hai's team left the garage with laughter. The captain of the next team, who came forward quickly glanced at the merit list after they left. Seeing that those powerful skills were still there, the expression on his face instantly calmed down. Their team has 506 crystal cores, which is just up to the standard line. He chose the wind blade, which allows him to create sharp wind blades with his arms. After successfully implanting the crystal core, he left in the adoring eyes of all the team members. The merit redemption mission continues. A total of 9 of the 15 teams have the ability to redeem. Some teams also have multiple opportunities to redeem abilities. Chapter 162, Jiaqian Gang Base After Li Hai, several teams successively selected relatively powerful attack abilities. It is worth mentioning that Tianyan, like Yudan and Lin Zhuang, is one of the earliest teams to be established. His team qualified for two Crystal Core implants. As the captain, he chose Danger Sense, and then gave his second-in-command laser eyes. They can be regarded as two relatively powerful abilities. After the team captains were selected, Lin Zhuang came belatedly, seeing that he also had two dark circles under his eyes. Lu Chen doubted that he must have been exercising with many people last night. Lin Zhuang was about to cry, but had no tears. So he asked Lin Dachui to repair his chariot last night. Then he pulled him to tell Lu Chen about Quanfeng's modification all night long. Lu Chen held back his smile and expressed his understanding of his tragic experience. However, after the selection of other teams, now only the last selected ability is left. Lin Zhuang's team has three quotas for crystal core implantation. Faced with Lin Zhuang's sadness, Lu Chen said that he had nothing to do. In the end, he could only agree to Lin Zhuang and let his team be the first to choose the superpower next time. Lin Zhuang asked a team member to implant the last remaining power of walking like flying. After the implantation was completed, Lin Zhuang and his team left the garage and came to the center of the square. All the team members who were preparing to carry out today's mission gathered in the square. Today they were not sitting in a chariot waiting for the order to set off, but were surrounded by three circles inside and three outside. The center of the crowd was naturally the team members who had just gained their special powers performing. Watching the performances of these new superpowers, the crowd burst into India's cheers from time to time. In the center of the crowd, I saw an ironclad man with his face covered and his back facing another team member. The team member held a handful of stones in his hand and threw them towards the iron face without saying H, Lo. Iron Mask dodged one after another gracefully and naturally, and even caught one. Spider Sense? The crowd burst into cheers. Kim Yun took off his mask and bowed to everyone to express his acceptance. Then another member of the Iron Mask team came on stage, and he was pointed at a stone on the ground. His eyes flashed, and two red lasers spurted out shattering the rocks. Hack! Cyclops! The electric eyes are so exciting! The crowd cheered again. The superpowers and other teams saw it and were eager to try. You can't let your team pretend to be this guy. Each team presents a united front on the battlefield, but they also compete quietly in private. Everyone wants to be the best team and doesn't want to be compared to other teams. Yudon, who didn't mind watching the excitement, took the lead. Special Operations Team! Come and report! Yudan shouted. Come on! Xiao Yang! Give him the whole job! Yudan took a step back and let Xiao Liang out of the way. It's hard to show off his abilities, so he can only let the team members use them. Let's go! Yudan ordered. Xiao Yang started a backflip on the spot. Neglect! 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 Xiao Yang did 99 backflips in a row before stopping. After stopping, his breathing was very stable. Unlimited physical energy! Good! That's awesome. All the team members applauded. With this ability, seven times a night is no longer a dream. Our team number six can do it too. After Xiao Yang finished, another team came forward to show off their powers. The whole square was filled with laughter and joy. 
The warriors who became supernatural beings were undoubtedly the center of the show. The hard work on the line of life and death for so long has allowed them to achieve the superpowers they have today. They deserve this. And they deserve this honor. The spectators, who have not yet obtained the superpower, are envious at the same time. He also secretly swore in his heart that he hoped that one day he would also gain superpowers. Luchin came to the square very early, but he did not interrupt the team members' performance of their abilities. This is also a good opportunity to enhance everyone's cohesion. Let all team members know that in this space, hard work will be rewarded. After waiting silently for the superpower performance to end, Luchin announced today's mission to the team members. That is to clean up the entire Nanchung city. Today it is no longer a matter of rushing to each mission point, but a full-scale attack by the entire army. Carpet search throughout Nanchung city. Try your best to clean up all the zombies and alien species in Nanchung city. After a wave of beasts swept away, there is basically no possibility of third-generation species existing in Nanchung city. The rest were just some little monsters, and Lu Chen felt that the danger would not be too great. Moreover, with the existence of hyperspace communication, the risk of cleaning tasks has been greatly reduced. After the mission was released, the city gate opened wide. Everyone poured out of the base to start today's mission. Lu Chen will not follow the large army today. He needs to drive Qi Yin north alone. Use the fastest speed to retrieve the mechanical heart from the Firebird Gang and Jiaqian Gang bases. As for the large force, he set lightning and thunderstorm to follow. Just in case. After everyone left, Lu Chen opened the car door and boarded Qi Yin. It's been a long time since he opened Qi Yin's car door. Usually they are teleported in from other tanks. Sitting in the red flame, facing the gate of the Angel of Death's base, Lu Chen recalled the time when he first entered this base. At that time, everyone in the base thought he was just a young guy driving an amateur modified car. Now these people believe in him as their leader. And under his leadership, they have recaptured the entire southern city. What will happen in the future? After Lu Chen and Li Gang looked at each other at the city gate, they stepped on the accelerator and rushed out of the base. In the north of Nanchung, there is the base of Jiaotian Gang. An armored convoy slowly drove into the base through the broken hole in the city wall. After entering the base, the convoy spread out and each vehicle searched every corner of the base. Safety! Safety! After a series of safety briefings, the lead armored vehicle stopped in front of the metal tower in the center of the base. A group of people came out under the leadership of Fire Blade Yugo. Is this metal tower real? One of the team members asked. Yugo glanced around the metal tower and said, It is indeed a metal tower. I didn't expect there to be a metal tower in this place. And I don't know what Somme was thinking. Bring the card. Yugo stretched out a hand. Several team members on the side handed over a box. Inside which lay a card engraved with complex patterns. Chung Wu took the card. Walked to the metal tower. And slid. The scanner at the door of the metal tower immediately turned green. And the hatch opened to one side. TSK. 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 The modifications made by the leader are so reliable that they can even crack such advanced technology. Several team members nearby said. After the hatch opened, Xiongwu walked in carrying a black box. As he entered, the hatch closed quietly. Chapter 163. Split up. Inside the Jiaotian Gang Metal Tower, there are seven underground floors. The dark corridor was lined with various experimenters who had been cut off in half. No blood flowed from the section because the incision had been burned to char. From the room at the end of the corridor, a woman cried, If you say you will, you will let me go. The woman in rags and bruises lay on the ground in despair and said, Yugo, who was fastening his belt, sneered, Say what? What do you believe? After fastening the belt, Yugo stepped forward and grabbed a handful of the woman's hair, lift her completely off the ground. Don't be afraid. It will be quick. Yugo said next to the crying woman. His left hand slowly turned red starting from the fingertips and gradually heated up. After a while, the entire forearm turned the color of molten magma. She, a crisp sound flashed through, and the woman's crying stopped abruptly. With a plop, her body fell to the ground, her head still in Yugo's hands. Chengwu held the head, admiring the expression of despair that finally solidified on his face. After looking at it for a while, he chuckled and threw his head aside. After venting his anger, he felt refreshed. He took out the card and swiped it on the instrument in the center of the room. An LCD screen opened in front of him. After some operations, Lin Ji's face appeared on the LCD screen. Metal towers can be connected to each other. After Lin Ji appeared, Chengwu nodded slightly. 
Lord Chief. Seeing that it was Chang Wu, Lin Ji's face showed a hint of joy. How is it? How is the situation in Nanchang? Sir, we have not met any local forces since we entered Nanchang. Our team found this base by relying on the traces of the beast tide. The outer wall of the base was breached. And no one survived. The metal tower is well preserved. And I killed several white mice hidden inside. Didn't you meet local forces? Didn't the person from Nanchun last time say that Nanchun was ruled by one force? This base is not under his control. The beast wave has passed, and he won't come to get the mechanical heart? Lin Ji shook the goblet in his hand and asked casually. What the leader said is possible. But I have another guess. Oh! They may not have the means to enter the metal towers of other forces and capture the mechanical heart. I just interrogated a few white coats. Their experiments in the metal tower were extremely backward and their use of the mechanical heart was even more ridiculous. So I guess these bases don't know the importance of metal towers at all, and just use them as shelters. And based on their strength, they may have been wiped out by the beast tide. After listening to Zhong Wu's guess, Lin Ji nodded slowly. It is indeed possible. Unexpectedly, the trip to Nanchung went smoothly than he thought, and these people were so vulnerable. He originally wanted to send two reconnaissance troops to explore the bottom first, and then send a large force to attack. According to the current situation, perhaps a reconnaissance force is enough. Thinking of this, the smile on Lin Ji's face gradually became uncontrollable. Seven bases. Seven mechanical hearts. What a power this is. After calming down a little, Lin Ji continued to ask, Where is Night Crow? How is their convoy? We are divided into two groups. And we will probably be able to contact you soon. Okay. Then you take off the mechanical heart and we will contact you at the next base. Yes. Sir Chief, the LCD screen turned off and the room returned to darkness. Yugo lit up one arm as a light source and walked to the center console. On the suspended light pillar, the diamond-shaped mechanical heart is floating in the center. Zongo put on a black glove, reached out and took off the mechanical heart and put it into a black box. As soon as the mechanical heart was removed, mechanical sounds resounded in the metal tower. Please note that the metal tower's energy will be exhausted within 10 minutes. Please note that the energy in the metal tower will be exhausted within 10 minutes. The alarm sounded, and Shongwu walked out of the laboratory slowly carrying the box. He used the card to pass through the levels, boarded the elevator, and came to the door of the metal tower. Ding. The card is activated, and the metal hatch opens to one side. Shongwu stepped out of the hatch leisurely, but the scene before him made him dumbfounded. The eight armored combat vehicles that were in good shape when they first entered the metal tower have now turned into piles of scrap metal. The oil flowing out of the fuel tank was burning, and black smoke filled the air. The armored fighting vehicles modified by Linji were crushed and thrown aside like waste paper. Xiongwu stood stiffly at the door. His feet seemed to be filled with lead. Cold sweat was dripping from his forehead, and the air was filled with a chilling air. He didn't dare to move even a little bit, because it would give the opponent a chance to make a surprise attack. Who is it? What could destroy an armored convoy in such a short period of time? Where? Where is the enemy? The nerves in Yugo's whole body were as tight as steel bars. His eyes kept spinning, trying to find the enemy in the thick smoke. What are you holding in your hand? Suddenly, a young male voice came from a distance. The hair on Yugo's body stood up, his eyes fixed on the source of the sound. A slender figure gradually emerged from the smoke. This chapter is not finished yet. Please click on the next page to continue reading the exciting content. He saw clearly that it was a very young man. That's a lot of smoke. The young man waved twice randomly, and the smoke dispersed. Zongo saw a blood-red chariot parked behind the man. Is it him? Impossible. It's impossible for one person to destroy the entire convoy. There were thousands of thoughts running through Zongo's mind at the same time. Where are you from? And where do you want to go? What is that in your hand? The man asked as he walked forward his voice melodious and natural. He seemed to be just a good citizen taking a walk in the garden after dinner. Shut the hack up. Why so many questions? Chung Wu's nerves were just a hair away from being broken. The man in front of him gave him an unprecedented sense of oppression. His fingertips had begun to heat up silently, and he had a premonition. I had a premonition that this would be a battle of swords and swords. He only has one chance to take action. He must cut off this man's head in an instant. Otherwise you will die. Otherwise you will die. Are you tired? The man took two more steps forward and was already within his killing range. Do you want me to help you get it? As soon as he finished speaking, 
Chum Wu's whole body exploded. All the muscles in the body exert their maximum strength at this moment. Powers recharge as quickly as possible. His right arm turned into a molten fire blade in an instant. Go to H, L. As soon as his right arm came out, the fire blade drew a perfect arc in the air. Cut through this arc. He will achieve a perfect beheading. The flow of time seemed to slow down. And he watched the fire blade approach the man's neck little by little. Succeeded. A thought flashed through his mind. Once again, he succeeded. He had never lost in a short blade fight. Swish. The next moment, an incredible phenomenon happened to him. The man disappeared on the spot. How can it be? Before Zongo could be shocked, a trace of coldness quickly flowed through his body. He felt himself suddenly spinning. Why did his head look up and then down? Why did he see his back again? Eh. Why is there nothing on my neck? Chapter 164 Meet the Fear He didn't react until Jongo's head bounced twice on the ground. He had been beheaded. How can it be? The frightened expression slowly solidified. His doubts could no longer be answered. The head fell to the ground. And the headless body collapsed backwards. Only his left hand was still clutching the black box. Lu Chen, who had already flashed behind him, stepped forward in two steps. He waved his hidden sword and danced a sword flower on Zhong Wu's forehead. The head broke open and a crystal core burst out of the air. After taking the crystal core, Lu Chen walked to the box. It looks like a specially made metal box with a card slot on the side. The manufacturing process of this metal box is very advanced. Lu Chen thought. Moreover, the few armored tanks that were instantly killed by Qi Yin were not ordinary goods either. Compared with the ordinary tanks in our base. I don't know how many grades higher it is. If an ordinary convoy encountered this group of people, they would probably be wiped out. It seemed that someone had already come to the door before he went out. The box would definitely not open if it was forced open. Lu Chen turned around and touched something on Zhong Wu. After touching for a while, he found a black card. With a swish sound, Lu Chen opened the metal box with a card. Inside lay a mechanical heart that he was no longer familiar with. It seems that this person also used this card to enter the metal tower. Chase Lu took the mechanical heart and stood up. Enter Nancheng from the north. And the only big city to the north of Nancheng is Haishir. Lu Chen's lips curled up slightly. He didn't know which city he was going to next. Now the idea is clear. If people don't offend me, I will offend them. If anyone offends me, he will be cut into pieces with a thousand swords. Lu Chen flew forward and kicked Zhong Wu's head away like a ball. Central Nancheng. Special Operations Group. Yudan drove the lightning around the city. After a wave of beasts washed away, the city was indeed much quieter. In the past, there were always some noises made by zombies and alien species. Xiao Shui behind Yudan understands this point more clearly. When he redeemed his meritorious deeds, he received the super powerful Weasel Scythe. This ability makes his hearing extremely developed. Able to capture subtle sounds that ordinary people cannot detect at all. After acquiring this special ability, he naturally became the scout post in the motorcade. Three of the four members of Yudan's team, including himself, have become superpowers. After all, with the existence of lightning, their efficiency in spawning monsters is terrifying. After seeing nothing happen for a long time, a Liang started to chat. Which superpower do you think is the most handsome? I think the Cyclops guy last time was so cool. P.I.U. P.I.U. While talking, a Liang also made gestures, pretending that he also had laser eyes. Just so so. Isn't the guy who wields the wind blade out of thin air with just one pair of hands handsome? This kind of killing without being seen is cool. There is also a fire dragon palm that shoots fire directly from the palm of its hand, said the handsome man from behind. Another team member also spoke. Whether she is handsome or not, I can't say. Anyway, if she is the most beautiful, it must be Lady Sukiheim. whispering sound. As soon as he finished speaking, he was despised by everyone. Yudan interrupted them with a smile. I think you seem to have forgotten someone. Who did you forget? Lord Chief. The younger brothers were stunned after hearing this. How could they forget the leader? Although they didn't know what Lu Chen's specific powers were. But it didn't stop them from feeling how powerful Lu Chen was. Not to mention tank modifications. Lu Chen often flashes back and forth in various tanks. Moreover, his driving skills are top-notch. And he can kill enemies head-on cleanly. To sum it up in one word, Strong. Two words, very strong. Three words, strong criticism. If you want to rank abilities, Lu Chen must be number one. Just as several people wanted to continue the discussion, 
Xu Shuai's warning interrupted them. Someone is coming! Xiao Che said. The release of Itachi's superpower helped him detect sound several kilometers away. Xu Shuai's gold coin eyes are constantly feeling with his ears. A convoy consists of about seven or eight vehicles. The vehicles are very heavy and are not ours. The car is going very fast and is approaching us. Are there any hidden forces in Nanchang? Yudan wondered. He stepped on the accelerator, and the chariot shot out. Master Yekro, I haven't met anyone in the past half day. A team member asked. Nightcrow, who was dressed in black and had black tattoos on his face, opened his mouth. Don't worry. It will come. After saying that, he forgot about the dilapidated buildings on both sides, and suddenly had doubts about his decision. He and Shongwu's two convoys served as the forward reconnaissance force this time. And their main task was to explore the strength of Nancheng City. The outskirts of the city were the first to be attacked by the beast tide. And there must be no forces that survived. So while Shongwu was searching outside, he went straight to the center of the city. Maybe there will be the last remnants of Nancheng City here. Not only can he find the opponent's base, but he can also directly destroy the city. Which is even more of a great achievement. But the ideal is very full and the reality is very skinny. They were almost driving through the center of the city, but they hadn't encountered any hostile forces yet. Could it be that the power in this city was too rubbish and was completely wiped out by the beast tide? This chapter is not finished yet. Please click on the next page to continue reading the exciting content. Lord Nightcrow, if we go deep alone like this, will we be in danger of encountering a large local army? Yiyu sneered, thinking what this team member said was quite funny. Danger? They are the ones who should feel the danger. You are driving a heavily armored tank modified by the leader himself. Ordinary firepower cannot hurt us at all. Lord Nightcrow is right. As soon as the younger brother finished speaking, a group of people heard the roar of engines in the distance. Someone is coming. Nightcrow couldn't help but be overjoyed. Finally someone came to your door. Everyone on alert. Nightcrow gave the order, and the convoy spread out in a battle formation. After issuing the order, he listened carefully to the sound of the engine. With his rich combat experience, he quickly determined that the opponent only had one car. One chariot. Pocket formation. Let's catch a turtle in an urn. Yi Crow waved his hand, and the eight chariots dispersed and drove out in all directions. After surrounding the opponent in this way, they will have no room to escape. Ha 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 ha. Nicro burst out laughing, and it was not just the sound of the engine that came from the distance. This is the great achievement he is about to make. Chengwu would definitely not be able to encounter local forces on the outskirts of the city. This credit must go to him alone. Be careful not to attack too harshly. We want to catch them alive. After Night Crow issued the order, he stared straight ahead. Not long after, a yellow chariot slowly came from the end of the road. Night Crow grinned wildly. Meet the fear. Chapter 165 Broken at the Touch of a Touch the yellow lightning and camouflage armored lead vehicles drove towards each other. When Nightcrow saw the small size of the opponent's chariot, he couldn't help but feel ridiculed. Did you see that big brother didn't run away? But drove towards me. Sprint with all your strength and knock him down! Nightcrow roared angrily. The thick armored tank accelerated suddenly and rushed towards lightning. The minigun on top of Flash began to spin. Nightcrow's laughter continued unabated. The machine gun also wants to penetrate my defense? This is explosion-proof armor. It's time these rednecks saw the world. No need to hide. Attack head-on. The bullets that can penetrate our defenses have not yet been created in this world. Two, 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 two. A flurry of bullets whizzed out. Modified by Lin Ji himself. The extremely hard explosion-proof glass shattered instantly. WTF? Night Crow's expression didn't have time to change from laughter to shock. Bullets had already entered his head. His. The corrosive solution burned his skin emitting wisps of black smoke. The team members around him had already lost consciousness and turned into a puddle of mud. The leading armored vehicle of the Salvation Army was beaten into a sieve after only one encounter. Boom! The out-of-control armored vehicle instantly turned sideways and rolled towards lightning. Armored vehicles lying in ambush on other streets heard the sound and moved immediately. Boss has succeeded! Hurry up and surround us! The fish egg drives the superpower and uses a tiny swing to avoid the out-of-control armored vehicle. Boss, this car's defense is a bit strong. Indeed, Yudon said. Their armor actually prevented the minigun's fire for two seconds. Other ordinary tanks are generally broken at a touch. Although the ending is the same. This group of people is indeed quite strong. Two at nine o'clock. 
two at three o'clock, and three at six o'clock. Shishui accurately reported the vehicles lurking everywhere. This low-level trick is not an ambush at all in the face of his superpower. Ready to shoot? Yes! Two, 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 two. Xiao Lian was concentrating. And the minigun kept spitting out venomous snake fangs. One after another. Heavy armored vehicles capsized to the ground. Captain Nightcrow! Captain Nightcrow! We are under attack! We are under attack! On a tank that had not had time to be attacked. A communication soldier was shouting through a walkie-talkie. He didn't understand who carried out the attack. Didn't Captain Nightcrow already deal with the opponent? A sense of panic surrounded them. Call Captain Nightcrow! Call Captain Nightcrow! 2222! Life-threatening bullets were fired into the armored vehicle. And the shout suddenly stopped. At this moment, inside the overturned armored lead vehicle, Nightcrow was staring at the intercom that had just made a sound and then disappeared immediately. The bullet above his head is being expelled from the body by some force. And the bullet hole is slowly being repaired. This is simply massacre. An entire heavy armored convoy on our side was massacred. How can it be? How can it be? Horror surged through his thoughts. A car. How is that possible? In his horror, the gunfire gradually died down. It's over. Is this the end? Night Crow's lips trembled slightly. From the beginning to the end of the battle. It took less than two minutes. This battle is actually over? Impossible. Impossible. She. The sound of brakes sounded in his ears. A chariot pulled up beside his car. Is it possible? Is it possible that my family won? There is still a glimmer of hope in Ye Crow's heart. After all, it's 7 versus 1. And that tank seems to have average defense. Maybe it just has stronger firepower? Possible. It's possible that our side won. The more Night Crow thought about it, the more excited he became. It's possible. It's possible. We at the Salvation Army will not fail so easily. Boss, it seems that the killing was fierce and not a single person was left alive. Came a voice. Night Crow, whose hope had just been ignited, felt as if he had been struck by lightning. He froze in place, and the world in front of him seemed to turn dark. But just for a moment, he found a faint light of fire in the darkness. The other party said that no one was left alive, which proved that they did not discover him. Then when they leave, you can slip away. Where there is life, there is hope. This time, I suffered the disadvantage of being in an unfamiliar place. The next time I move in with a large army, I will definitely kill them all without leaving any trace behind. Now be patient. Be patient. After thinking about it, Ye Crow huddled under the car, holding his breath and concentrating. The overturning of the chariot gave him an excellent hiding space. When, suddenly, a slight crisp sound sounded beside him. A bullet dislodged from his shoulder and fell on the roof of the car. Ye Crow was startled, and then thought that the sound was too soft and would definitely not be heard. There's movement under this car. Look. A voice made him despair. I hate you, Banana. God will kill me. Ye Crow was completely desperate. Humph. The heavy armored vehicle was lifted by a man with one hand. Night Crow made eye contact with him, showing an awkward yet polite smile. A shy yet graceful smile. This chapter is not finished yet. Please click on the next page to continue reading the exciting content. Hello. There really is someone. The little brother didn't follow martial ethics. So he yelled and pulled him out of the car. Misunderstanding. Misunderstanding. Night Crow knelt on the ground and shouted. We are all good people. All good people. Yudon chuckled. Heavily armed good people? Good people who set up an ambush when they found us? That's unfair. We were just passing by and wanted to ask for directions. Yi Yu denied. Yudon didn't answer him. It was hard to kill him now. He needed to be kept alive. He has already called for support. And when Lady Tsukiji arrives, the purpose of this group will be known once he asks. Seeing that Yudon stopped paying attention to him, Yi Yu glanced around. He found that his armored vehicles were all like paper, lying limp on the ground. It's simply too horrible to look at. This time, the hope in his heart was completely extinguished, and his team was indeed destroyed. Not even a scrap was left. He looked at the death-like chariot. This close observation made him realize that this chariot was not made of ordinary material at all. Could it be that their base also has modified superpowers, like Mr. Lin Ji? Night Crow couldn't help but guess. And then his mind suddenly changed and an idea came to his mind. The other party had this and only one tank, and their driver and co-pilot got out of the vehicle. I can't fight with a chariot, but I can't fight with superpowers? His power is the life siphon, 
which connects him to others with life threads. It can weaken it, absorb its vitality, and restore itself. It can be said that as long as there is flesh and blood around him, he is immortal. If he could kill these people and force this tank to return to the base, it would be a huge achievement. Night Crow's eyes lit up, and his hope was rekindled. Even if the opponent's base is highly modified, there can't be many superpowers. Right? Just do it. Night Crow closed his eyes tightly, and the thread of life instantly released and rushed towards Yudon and Xiao Yang beside him. There is always a way out. Chapter 166 The Sixth Super Tank The thread of life was released, and two dark lines that only Night Crow could see flew towards the two of them. Snap! Without anyone noticing, the threads were connected. Night Crow felt a steady stream of life energy flowing into his body. Life energy is related to a person's energy, physical strength, mood and other factors. The life energy of these two people was extremely strong, much stronger than the dead bodies in the car. After gaining life energy, he gradually regains his physical strength and even his mood becomes better. The other two will feel inexplicably depressed and their energy will become increasingly low. Yi Crow swept away the decline and his confidence increased greatly. Now he felt that he could kill a cow with one punch. With his current health recovery power, ordinary guns and artillery can't hurt him at all. Xiao Liang was about to step forward and tie his hands, but he timed it and instantly rose from the ground. Damn you bitch! Give my brother his life back! Yi Ye Ye's momentum increased greatly, and he swung his fist straight towards Xiao Yang's door. He could blow this man's head off. Xiao Yang frowned, but he still had the strength to resist. Before the opponent could hit him, he hit him in the abdomen with an uppercut. Bang! Vomit! Xiao Liang Yun Danfeng punched Yaki directly to the ground, spitting out a mouthful of blood. There was a slight bulge on his back, a sign that his ribs were broken. His eyes rolled white, and the thread of life was shattered. Nightcrow fell to his knees, his head twitching. Who I am? Where am I? What am I doing? Three questions kept running through his mind. What's wrong? Xiao Yang? Yudan asked. Oh, he was disobedient just now. So I gave him a gentle lesson. Xiao Liang scratched his head and laughed. This is ridiculous. Yi almost spit out another mouthful of blood. This punch cut off all the threads of his life. Even rockets couldn't do this. All the ribs on his chest were broken. And he was in severe pain. Unable to move at all. Two tears of regret flowed from Yi Crow's eyes. Why? Why come to this damn place? This place is full of monsters. I want to go home. Seal Young walked around behind Yi and tied his weak hands into knots. He won't be beaten to death. Xiao Liang thought in his heart. He was just going to give it a light punch. But at that time, I suddenly felt an inexplicable negative emotion in my heart. I just wanted to vent my anger. But I accidentally struck a little too hard. Although his special ability is called infinite physical ability. Lu Chen would not have chosen him if his physical ability was so useless. This ability not only enhances physical fitness, but also enhances the quality of all aspects of the body. Xiao Yang can be understood as a low-end version of One Punch Man. After seeing Yi Ye's honesty, Xiao Liang and Yu Dan took a look around. Yu Dan discovered that the armor of these tanks was indeed much better than theirs. With the mentality of giving it a try, he contacted the Angel of Death through superdimensional communication. It would be good to ask them to send transport trucks in case Lin Dachui can make some modifications with these armors. The Angel of Death accepted the order and immediately dispatched all trucks. Yu Dan hung up the communicator and sighed in his heart about how powerful the boss was. This hyperspace communication is simply too useful and provides them with great convenience. If there was no hyperspace communication like this time, he would have to drive back and call someone. Moreover, various coordination during joint operations have become easier to complete because of hyperspace communication. After a while, Yuji's convoy number 7 arrived. This was the support Yudon called for long before the battle started because he felt that this team should have many questions that needed to be interrogated. Yuji walked over with two long black stocking legs and high heels. Lady Tsukiji, Yudon said. This is the only one left. Yuji nodded and walked directly to Yiya without any nonsense. Seeing two beautiful legs and black stockings appear in front of him, Night Crow briefly forgot about the pain in his body. Name? Yuji asked. Night Crow. Real name. Zhou Mingrui. Yiya answered all questions. Now only by answering honestly can we save our lives. Zhou Mingrui. Suddenly, his own name rang in his mind. The surrounding world turned scarlet. As night fell, all the convoys returned to the Angel of Death base. 
in the center of the square. Everyone gathered together and discussed something with each other. The news of Yudan's encounter with other forces has spread throughout the base. There are no more alien species in Nancheng City. The players are all speculating about the impact this incident will have on the future. In the garage warehouse, Lin Dachui and Lu Chen discussed various matters regarding the modification of the tank. After he left the Jiaqin gang, he obtained another mechanical heart from the Firebird gang. Now he has two mechanical hearts in his hand and is in urgent need of a modified tank. But when Chao Chao arrived, the other party sent them a bunch of top-notch armored vehicles in time. After Lin Dachui's rescue, the eight armored vehicles could be reactivated. The remaining few are not wasted. Their armor can be used to strengthen their own tanks. After several studies, Lin Dachui determined that the other party had relevant powers. Because the armor of these armored vehicles is stronger than that of military armored vehicles, they cannot be built by ordinary people at all. Moreover, the modifications of these tanks are also very professional. Some even beyond Lin Dachui's understanding. This chapter is not over. Please click on the next page to continue reading. All signs indicate that the other party is a super base with a big business. And it has been pointed at them. Fortunately, Yudon ran into the second team today. If other ordinary convoys were to encounter it, there would probably be heavy casualties. This also made Lu Chen increase his determination to add super tanks. Moreover, the basis of this tank upgrade is armored vehicles modified with special abilities. I don't know what kind of monsters will be upgraded. Because he had two mechanical hearts, Lu Chen decisively chose to upgrade the medium tank. And unlike Thunderstorm, Lu Chen didn't want the trunk to be any more space this time. He needed a tank that could have a greater impact on the battle. So this time, he got a bigger transport truck. This tank is larger than a thunderstorm. And it is the limit of the system's judgment of a medium-sized tank. The next step was to carry out modifications. Lin Dachui and a group of mechanics dismantled and picked up the high-end parts of the scrapped armored vehicles. This mid-sized truck has been given a comprehensive upgrade. Not only the armor, but also the fuel tanks. And various configurations have been replaced with high-end equipment. After an afternoon and a whole night of fierce fighting, the new tank was finally transformed. Waiting for Lin Dachui's final adjustment last night, Lu Chen sat in. In front of all the mechanical mechanics, Lu Chen inserted two mechanical hearts and started the upgrade. The sweet tinkling sound of transformation sounded, and the sixth super tank was about to be born. During upgrade, power module upgrade, defense module upgrade, operating system upgrade, interior space transformation. After a pleasant crackling sound and blue fluorescent light flashing, the upgrade was completed. Class C medium tank transformation completed. The tank group system has been updated. Medium tank module being initialized. Body strength, class C, explosion proof level. Maximum speed, 300 km per hour. Fuel tank capacity, 5000 L. Chapter 167 Chintian appears. I own the world. After the upgrade was completed, Lu Chen quickly opened the panel to see what skills this carefully modified tank could gain. Armor. Plastic armor. Upgrade the body armor to plastic armor, which greatly improves the armor level and reduces the armor loss caused by collision. The required secondary crystal core is 78 fifths. Engine. Track assembly. The tonnage of the tank is huge. Transforming the tires of the tank into crawlers can effectively reduce the terrain restrictions on the tank's advancement. The required secondary crystal core is 78 fifths. Arms. Powerful shock. The entire armor of the tank will violently shake to the ground under the action of the propeller. Sending out a strong shock wave with the tank as the center. The closer you are to the center of the shock wave, the higher the damage you will receive. Close range units can also cause dizziness. And the required secondary crystal core is 78 fifths. Energy. Super fuel tank. Expand the fuel tank to L and unlock the conversion system. Which can convert nuclear fission energy into fuel. The required secondary crystal core is 78 fifths. Science and technology. Super space loading. Add 10 ordinary tanks to the loading space. Ordinary tanks can replenish fuel in the loading space. The required secondary crystal core is 78 tenths. Tank modification and repair room. Provides an ultra-sophisticated tank modification room that can meet the modification and repair of various ordinary tanks. The required secondary crystal core is 78 tenths. Other functions to be unlocked. Seeing the upgrade panel of the tank, Luchin felt happy. This is simply an upgrade tailor-made for his next plan. Before the upgrade, Luchin wanted to prevent the rear compartment of the tank from becoming the same space as a thunderstorm. Luchin asked Lin Dachui and others to stuff it with various mechanical repair equipment. Unexpectedly, 
These series of modifications actually turn the rear compartment of the tank into a tank maintenance and modification room. And various skills are also perfectly upgraded around one function. The first is armor and track assembly. Needless to say, these two are the same skills as Thunderstorm. Let's talk about the technology module of the new tank. Super space vehicles can carry ordinary tanks and refuel them. Isn't this just a mobile gas station? Lu Chen's next target is Haichung City. At such a long distance, the endurance of ordinary tanks has become the number one problem. This function of the new tank eliminated the number one problem and solved the big trouble Lu Chen needed to consider. Moreover, the modification and maintenance room of the new tank will improve the continuous combat capability of ordinary tanks to a higher level. Finally, there is the ultra-large capacity fuel tank that the new tank comes with, and the ability to automatically convert nuclear energy into fuel. These two skills turn the tank into a large mobile fuel supply station. Mom no longer has to worry about my lack of fuel. Luchin looked at the skill panel, and the joy in his heart was almost as good as the time when he unlocked the Colossus. After all, the emergence of this tank is not just an improvement in the combat power of a single unit. He will improve the combat effectiveness and battery life of the entire team to a new level. Without further ado, Lu Chen threw all the crystal cores in and directly upgraded the tank to sea level configuration. Secondary crystal nuclei are nothing anymore. There are as many as you want. It's a pity that there are not enough third level crystal cores. Now, except for Qian, other tanks are stuck at the sea level fully equipped stage. Nancheng has no resources anymore. If you want to go further, it is imminent to go out for adventure. Opening the tank group system. Lu Chen prepared to name the tanks. After thinking for a while, he typed in the word Qingtian. The tank was named successfully, and the tank group system has been updated. Qingtian. Okay. Lu Chen looked at the panel with joy. He opened the car door and stepped out of the car. A group of mechanics headed by Lin Dachui were looking at Qingtian in stunned silence. Lu Chen's series of transformations made them all look stupid. Although this was the second time Lin Dachui saw the tank upgraded, he was still stagnant. As long as you are a professional mechanic, you will not be immune to the shock it brings no matter how many times you see it. Lu Chen snapped his fingers in front of him, bringing their consciousness back. He walked to the back of Qingtian's car, his thoughts flashing. The huge rear doors slowly fall back from the top. It landed on the ground with the support of a hydraulic rod, forming a gentle slope. Entering along the gentle slope, there is a tank modification and maintenance room with a variety of equipment. The mechanics, led by Lu Chen, walked to the back of the vehicle and saw the tank maintenance room. Heaven, is this paradise? Everyone covered their mouths, widened their eyes, and looked at everything in front of them in disbelief. Lin Dachui glanced at Lu Chen pleadingly, wanting to go up and take a closer look. Lu Chen nodded slightly, indicating that it was okay. Woohoo! Lin Dachui shouted, leading everyone into the tank maintenance room. As soon as they entered, various advanced repair and modification devices were presented to them. Lifting equipment, multifunction maintenance tongs, fully automatic loading and unloading, advanced welding equipment. A range of equipment is dazzling and overwhelming. Lin Dachui and others cheered in the maintenance room. And climaxes arose. Look at this! Look at this! I'm super! Oh my god! This! This! I want it! I want it! A group of big men and rough guys seemed to turn into little fans in an instant, cheering for various equipment like idols. A group of people looked at this advanced, comfortable and high-tech modification room and drooled with envy. Each of them looked at it eagerly, thinking, how great it would be if they could work in a place like this. This chapter is not over. Please click on the next page to continue reading. Lu Chen couldn't help but laugh as he watched the group of mechanics caressing various mechanical repair equipment like an old woman caressing an ancestral agate ring. Everyone! He shouted. How about this maintenance room? Okay! Okay! Great! Lin Dajui said excitedly. This is simply our paradise! Said the mechanics. Lu Chen lowered his head and smiled. This maintenance room was like a group of mechanics. It's like a computer with the highest configuration to an internet-addicted teenager. It's like a boy looking for movies after a piece of mysterious code. Then what if I say that this will be your workshop from now on? Luchin said. What? As soon as these words came out, everyone exclaimed and froze on the spot. How can it be? They looked at each other in disbelief. Really? Really? Lin Dachui said tremblingly. Luchin smiled and nodded. Really? Woohoo! Ah! 
Mother! Everyone standing in the maintenance room jumped up, raised their arms and shouted. Working in such a maintenance room is the dream of many mechanics. After a burst of cheers, everyone hugged each other and cried loudly. In this apocalyptic world, all kinds of maintenance equipment are uneven, and the maintenance environment is unbearable. Various disadvantages prevent them from developing their true skills. The emergence of such a maintenance room is tantamount to giving them the best stage to show their strength. After crying for a while, everyone knelt down on one knee in front of Lu Chen. If you don't give up, I would like to be your adopted father. When Chase Lu saw them, he quickly waved to them to get up. If you want to play like this, it will make people a little scared. Chapter 168 Becoming a Third Stage Superpower After the mood of the mechanical repair master stabilized, Lu Chen immediately assigned them a new task. That is to replace the lead vehicle in the convoy with a heavy armored vehicle. There are 15 fleets in total and eight armored vehicles are now available for use. There were still seven armored vehicles left, so Luchin asked them to use the top maintenance workshop to salvage those scrapped armored vehicles. In the past, this would have been an impossible task, but with the advanced workshop, a group of masters took over Luchin's task with confidence. After releasing the mission, Luchin returned to Thunderstorm and opened the transformation panel. This time the battle with the Burning Blade Man was actually quite dangerous. Time Zero is powerful but the gaps in between are also weak, so he planned to upgrade his abilities again. The panel opens and switches to the upgrade page. He first checked his power level, because after a long period of practice, Time Zero has been upgraded to the third small level of the second stage. Then he looked at the requirements for advancing to stage 3. Every 10 second level crystal cores are upgraded to one level. After upgrading 7 levels, they enter the third stage. Note, New forms of superpowers can be developed in the third stage. There are 10 second level crystal nuclei in one level. In the past, this was something I never dared to think about. But now, the secondary crystal core can no longer hinder his progress. After the beast wave, his crystal core reserve reached nearly 120. This time, many more crystal nuclei were obtained at the Firebird Gang and Jotian Gang bases. Except for the part that is implanted into the team members and used to upgrade Qin Tian. There are still more than 100 secondary crystal cores in reserve. Lu Chen frowned slightly when he saw the upgrade conditions. My favorite kryptonite moment is here again. Without further ado, Lu Chen slammed in a handful of secondary crystal cores. Minus 100 secondary crystal nuclei. Plus 0. 1 second duration. Dash 12 s cooling time. Minus 100 secondary crystal nuclei. Plus 0. 1 second duration. Dash 12 s cooling time. After seven hits in a row, Lu Chen suddenly felt his body shaking. A stream of heat seemed to be injected into the body and traveled through the body. Ah, this feeling. So cool. After feeling refreshed for a while, Lu Chen closed his eyes and felt the changes in his powers. The duration of time zero has been increased to six seconds, and the cooldown has been reduced to three minutes. Although it is only an increase of one second and a decrease of two minutes, this amount of time can create miracles on the battlefield. While checking it, Lu Chen felt that this strange energy was slightly different from before. Closing his eyes and letting the power flow through his body, Lu Chen gradually understood the newly unlocked power. Time stance. Create a time stance within a certain range, and the time flow rate within this stance will be fully controlled by yourself. Lu Chen was stunned after realizing the new skill. Countless ways to use this skill pop into my mind. It can slow down the flow of time and slow down the movement of things within the position. It can also speed up the flow of time causing the wounds of enemies within the position to quickly deteriorate. After entering the third stage, I have become more able to control time, and it can even be said to be a bit abnormal, compared with the time zero that acted on itself before. The time stance is obviously more able to affect the entire battle situation, but that wasn't the end yet. As soon as Lu Chen opened his eyes, he found that another page popped up on the panel. It is detected that the host has been upgraded to the third stage, and an additional crystal core can be implanted. WTF. Lu Chen exclaimed. This time he was really surprised. It was the same as his guest last time. The last time the mutant deer king exploded two secondary crystal cores. Lu Chen speculated whether the third generation species could absorb the second crystal core. I didn't expect that this is really the case. And that humans can do it just like alien species. And when it comes to superpowers, Lu Chen happens to have one he wants. Lu Chen put the secondary crystal core removed from the Fire Blade Man into the modification cabin. Analyzing the crystal nucleus. Molten state. 
the user can heat himself or objects he directly touches to an extremely high temperature molten energy state. Adapt to human crystal core. No modification required. Whether to perform implantation. The energy state power is actually another magical skill. Looking at it now, the man with a flaming blade actually has a chance to win against him. Luchin couldn't help but think. As long as he heats his whole body to a molten state. There is nothing he can do to him. He was just a little behind on time. But unfortunately Lu Chen only played with time. The decision is yours. Lu Chen's mind choice was yes. This skill is a perfect choice in terms of appearance and ability. Just like the first time the crystal core was implanted. The blue data line formed a helmet on his head. After more than 10 minutes, the helmet disappeared and the crystal core was implanted. After the implantation was completed, Lu Chen was not in a hurry to try it. But directly opened the upgrade panel. Crazy Krypton Crystal directly upgraded the superpower to the second stage. Minus 100 first level crystal nuclei. Plus heating speed. Plus duration. Minus 100 first level crystal nuclei. Plus heating speed. Plus duration. Unlock the ability to heat each part individually. What a joke. As a crystal core tycoon. Every second spent in the first stage is an insult to me. Lu Chen. After upgrading to the second stage. The superpower has changed from being able to only heat the whole body, to being able to control various units of the body to heat at will. The heating of a single part is naturally faster. Faster and more handsome than the heating of the whole body. After reaching the second stage, Lu Chen couldn't wait to jump out of the car and try it out in the garage. Melt. By driving his powers with his thoughts, Lu Chen saw his arms gradually turn red starting from his fingertips. In about 10 seconds, the entire arm was heated, and turned into a molten state as hot as magma. The extreme heat caused the air around the arms to gradually twist and sway irregularly. Activating the power again, Lu Chen started to heat from his head. After 20 seconds, his entire upper body became molten. It's so cool. Lu Chen couldn't help but think in his heart. And the thoughtful thing about this ability is that food in direct contact with the body will not be burned. For example, clothes, watches, hidden swords, etc. They will enter the molten state together with the body. This avoids the embarrassment of being naked once you enter the molten state. And the only drawback of this skill is that the burning blade man died in his own hands because the heating time was too long. This fatal flaw can also be perfectly circumvented by using the time zero ability. Lu Chen looked at the arms that were as dazzling as the sun and fell into extreme joy. These two abilities are simply tailor-made for you. Chapter 169 New Official Takes Office After handling various upgrade matters, Luchin summoned all the leadership in the base. He first reported the loot gained from the encounter. That is, all lead cars can undergo a wave of replacements. And a newly modified super tank was also installed. After that, Yuji reported all the information she got from the interrogation. The local invasion organization came from Haichung. An Al-Qaeda organization called the Salvation Army. The leader is Lin Ji, who has the power of mechanical modification. Those advanced armored vehicles are the result of their modification. In addition, their Salvation Army's base is located in the entire underground area of Haichung. The entire underground rail transit is their territory. Among them, a Vulcan railcar is their biggest killer. Previously, a group of deserters from Nanchung came to their base, reported information on Nanchung City to them. Their leader Lin Ji set Nanchung City as his next goal, aiming to obtain all the mechanical hearts in Nanchung City. After listening to Yuji's report, Lu Chen held his head and started thinking. There were two points in this report that he was very concerned about, one of which was Lin Ji's mechanical modification ability. The last time, I wanted to improve the overall combat power of the team. I wanted this kind of ability. A mechanical modification ability combined with Sean Lin's professionalism. In this way, your own base can obtain a relatively powerful tank without the need for systematic modifications. Another point of concern is that Lin Ji wants to obtain all the mechanical hearts in Nanchung City. It seems that the base strength of big cities is indeed a level higher than that of cities like them. At least in Nanchung City. These base forces can't even understand their own mechanical heart. Let alone covet other people's mechanical hearts. And this Salvation Army not only has three mechanical hearts of its own. But also wants to obtain more mechanical hearts. It is obvious that he has done some in-depth research on the heart of machinery. It seems that Haichung will be a huge treasure. Not only are there more abundant alien monsters, but there are also these powerful bases. Their understanding of the heart of the machine and the Anthem organization will definitely improve to the next level. Everyone! Luchin stood up from his seat. 
Nanchung City's resources are already scarce. If we want to expand our power, our next target must be Haichung. All captains nodded and had no objections to this. According to the information obtained by Tsukiji, there will be a stronger base in Haichung City, and we will definitely face greater sacrifices, which requires everyone to be mentally prepared in advance. Everyone nodded slowly. Then how many troops will we take to set off? Does the base need to be defended? Rong Hubiu asked. As a person with strong leadership ability, he will consider problems more thoughtfully. I will select 10 convoys from the 15 convoys to go to Haichung, and the remaining 5 convoys will be used for mobile defense in Nanchung. Moreover, two bases of Shanda Group and Death Angel are needed to further strengthen the base defense. Rong Hubiu pondered for a while and then asked, How do the 10 teams replenish fuel on the road? He knew that Lu Chen's super tank almost did not need to consider the issue of fuel supply. But ordinary tanks were different. In long distance and cross regional operations, the most important thing is to keep up with various materials and supplies. Lu Chen smiled slightly and introduced the functions of Qi Tian, the new member of the super tank, to the captains. After the introduction of the chariot, all the captains could not help but admire it from the bottom of their hearts. Different from the powerful offensive capabilities of other tanks, Qin Tian actually has certain strategic functionality. With this tank, long distance combat is no problem at all. When the captains were happy, Lu Chen said, There is one last question left before departure. This Qin Tian needs a driver, and this pilot needs to have certain battlefield command capabilities. The captains fell into silence after hearing this. Yudan and Lin Zhuang looked at each other and shook their heads. As convoy captains, they understand best the difficulty of commanding on the battlefield. Commanding a convoy is already their limit, and anything further is no longer good. Other team captains also have the same concerns. With greater ability comes greater responsibility. The pressure of this position can be imagined. Although Zhuang Yuan has strong coordination ability, he has not yet served as a commander on the battlefield. Yu Ji, on the other hand, has no intention of taking up a higher position. She doesn't like the battlefield and doesn't care about the future of mankind. Then why she was still fighting with the convoy? Even she didn't know. After picking and choosing, the best candidate was the one Li Chen had secretly cultivated before. Rong Hubiao, former leader of Shanda Group. Rong Hubiao, Lu Chen said. I have decided that you will fill this position. Thank you, chief, for your trust. Rong Hubiao clasped his hands and replied in a deep voice. Now is not the time to be pretentious. A real man must move forward under pressure. Okay. Lu Chen smiled. He is worthy of being the man he chose. A leader must have the courage to sacrifice me for no one else. Do you have any objections? I agree. Brother Biao has the qualities to be a commander. Everyone also agreed that Rong Hubiu should be elected for this position. In fact, that time he walked alone at night to deliver information to the base, which already made many people recognize him. After confirming Ching Tian's driver, Lu Chen asked everyone to go back and prepare. Tomorrow will be the day for their first super expedition. After everyone left, Lu Chen took out a black metal card. This is the card collected from the Burning Blade Man. According to Yu Ji's information, they activated the metal tower to contact the Salvation Army base through this card. After flipping through the cards twice, Chase Lu came to the metal tower in the center of the base. Although the mechanical heart of the metal tower was taken out, some of its functions were activated by superdimensional communication. So now this metal tower can still be used, entering the metal tower directly by face. Lu Chen walked through the dim corridor. Come to the central control room at the bottom of the metal tower. Haichung. The Salvation Army Base. Headquarters Hub. Lin Ji and a group of captains were waiting in the metal room. The dark LCD screen never glowed. Lin Ji was sitting on the mechanical throne. With his legs crossed and the wine glass tightly clutched in his hand. He looked calm on the outside. But inside, he was already in turmoil. He has great confidence in his own team. But why has no news come back? Is it unplugged? A team member at the bottom asked secretly. You are so stupid. There is nothing plugged in in the metal tower. Silence returned to the conference room. And Lin Ji still didn't say anything. Suddenly, the light blue LCD screen flashed. And a black picture appeared on the screen. Hey, I'm connected. The crowd gathered together. Who is it? Who is it? Why is there no sound? Is the signal bad? Lin Ji felt happy at first but immediately realized something was wrong. If it were Yi Ya and Zhong Wu, it would be impossible for them to connect like this. Who is this? Lin Ji stared at the dark scene. 
with the outline of a man vaguely visible in the dim light. Say something. Hello? Everyone was chattering underneath. Lin Ji was sitting on the throne. And the hand holding the wine glass suddenly shook. He felt it. Felt a chill shoot out. The person on the screen is staring at me. With a bang. The dark screen was cut off. After Lin Ji reacted, he felt a sense of relief in his heart. Who is it? Who is that person? Chapter 170 Selection of Crazy Bee Pilot Early the next morning, everyone at the Angel of Death base was bidding farewell. Lu Chen led the large army on a new journey. Five convoys selected to guard the base were sent for a distance on both sides of the main force. It was a heartfelt farewell to their comrades. After leaving Death Angel, the next stop is Shanda Group. Lu Chen planned to let the soldiers meet their relatives at the base before leaving. After all, the distance and time of this super expedition will be very long so it is only natural for them to say goodbye to each other. When they arrived at Shanda Group, Rongyao's farewell banquet had already been prepared. Residents of Shanda Group lined the streets to welcome the motorcade as it entered. They nervously call out the names of their sons or husbands. Fortunately, Lu Chen did not disappoint them this time. Not a single warrior died in the battle against the Beast Tide. After entering the base, the soldiers and their family shared a banquet. During the banquet, Lu Chen had to complete another thing. That is the selection of the Crazy Bee Pilot. It's been a while since I last made a request for a driver. Lu Chen believes that anyone with ideas should be ready. So in the center of the square, Chase Lu summoned the Crazy Bee. Steel green body. Extremely domineering weapons and equipment. No one can resist the temptation of such a tank. Everyone! Chase Lu stood on the podium. Anyone who has an idea can line up for a tryout. As soon as he finished speaking, a large number of soldiers were already lined up. Waiting for the test, Lu Chen opened the car door and motioned for the first trial trainee to get in the car. As he got into the car, Lu Chen controlled it with his mind and uploaded his temporary biological information. After he sat firmly and supported him, Lu Chen handed him a fixed vomit bag from the window. This kind of vomit bag can be tied behind the head to prevent the team members from getting dirty when they faint. The team member took the vomit bag, looked at Lu Chen, smiled and touched his head. Master Chief! I have been an experienced driver for many years. It is impossible for me to get motion sickness. So I won't waste this. With that said, he prepared to return the vomit bag to Luchin. Luchin stretched out his hand to block it. Be prepared for any trouble. Seeing the leader's forced request, the team member didn't know what to say. So he just put it on his mouth. But he felt that he had no need for this thing at all. He has been driving for more than 10 years and has spent almost half of his life in cars. Motion sickness? Are you kidding me? Are you ready? Lu Chen patted the car door. Okay. The team member's dull voice came from the vomit bag. Looking at his determined look, Lu Chen smiled. Young people, it's better not to be too arrogant. A flash of thought. A sideways thrust. Lu Chen took a step back, and the crazy bee sprayed blue flames from its flanks. The entire car body began to rotate on the spot. That speed is getting faster and faster. In an instant, it turned into a sharp wind blade, sending out bursts of powerful whirlwind around. Oh my god! When the trial team members behind saw it, they all showed frightened expressions. This was their first time to watch a super tank show off its power at such a close range. And the terrifying power really shocked them. If you want to play like this, won't your brains be shaken evenly? Is it too late for me to quit now? Seeing this super cyclone, many people thought of retreating. About 30 seconds later, Lu Chen's mind flashed, canceling the side thrust, and the crazy bee slowly stopped. The old driver inside, who had sworn before, was vomiting violently while holding a vomiting bag. Vomit. I vomit. Lu Chen raised his lips slightly and helped him out of the chariot. Everyone saw it. Lu Chen said to the long queue, This trial training is quite difficult. If you feel you are not good enough, you can quit at any time. When everyone heard Lu Chen's words, most of them immediately left with a roar. Many of them just came to try their luck. After seeing Luchin playing it for real, they naturally stopped thinking about it. After handing the first person to the team members to carry him down, Luchin said, Next. I saw the second rank player taking a step forward. Eight years of riding experience. My favorite carousel. My physical fitness is top notch. Enter. Luchin threw him into the chariot. Vomit bag. Close the door. Flash of thought. Cancel the rotation. Help get out of the car. Vomit. I vomit. Next one. Luchin shouted again. 
a nine-year veteran driver. He can ride the roller coaster without blinking. Superior. Barf bag. Close door. Cancel spin. Help get off. Vomit. Next. Bungee jumping enthusiasts can show off a few bottles of denatured alcohol without shaking it while walking. Superior. Barf bag. Get in. Get off. Vomit. Next. Nine years old. Come right up. Vomit. Next up. Vomit. 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 I'm vomiting vomiting. The queue at the back is getting shorter and shorter. And more and more players are being taken away. Kwangfeng turned all the team members around so that even their mother no longer recognized them. A few were almost incontinent. This was something Lu Chen didn't expect. That Kwangfeng's selection would be so miserable. This chapter is not over. Please click on the next page to continue reading. After carrying away a few more team members, Lu Chen unexpectedly saw a special face in the team. Lil, the only healing ability user in the convoy. Why are you here? Lu Chen shouted. Why can't I come? Little Lil hugged a bear and stuck out her tongue. Lu Chen frowned and turned back to find Zhuang Yuan. Take this little brat away. Hiss. Lil, who was holding the little bear, grinned at Lu Chen, revealing two sharp tiger teeth. Damn it. Lu Chen held his forehead and sighed. If you disobey this little lowly, she will fall out with you. This time she was brought out from the angel of death because she was afraid that someone in Hai Chung would be in danger and needed a healing ability user. Come here first. Lu Chen took her out from behind. His. Lil waited in line quietly for a long time. Just wanting to sit on the big toy and play. Now that Chase Lu wouldn't let her sit. She was naturally extremely angry. Two big eyes stared at Lu Chen fiercely. And his little leather shoes kept tapping on the ground. Lu Chen had nothing to do with her. So he pointed at Kwangfeng. You want to play with this? Right. Hearing Lu Chen's words. Lear immediately nodded her head. And her ferocious expression disappeared instantly. You can only play it once. Chase Lu said sharply. Yeah. 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 Lil nodded immediately in agreement. Fearing that Chase Lu would change his mind later. Chase Lu reluctantly pulled her into the Kwangfeng and told the team members in front of her about the situation. After Lil got in the car, she obediently put on the vomit bag and fastened her seat belt. Then she put her bear in the passenger seat and fastened her seat belt. Are you seated? Chase Lu asked. Okay. After hearing the answer, Lu Chen still put his head into the car to check. Make sure all safety measures are in place before closing the car door. Little brats are trouble. Lu Chen thought in his heart. Just turn it around for five seconds and let her try it. Otherwise she will get into trouble when the time comes. Lu Chen looked at Lear, who looked excited in the driver's seat, and shook his head helplessly. The thought flashes. And the side thrust is activated. Chapter 171 March into Hai Chung. A new journey. After the flank thrust lasted for five seconds, Lu Chen chose to turn off his mind. After all, Lil is a little kid and won't be able to hold on for long. Kuang Feng slowly stopped and Chen Lu opened the door. The sight inside stunned him. Not only did Lil not vomit as he imagined, but she clapped her hands excitedly. Why is it gone? Lil asked, tilting her head. It seemed that five seconds had no effect. So Lu Chen closed the door again. He knew she wouldn't give up until the kid was happy. With a flash of thought, the side thrust was activated again. Flames roared out and the beast spun again at high speed. After a full 20 seconds, Chase Lu opened the car door. All I saw was that Lil was still clapping her hands happily. Her face was rosy, and she didn't show any signs of discomfort. It's fun! It's fun! I still want to play! Hiss, Lu Chen gasped. No way. No way Lear is the candidate to adapt to Mad B. He closed the door, and the side thrust started again. This time it lasted for a full minute which was more than double the time of a normal trial training. Even he had never activated the flank thrust for so long. A minute later, Chase Lu opened the car door. As expected, Lil was still alive and kicking when he saw it inside. Now Barbie was cheen, and Lu Chen had a dark look on his face. It seems that Lil can really adapt to the crazy rhythm of the crazy bee. After this time, Chase Lu didn't try again and just pulled Lil out. After all, it's a bit outrageous to say that a little girl went to war. He doesn't believe that he can't find someone who can control the crazy bee in such a large base. The training restarted, and the remaining players came forward one by one for a trial. As expected, the scene was once again filled with the sound of vomiting. In a base as big as Lu Chen, no one can survive the crazy rotation of the mad bee for 30 seconds. 
This put Lu Chen in a difficult position. Lil was a healer with special powers, and was still young. Driving a tank alone was a bit exaggerated. Just as Chase Lu was hesitating, Yuji came over. She can do it. What's okay? She can be the driver of your chariot. But how old is she? Lu Chen said. Let her get in my car first. And I will train her to drive and take orders. Lu Chen glanced at Yuji and lowered his head to think. Compared with whether the team can add such a combat force, he cares more about Lil's life safety. Because he is the only healing power user in the team. And he is a very powerful power user. If something happens to her, it will be a huge loss to the team. Zhuang Yuan also saw Lu Chen's concerns and said, I think Lil is actually safer in the chariot. You have the ability to teleport. If something happens, you can teleport back. Lu Chen thought about it and realized that what Zhuang Yuan said did make some sense. Then let's train with Tsukiji first and see how well she can act according to orders. Okay. Yu Ji's expression flashed with a hint of joy. Come, follow me, she said to Lil. Yeah. Lil jumped to Yu Ji in two steps, with a smile on his face. She could understand what a few people just said. That as long as they obeyed, they could sit on the big toy. Lu Chen curled his lips as he watched Yu Ji take Lir away. Unexpectedly, the selection of Crazy Bee ended like this. Turning his head and taking a look at his teammates, who had fallen into pieces. Chase Lu hated that iron could not become steel. I gave you a chance. But you didn't use it. As the wild bee selection comes to an end, Shanda Group's luncheon is also coming to an end. The soldiers and their families ushered in the final farewell moment. At the gate of the base, the soldiers bid farewell to their families one by one and boarded their own tanks. The family members waved goodbye. Their eyes full of anticipation. Instead of being afraid that the soldiers would never come back, now they were more hopeful looking forward to the triumphant return of the soldiers, because they knew that as long as the soldiers followed leader Lu Chen, they would be safe. After kissing their children and wives, the fathers turned and mounted their chariots. In the eyes of children, they are heroes. At the gate of the base, Rong Hubiao and Rong Biao stood there, staring at each other, looking at the touching scenes of farewell of family members next to them. The two of them felt that they were a little out of place. Ahem. Rong Biao was the first to break the silence. Well, take care of yourself and call home when you're fine. Rong Hubiu glared at him. You little bastard. You want to take advantage of me at the last minute? Rong Biao chuckled. No, you're going to die outside. Where can I take advantage? If I die, I hope your kid won't eat the wedding banquet. Where there is. It must be a funeral banquet. It must be a funeral banquet. After saying one sentence, the two of them suddenly got stuck, not knowing how to take the next sentence. The atmosphere suddenly became awkward. That, Rong Hubiu said. When I come back next time, let's go to your mother's grave together. You old guy, please stop putting flags on yourself, Rong Biao said, his voice already slightly hoarse. Rong Hubiu smiled softly and touched Rong Biao's head with a big hand. Gone. Then he turned and left. The autumn wind sweeps the fallen leaves, and the years make people grow old. This chapter is not over. Please click on the next page to continue reading. Rong Biao watched Rong Hubiu climb up to Qi Tian step by step. That back figure is so generous and calm. Open the city gate. Rong Biao gave an order. And the thick metal city gate slowly opened. Once I go, I don't know when I will come back. Woohoo! At the initiative of a certain soldier, the gate suddenly fell into a commotion. Gunshots and engine noises rang out everywhere. The slightly sad farewell scene just now suddenly turned into a passionate atmosphere of an army attack. This is a tradition carried over from the Angel of Death. The reason why Luchin kept it was because such behavior could tell everyone. Every departure is not a separation of life and death, but a new journey. They will keep moving forward towards hope and work hard for the future of mankind. Rumble. The Colossus took the lead and rushed out of the city gate. And a huge roar resounded throughout the world. My lord. My lord. Are you sure you want to send so many troops to attack? A group of team members asked under the throne. It has to be like this. There is a huge threat in Nanchen City. Lin Ji said. How could it be? The person last night was not necessarily from Nanchung. Maybe the signal is really bad. What if Yiya and Zhong will reply today? Then boss, aren't all the people you sent out just a waste? Two cold lights shot out from Lin Ji's eyes. And he quickly scanned the people below. Everyone lowered their heads knowing that this look meant that Lin Ji was angry. If Nanchung is fine, then this force will be just in time to assist Yugo and the others. 
If something happens to Nan Chung, then this army will directly wipe out Nan Chung, Lin Ji said sharply. This was the first time he had lost his composure in front of his subordinates. And he was very angry. Extremely angry. In his opinion, the unknown man last night was obviously provoking him. And with his dignity, he cannot tolerate any provocation. That man must die. Nan Chung must be leveled. Chapter 172 Feng Shi appears. The exit of a subway station at the Salvation Army base. Tear it down! Take it apart quickly! An unusually strong man scolded. In front of him was the underground special service team to which Kamikaze belonged. They are using various cutting equipment to cut the iron door that was sealed last time. Sparks flew everywhere. And Kamikaze took advantage of the burly man's turning back to ask the captain in charge. Boss! Why are you opening the door again? The captain of the special service team looked around and leaned close to Kamikaze's ear. It is said that Mr. Yugo, who went out last time, did not reply. Now the leader has sent someone to check again. The corner of Kamikaze's mouth twitched. Grandma, you want to come back alive after going to Nanchung. Then why did you send someone out again? Doesn't it prove that there is danger if they don't come back? Kamikaze asked again. Huh? The captain stared at him and snorted. What's so dangerous about your little shitty place? I guess Lord Yugo has occupied a base there and is preparing to proclaim himself king. So the leader wants to send troops to go there again. Kamikaze looked at him like a fool. If I give you ten lives, you can't even hope to become a king in Nanchung. Sigh. I don't know what the women in Nanchung are like. Good women here can't even get their turn. You said how about we sneak away with the troops and go to Nanchung to have fun. And you can lead the way. The captain said with a hint of sarcasm. Kamikaze smiled coquettishly. Turned around and ignored him. Yes. Yes. You can go to Nanchung to have sex with women. And you can have sex with you. I think your brain is not fully developed and your cerebellum is not developed at all. The only place in the body that can think is Nyo Zi. A pure idiot. After scolding the captain in his heart, Kamikaze returned to his post. He observed that the number of troops sent out this time was obviously several times larger than last time. That Zhongwu must have had trouble in Nanchun last time. That's why so many tanks were dispatched this time. Have you ever beaten this group of people? Kamikaze asked weakly in his heart. He hasn't touched Lu Chen's convoy for a long time. And he doesn't know what his power is now. If we look at the strength of the ordinary bases in Nanchung, the Salvation Army's combat power this time is definitely comparable. But that's not including the man. If there is a hot man, all pre-war predictions will be in vain. Because when you think he has tried his best, he will definitely give you another surprise. Thinking of this, Kamikaze fell into deep worry. Certainly not worried about the lives of this group of people or whether they would win. If they could really defeat Lu Chen, it would be of little benefit to Kamikaze, as he was just a scavenger. But if they fail, they will be in big trouble. That man would never ignore repeated provocations like this. Maybe Kamikaze is sweating on his head. Maybe he will attack Hai Chung directly. By then, the shelter he had finally found would be completely overturned again. Boom. While he was thinking, the heavy iron door was cut open and crashed to the ground. Get out of here. Don't block the road. The strong man yelled. The special service team immediately packed up their belongings and retreated to the side. After they withdrew, steel chariots rushed up from the ground. He he. What a tiger of the empire. The captain next to him looked at the heavy armored vehicle and murmured. Say. He poked the kamikaze with his arm. Is this car enough to beat some of your cars? Kamikaze chuckled. Damn it. The villains in brainless web novels are not as stupid as this idiot. After more than 60 heavy armored vehicles passed by, Kamikaze was stunned by the types of vehicles behind them. Are there even tanks in this base? I saw a larger track chariot driving up, and the dull sound of the engine was overwhelming. On the gray-green body, a huge gun barrel is majestic, and the muzzle seems different from that of ordinary tanks. It looks bigger and thicker. After eight super tanks passed by, what followed was an even more exaggerated tank. The size of this tank is even bigger. There are three gun holes on the Snow White body. One main gun and two secondary guns. What's even more exaggerated is that there is a giant radar device on the fort. Moreover, there are many machine gun ports on the flanks, covering all directions with firepower. What kind of chariot is this? Kamikaze asked the captain again, holding back his nausea. Hee <laughs> hee. The captain indeed showed an extremely proud expression. Just say you have never seen the world. This is the function. The ultra-long-distance signal transmission tank 
has large-scale detection methods. There are also EMP electromagnetic missiles, which are not only extremely penetrating, but can also paralyze enemy communication devices. I didn't expect that I would need the function to hit that corner of your head. The captain clicked his tongue and shook his head twice. Function. Although Kamikaze has not been to this base for a few days, he still has some understanding of the name function. It is said that the leader of the Salvation Army is good at mechanical modification. And the four tanks named after Fong Lishan are his most proud works. Kamikaze himself almost died at the hands of the Vulcan Underground. Unexpectedly, they even took out their underwear and used it. It seemed that they were serious about it. But the more serious they were, the more Kamikaze's heart trembled. If Lu Chen's motorcade was compared to a sleeping lion, before that, you tease people with a piece of dog-tailed grass. But they ignored you, turned over, and went back to sleep. Now your special code is to use durians to hit people, although it will cause a little damage. But when the lion wakes up, you will be useless even as a host. Looking at the function slowly driving out of the gate, Kamikaze felt a shiver in his heart. It stands to reason that the combat power of the Salvation Army this time is much higher than when he and Chase Lu fought against each other. At that time, he still had some confidence. But now, he has deep doubts about the victory of these people. Well done on! After all the chariots drove out of the underground, the strong man shouted to a group of them. The captain responded and led them to rush forward to repair it. Kamikaze looked at the faces of the soldiers who were going out to conquer the war and couldn't help but shook his head. You have to eat some of them to know how poisonous they are. Lord Leader, we have landed and are ready, the strong man said while sitting in the function. Okay. A voice came from the other end of the communicator. Are all the indicators of function normal? It's normal. The leader's chariot must be fine. The strong man flattered him skillfully. Very good. Let's set off immediately and keep in touch at any time. We look forward to your triumph. The Rock promised to complete the mission, Johnson replied sternly. After hanging up the communication, he switched to the convoy channel and roared. Set off! Suddenly, the engine roared loudly and all the tanks started. Chapter 173 Send them home. Johnson took the lead on the Elis. The function is a tank modified by Linji and equipped with a super communication system. Therefore, all instructions for commanding the battle this time will be transmitted back to the base by the function. And leaders such as Lin Ji can communicate with them in real time. So this is not only a task, but also an assessment. No idea. This time, I must win. And not only do you have to win, you also have to win perfectly and win beautifully. Every unit is inspecting weapons and equipment. Johnson shouted. Even though this time the opponent is not the big base in Haichung, but some unknown small force. But in order to show his strong commanding ability, he must produce a perfect performance. Group A is finished. No problem. Group C is finished. No problem. Group B is over. Please ask. After all units reported, Johnson issued another order. Each convoy maintains its formation and moves along Fukata Avenue and onto the Yongmei Expressway. Attention, brothers, this mission is supervised by wise senior leaders. We must use 200% of our momentum to defeat the enemy forces with one strike. Okay, everyone responded. In their opinion, this is not a big or small task. It is a perfect stage for performance. After leaving Nanchung, the large troops advanced on the highway jammed with vehicles. Lu Chen drove the Colossus to open the way at the front. And the vehicles were squeezed and deformed like pieces of paper. The highway that is completely impassable for ordinary vehicles is smooth in front of the Colossus. The Colossus was followed by a thunderstorm and a whole caravan. Ten motorcades formed a steel queue nearly a kilometer long on the highway. Chi Tian is in the center of the team. And Flash is at the end of the team. Up in the sky, the Death Angels mechanic team was still working in full swing. They are modifying the lead car and high-end technology allows them to perform more powerful modifications. Thanks to Chinkian's super shock absorption, no matter what the terrain is outside, their modifications in the cabin will not be affected at all. Flash is Lu Chen's protective tank at the end of the convoy. Yudan drives lightning, while Xiao Yang and Xiao Shui are responsible for security work. The release of the handsome Itachi allowed him to feel the sound far away. There are three superpowers in Yudan's four-person team. It should be the strongest single team besides Lu Chen. On the Colossus, Chase Lu stared at the bioradar in front of him while driving. After several upgrades, the detection range of bioradar has reached nearly 5 kilometers. With this detection effect, the convoy basically has no chance of a sneak attack. 
In addition, Lu Chen was still thinking about his goals after entering Hai Chung. The first step must be to find a metal tower and activate hyperdimensional communication. In this way, not only can we connect with Nan Chung, you can also let your own fleet communicate in real time on the battlefield. The second step is to attack the bases in Hai Chung step by step. According to the results of Yu Ji's interrogation, after the beast tide passed, there were only eight bases left in Haicheng City. Except for the Salvation Army underground. The other seven bases are all in the north of Haicheng. However, although there are many of these bases, Lu Chen's first target must be the Salvation Army. Not only because the other party invaded Nancheng and attacked their convoy. Another very important point is that their leader's superpower is something Lu Chen really wants to obtain. Mechanical Modification Ability If Lin Dachui is equipped with this ability, not only your own ordinary tanks can get an overall improvement in combat power. The basic tanks that will unlock super tanks in the future will also be more powerful and versatile. With Lin Dachui's current technology, he can process basic models such as Quanfeng and Qingtian for Lu Chen. After he gained the superpower, Chase Lu couldn't even imagine what the next basic model of the tank would be like. Just as he was thinking about what kind of tank he would modify in the future, Chase Lu suddenly realized that he was approaching the end of the highway. Attention all convoys! The front is at the end of the Yomei Expressway and prepare to enter Haicheng City. Lu Chen preached into the communicator, and his instructions were conveyed level by level along the convoy. Because they are no longer within the range of hyperspace communication, they can only use a more level-by-level -level method of transmitting information again. Boom! After getting off the highway, Colossus rushed through the toll booth without mercy. The vehicles stuck on the side were crushed to pieces. Be vigilant! Lu Chen drove the chariot onto Fukata Avenue. This road leads directly to the center of the southern area of Hai Chung. These are the information Yu Ji obtained from the capture team member. Zitsizi, the communicator rang. Lu Chen was a little confused. He was the commander-in-chief. So how could there be information coming from below? He picked up the communicator. And Rong Hu Biao's voice came from inside. Leader Lu. Yudan's men detected the sound of a large number of approaching vehicles. Lu Chen glanced at the bioradar and found that there was no display on it. Um. He didn't think the information from Yudan would be false. There is only one possibility. The opponent's team's position has not yet entered the detection range of the bioradar. Lu Chen recalled that one of Yudan's younger brothers seemed to have been implanted with the power of Weasel Sickle. This guy's superpower actually allows the detection range of Bioradar to be even further. Which is pretty good. What time is it? Chase Lu asked. After a pause of more than 10 seconds, Rong Hu Biao's voice sounded again. This chapter is not over. Please click on the next page to continue reading. 10 o'clock direction. After hearing the news, Lu Chen immediately organized his convoys to line up to meet the enemy. Zhuang Yuan, move to the front of the team, and you will start this battle. Good. Yudan, your team is doing the same thing as always, taking a detour to the side to harass the enemy. Okay. Rong Hu Biao, after the battle begins, drive Qin Tian directly into the opponent's position and attract the first wave of firepower. Good. Not long after Lu Chen finished deploying the super tank, a bunch of red dots appeared at the edge of the bioradar. A bunch of small red dots are mixed with five bright red dots. The other party sent out quite a few superpowers this time. The corners of Lu Chen's mouth curled up slightly. This should be regarded as the first head-to-head -head confrontation with the Haicheng forces. And he decided to have a crushing victory. Let the whole Haicheng know that the new king has ascended the throne. Oh! There are tactics! Johnson looked at the signal on the radar chart with a sarcastic face. The radar device on the function is a high-power electromagnetic wave radar with a large detection range. Lu Chen and his group had already entered their detection range. Their formation and tactics were also completely exposed to Johnson's radar chart. Hey! Hey! What's the point of taking a detour here? Johnson said, pointing to the radar map. Can just one car do it? Is this an escape or a tactic? If the leaders hadn't been listening, Johnson would have burst out laughing. The group of people opposite seemed to him to be a joke. He really didn't expect that these low-class people would dare to come to his door. Brothers, pincer offensive. Let these Asin and ACI from Nancheng see our strength. Send them home, Johnson roared. Send them home. Send them home. The momentum of the team was instantly boosted to a climax by Johnson. Chapter 174 Monsters Salvation Army Base Headquarters The radar picture on the function was clearly transmitted on the LCD screen. Lin Ji and other captains were closely watching the movements of the vehicles above. 
What kind of bird formation is this? Ha ha ha. What do those protruding chariots mean? Are they here to die in vain? How dare you come to your door? You really don't know how to write the word death. A group of captains came and went, laughing at the formations put up by the other forces. Lin Ji's face was gloomy. He didn't know how the other party was able to defeat Zhong Wu and Yi with such strength. I don't know how someone with such strength dares to connect an LCD screen to provoke. And they actually dared to invade Hai Chung. He didn't find it funny, but felt extremely insulted. A group of cats and dogs dared to challenge him. Kill them all, leaving no one behind. Lin Ji said calmly. He must hang the heads of these people on the gate of their base. Kill them all. Leave no one behind. Johnson passed on his order. Immediately, the light spots of our own convoy began to move forward quickly on the radar map. The battle begins. Everyone, the market is open. Let's take a bet on how long it will take for us to defeat the opponent. Five minutes at most. Two minutes. Ten minutes. There are dozens of cars anyway. You guys don't treat the other side as human beings. Ha! Ah, are those people? They are about to turn into ghosts. Lin Ji did not participate in the boring game below. He picked up a glass of red wine and stared at the light spots on the radar chart. He wanted to watch those light spots disappear one by one with his own eyes. Only in this way can the anger in his heart be relieved. Um? Lin Ji frowned. How could five more light spots appear out of thin air? Five light points suddenly appeared above one light point and began to move towards themselves. What is this? Lin Ji clenched his fists subconsciously. Keep your formation and spread with all your strength. Johnson roared and stepped on the accelerator to the bottom. Elis rushed to the front of the convoy, and they would meet each other in another two kilometers. He wanted to enjoy this massacre to the fullest. Come on! Johnson was furious. The atmosphere in the team was extremely high, and everyone was immersed in enthusiasm. Captain! Something is coming! shouted the first officer's observer. They saw five light spots on the radar chart approaching them. Johnson glanced at the radar map and quickly looked ahead. At this distance, these five chariots should be within sight. Why didn't I see the chariots? Something wrong with the radar? Johnson looked confused. Up there! Up there! The observer yelled. Johnson looked up and saw five dark black planes shooting towards them. What the H? L? Johnson shuddered and shouted. What happened? What did you see? Came Lin Ji's voice. Yes. Why is there a plane on the other side? Call. As soon as he finished speaking, five fighter planes roared past Johnson's head. Johnson breathed a sigh of relief. These aircraft should not have combat capabilities. Passed. Passed. No attack. Johnson reported. It may be a reconnaissance drone. Don't be afraid. Focus on the frontal battlefield. Lin Ji said. Yes. Johnson agreed. He was a little angry. He had been fooled by such a little trick just now. And he almost lost his composure in front of the leader. Unforgivable. This group of people across from me is unforgivable. Brothers, don't worry about the birds in the sky. We will destroy them directly from the front. He switched to the team member channel to stabilize the morale of the team. The enemy is within sight. The observer shouted. A steel convoy appeared neatly in the eyes of everyone in Johnson. Prepare the main gun. Load EMP high explosive SH. LS. Johnson shouted. Behind him, a group of team members carried missiles half a man's height and stuffed them into the barrel. Fire control preparation. Various fire control instruments entered the final adjustment stage. Aim. The gun barrel adjusted its direction and elevation. Aiming at the center area of the enemy convoy. The main gun is ready. EMP high explosive bombs can not only cause a lot of damage, but can also instantly destroy the opponent's communication device, making all the opponent's tanks blind and deaf. Johnson smiled slightly. And let's see if you can still line up so neatly with this shot. Emission! Boom! There was a flash of fire. A loud noise was heard. And the entire body of the function shook violently. EMP high explosive round shot into the air like lightning. Johnson's eyes showed the joy of killing. He couldn't wait to see the other team's convoy in chaos and fleeing in all directions. Tremble. Mortal. Feel our rage. Eh. What the HL? Johnson was stunned. The EMP missile exploded before it fell into the local formation. There is a blue mesh structure that intercepts EMP missiles. Moreover, the high energy electromagnetic waves emitted after the EMP explosion are also completely absorbed. The most powerful killing weapon was confiscated just like this. Johnson frowned. He still couldn't realize what happened. Boom. In an instant, 
a bright light flashed, and a beam of fire shot toward the Salvation Army convoy. This chapter is not over. Please click on the next page to continue reading. Johnson's vision went blank. He couldn't see anything. I could only hear bursts of explosions beside me. What is this? What is this? Sizzling. There was a sound of electricity. Sirens sounded. And all the equipment of the function was scrapped. Captain! It's broken. Our communicator is broken. The radar is broken too. Everything is broken. The observer's voice rang in his ears. And Johnson could barely see clearly. But at this moment, he would rather not see clearly. A huge chariot like a mountain was rushing towards them. Behind him, the neatly arranged tanks were firing on all cylinders. And the missile net had covered the area. What does this mean? Why does it feel like we are losing when we meet each other? Johnson smiled dumbly. This is impossible. It must be some kind of trick. All the main and secondary guns are loaded. Don't panic. Johnson shouted to the team members in the car. Our heart power is definitely stronger than our opponents. Two, 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 two. Boom, boom, boom. Another burst of crazy bombing sounded behind him. And Johnson saw through the rearview mirror that the five planes were actually firing at the ground. That's not a reconnaissance plane at all. That's a fighter plane. Johnson's eyes were cracked. Impossible. Impossible. Quick. Load the cannon for me. Before he finished speaking, the car body vibrated violently. The function was actually hit by that chariot and flew away. Johnson squeezed the steering wheel tightly to keep his body stable. At this moment, a doubt suddenly arose in his heart. Is there any mistake? This special code is function. How could it be possible to be knocked away like this? He looked at the chariot on the flank. Its armor shone with a metallic sheen. What kind of material is this? How could the base opposite have this kind of material? The giant chariot rushed straight into their convoy and was impossible to stop. The bullets from the heavy machine gun did not leave even bullet marks on its armor. I saw the chariot stopped in the center of their convoy. After preparing for a while, the thick armor fell suddenly and hit the ground hard. Bang! A huge noise erupted, followed by a strong shock wave. Boom! Being swept by the shock wave, Johnson felt that his head was instantly filled with blood and seemed to be about to explode. A strong dizziness lingered in my mind, and all the bones in my body were about to fall apart. The observer beside him had already passed out and did not know whether to live or die. By this time, Johnson's doubts gradually turned into fear. His lips were pale and trembling. These are... What kind of monsters are they? Chapter 175 Victory in the First Battle Salvation Army Base Command Room The radar image on the LCD screen disappeared, replaced by a vast expanse of white snowflakes. There was silence in the huge metal room, and the movements of all the captains stopped the moment the communication was disconnected. The goblet in Lin Ji's hand had been crushed into pieces at some point. An inexplicable emotion was arising in their hearts. Yes! Is it possible? A captain broke the silence. Is the LCD screen short-circuited? Lin Ji stared blankly at the white LCD screen. He would rather there was something wrong with the equipment he was researching. Otherwise, they will have to accept that the other team's strength is on par with their own team. It may even be higher. First, Sir! What should we do? A captain asked in a daze. They had just made a bet to win each other within two minutes. But they didn't expect that only one of them would meet. All of his equipment and instruments have been paralyzed. They know nothing about the current fighting situation on the ground. How come? How can it be? These two questions are swirling in everyone's mind. Lord Chief, Qian Yuan, the young guard standing next to Lin Ji, knelt on one knee. That group of pheasants probably hit the phone shin by chance and destroyed the communication system. No matter what tricks they have. Amateurs are amateurs. With Captain Johnson's strength, defeating them is certain. My subordinates are willing to take the troops out to inspect and bring the good news of victory back to the base. Please approve it from the leader. Qian Yuan's words woke everyone up from panic. Indeed, contact is just lost now. Not that the battle has been lost. Although the other party's actions are a bit strange. The two sides have not yet faced each other head-on. It's still uncertain who lives and who dies. So what are they worrying about here? Approved! Be sure to bring victory back to the base! Yes! Watching Qian Yuan leave, Lin Ji's mood changed slightly. The most important thing now is to get in touch with the ground. It would be perfect for Qian Yuan to do this task. Even if the opponent is really stronger than ourselves, the addition of Qian Yuan can completely turn the tide of the battle. After all, he is a third-stage superpower who was cultivated by himself. 
it seems that the captains have fought too many battles to win. And the slightest setback will cause them to fall into chaos. Lin Ji silently kicked the glass shards under his feet under the throne. Please forgive me. Leader, the captain said, cupping their fists. They also felt a little sorry in their hearts. And they deeply believed in what Lin Ji said. It really shouldn't be possible for the military to be disturbed by such unsavory forces. Captain Qian Yuan personally supervises the battle. So there is no chance of failure in this mission. Yes. Yes. Everyone agreed. Ha! How was our bet? How many minutes has it been now? Exactly five minutes. If I hurry up, I might be done with it. When Qian Yuan comes back with the good news, we will announce the final winner. Good. Five minutes. It's a little slow. Luchin said as he looked at his watch. Before him knelt a row of still living members of the Salvation Army. Among them, Johnson, who has an exaggerated figure, is also among them. His head trembled slightly, and he murmured, Five minutes. Five minutes is too late. They are an entire armored convoy. Pervert. This person is a pervert. Johnson closed his eyes in despair. If he still had a chance to live, the past five minutes will be a shadow that will linger throughout his life. From destroying all communication equipment with one shot, to interweaving a two-dimensional fire network of air and land. Then the giant bison-like tank withstood the firepower of armored vehicles and tanks and rushed directly into the center of the convoy. Release a powerful shock wave, paralyzing the entire convoy. Then flank a tank to eliminate the fleeing vehicle. Finally, the large army pressed forward, captured everyone, and harvested the spoils of war. Johnson felt like he was not fighting a group of people, but a sophisticated mechanical system. The opponent's seemingly ridiculous formation was tailor-made for those perverted monster tanks. It was over. Johnson fell to his knees. He felt that the entire base behind him was no match for these monsters. Lin Dachui, take your brothers and get it done quickly! Luchin shouted. He asked the mechanics to use Chinkian's equipment to cut the armor of the scrap tanks into pieces. In this way, I can use red flame to put them into the supernatural space. Those tanks that were still usable were driven directly into Chinkian's back compartment for repairs. Once the battle is over, you can directly convert the opponent's combat power into your own. This is the strategic role of Chintian. In the past, we would have had to work hard to move the tanks one by one to the base. Which was thankless. Zhuang Yuan. Let the soldiers camp on the spot and take a rest. Captain Rome. Count the battle losses and set up mobile sentries around. Chase Lu gave instructions to each captain in an orderly manner. This can't be their leader. Johnson was shocked again. Is that kind of commanding ability really something that a young man like this can do? What a shame. Big breasts. What a shame. Thinking of being ruthlessly crushed by the opponent in terms of appearance and commanding ability. He could only roar in his mind. God is unfair. God is unfair. After all the tasks were arranged, Lu Chen led Yu Ji to the Salvation Army members who were kneeling on the ground. This chapter is not finished yet. Please click on the next page to continue reading the exciting content. Johnson raised his head and took a sneak peek at him, and found that his eyes were sharp and inconsistent with his appearance. Chase Lu looked them over and said casually, The superpowers can come out for a moment. Johnson thought for a while, and decided that he must not go out. Now whoever goes out to be a thorn is seeking death. Hiding in the team, he probably wouldn't be able to tell who the superpower is. Okay, have the courage. Chase Lu smiled and pointed at Johnson with his finger. Johnson looked confused. Maybe he made a mistake. I didn't move either. He looked back and thought, Damn it! I saw that the teammates, who usually said they were trying to protect their brothers had already knelt down one step back. What a bunch of hacking wolves! Johnson gave those team members a hard look. One of the team members whispered, Captain, you are as strong as an ox. No one will believe you if you say you are not a superpower. Why don't you block the knife for everyone first? I'm blocking your sister. While talking, Yuji had already walked to Johnson's side. Two long black stocking legs stood directly in front of him. Damn it. Johnson thought to himself. Yuji's slender fingers roamed across his face, making his heart beat fast. The team members on the side were dumbfounded and regretted in their hearts. Your name? Yuji's gentle voice came. The famous name is Rock Johnson. The nickname is Stone. The stage name is Dwayne Johnson. And the famous name is a wolf in the wind. Wei. Church Johnson. Yuji activated her superpower to interrupt his act of digging out his wealth. He hit a flat A. And this guy mastered a set of skills. After the interrogation, 
Chase Lu locked the group of people into a large transport truck. The battle is not over yet. Once we take down the Salvation Army base, we can deal with these people together. The first battle was won, with zero losses on our side. This was a battle that Lu Chen was quite satisfied with, both in terms of process and result. It is worth mentioning that the opponent's giant cannon tank caused nearly 50% armor loss to Qing Tian. It can be seen that the opponent is capable of fighting back, and we need to be more cautious in future battles. However, the harvest this time was also very rich, although there were not many crystal nuclei. However, 20 usable armored vehicles and 5 large artillery tanks were seized, and an opponent's function communication tank. Whether it is the function or the cannon tank, they are both perfect vehicles for the heart of machinery to upgrade. Super tank? That's so cool. Captain! Another target is approaching quickly! Yudon's voice came from the communicator. Chapter 176 Superpowers Gather. Another convoy attack? The other party's efficiency is a bit high. Lu Chen thought to himself. It seems there is only one team. So leave it to us. Okay. If there is danger, retreat immediately. Lu Chen approved Yudon's request to take the initiative. The large army is now cleaning the battlefield and resting. Regrouping will consume a lot of energy and time from the troops. Fortunately, the other party only came with a small team. So the fishball team with the most superpowers went to deal with it. After comparing the combat prowess of large armies, it is also good to compare the combat prowess of individual units. Call. Lightning roared through the streets, and Yudan and his party took the initiative to attack the enemy. Report the other party's specific configuration. Yudan asked Shushui. Shushui closed his eyes tightly, and Itachi released all his strength. There are three engines, and ten combatants are expected. The tank should be the same heavy armored vehicle as before. Okay, let's fight quickly. Yudon kicked the accelerator to the bottom, and the lightning rushed out. They had destroyed an entire armored convoy before, so naturally this convoy with only three tanks was not to mention. Two kilometers. One point five kilometers. One kilometer. As the two sides got closer, Shushui kept reporting the distance between the two sides. Soon, the enemy convoy came into Yudan's sight. Meet the enemy! Yudan shouted. The operator Xiao Liang, who was sitting in the co-pilot, turned the handle, and the wheels entered the idling state in advance. From starting up to firing bullets, the minigun needs to rotate the stationary barrel. Entering the idle state in advance can ensure that the machine gun can fire bullets immediately afterwards. In an instant, the distance between the two sides narrowed again, and they were already within shooting range of each other. Fire! Yudan ordered. Xiaoshui pressed the button, and venom bullets whizzed out. Even if the opponent's defense is very strong, it cannot withstand the firepower of the minigun for five seconds. Just when Yudan thought he could capture three more armored vehicles for nothing, those venom bullets slowly stopped in the air, as if they were stopped by an invisible net. Stranger! Yudan reacted instantly, and immediately called Xiuxui to stop. Cease fire! If the bullets are useless, you need to find another method. A flash occurred in Yudan's mind, and his superpower was activated overload. The strange energy quickly traveled through his body, and he could feel that his body was merging with lightning. The state of Shiden's body and various data were reflected in his mind, and his control over Shiden was constantly increasing. Fire charge. After the ability is activated, Yudan controls the lightning to enter spread mode. Even if the opponent's superpower can stop bullets, it can never stop the lightning that is sprinting at full speed. He's going to crash this convoy directly. Boom. Dazzling flame spurted out from the rear of the car, and lightning rushed towards the enemy like a horse of fire. On the way forward, the bullets suspended in the air are slowly turning. The next moment, they seem to be affected by some kind of force, and they shot out from midair. Swish, swish. Each venom bullet reversed its direction and collided head-on, with the charging lightning. Armor loss minus 5%. Minus 5%. Minus 5%. Not good! Yudon was shocked. Entering an overloaded state. He has become one with lightning. He could clearly feel the astonishing damage done to lightning. Every venom bullet that rushes towards them can cause 5% armor loss. In just one second, the armor has dropped by 40%. If this continues, Yudon's armor will collapse before hitting the opponent. She. With the blessing of superpowers, Yudon braked and turned around in a few milliseconds, allowing lightning to escape the firing range of the venom bullets. Fortunately, part of the reason why the bullets are so powerful is because of the lightning speed. The relative speed between the two reaches an extremely terrifying level. So the damage will be great. 
after Yudon turned around. The damage of the venom bullets was immediately reduced by most of it. After a few seconds, the fish egg finally escaped the firing range of the venom bullet. Boss, what should we do next? Xiao Liang asked. When they catch up, try using the machine cannon again. If it doesn't work, retreat. Yudon panted, looking at Flash with only 20% of his armor left. He felt that he too had passed through the gate of H, L, on the armored vehicle. Qian Yuan watched the lightning disappear from sight with disdain. He slowly clenched his palms, and the few remaining bullets in the air flew to his hand. The cold metal bullet case glowed with a green light. Qian Yuan glanced at it and waved his hand, and bullets fell to the ground one after another. Interesting, he said softly. Captain, there is no sound from the main battlefield. The battle seems to be over. The subordinate's voice came from the communicator. It seems that the car just came towards us. Not a deserter. Lord Johnson and the others. Could they have already lost? Whether they win or lose. Whether they live or die. It doesn't matter. A cold light flashed in Qian Yuan's eyes. When I say bring victory back, I will definitely bring victory back. Everyone is ready to let those foreign native dogs recognize their owners again. As soon as he finished speaking, the driver stepped on the accelerator to the bottom. Three armored fighting vehicles advanced at full speed. This chapter is not over. Please click on the next page to continue reading. Bang. Just after turning around a corner coffee shop. ISH. I was fired at the convoy. Qian Yuan's eyes widened. Veins popped out. And he suddenly raised his right hand. The huge artillery SH. L immediately hovered a few meters away from the armored vehicle. With a few hand gesture changes with his right hand. The SH. L flipped in the air and came to the side of the armored vehicle. Go forward. A cold voice came out. The armored vehicle continued to move forward, and Qian Yuan's eyes were fixed on the lightning vehicle that fired a shot and then escaped. I'm throwing Lei Lama. Seeing that the opponent can even block the machine cannon, Yudan escaped at the speed of light and made a strategic retreat. With Flash's current armor, there is absolutely no way it can withstand the damage of a single machine gun. Escape is also an art of war. This time he encountered a tough situation, and Yudan felt ashamed. Constantly fiddle with the communicator to check if there is a signal. There was a hissing sound of electricity, and it finally connected. Yudan quickly reported the situation here to the main force. Boss! We were beaten! Lu Chen was directing Lin Dachui and others to dismantle the armored vehicles on the battlefield. It was Zhuang Yuan who told Lu Chen about the beating of Yudan. Lu Chen was also a little surprised when he heard this. Only one superpower can handle a sea level lightning bolt, and since you have the guts to go to the meeting alone, it proves that these people must have something. He estimated that this must be a team of superpowers. If you want a one-on-one -on -one battle between men, then let them do it. Lu Chen quickly boarded the thunderstorm and switched the communicator to the public channel. All combat attribute superpowers. Report to the center of the camp immediately. Not only to win team battles, but also to win individual duels. Not only are the tanks stronger than you, but the superpowers are also stronger than you. Completely defeat the enemy in every area he excels in. This is absolute victory. Chapter 177, On the Verge of Breaking Out In less than two minutes, all the superpowers in the team gathered. Before Flash even drove into the camp, Red Flame and Thunderstorm were heading towards them. Turn around and follow me to help you find your place. Lu Chen's voice came from the communicator. Yudan and his younger brothers looked at each other with uncontrollable joy on their faces. This is so handsome. Yudan immediately turned around and followed the convoy. Lu Chen opened the tank group system and repaired Ji Dian's armor. He drove Qi in alone and rushed to the front of the team, while the superpowers were waiting in the trunk behind the thunderstorm. I'll take the first step, and you guys can follow. Lu Chen said a word and then started air propulsion. Bang! A violent sonic boom sounded, and Qi Yin disappeared from everyone's sight in an instant. He wants to get rid of the opponent's chariot in advance, so that both sides can only fight with supernatural powers. Based on the information given by Yudan, it is speculated that the opponent should have power similar to telekinesis, able to give physical resistance or power to entities through the air. So Lu Chen directly drove Qi Yin as the vanguard. After all, flame is not a physical substance, and the other party cannot control the flame. In this way, they can be forced out of the car and have a battle between superpowers. After Qi Yin left, Yudan followed with a fierce fire charge. As a medium-sized tank, Thunderstorm does not have similar propulsion power, and can only drive forward honestly. Zhuang Yuan stared ahead. 
Her driving skills were already very proficient. But she seemed a little nervous this time. Because Yuji was sitting in the passenger seat. Two women with incredible looks were in the same room. And the atmosphere seemed a little subtle. Are you boyfriend and girlfriend? Yuji asked seemingly casually. Ah. Ah? Zhuang Yuan didn't react for a while. It's okay if you don't answer. I'm just asking casually. Yuji cut off the topic and silence fell into the cab again. The weather is nice today. Um. The atmosphere in the trunk is completely opposite to that in the cab. It's full of joy. Although the soldiers still retain their basic pre-war preparations. But there was indeed irrepressible curiosity and joy on their faces. The combat performance and appearance of Thunderstorm are already cool and impressive. But who would have thought that its rear compartment would be so cool? This is simply a presidential suite. Six warriors with combat abilities sat in a row on a high-end sofa. There is a comfortable wool carpet under your feet. And there is a light mint fragrance in the air. Coupled with soothing light music and simple and atmospheric interiors. It is no exaggeration to say that this place is paradise on earth. Rushing to the battlefield all day long. Facing endless dust and monsters. It had been a long time since they had been in such a clean and refreshing space. The most terrible thing is that there are two bottles of champagne on the marble coffee table in front of them. It's so cool. I really want to live here. The team members used their words to cover up the sound of swallowing. I declare Thunderstorm to be my dream car again. Ah. Zetsuko. Captain. Here we come again. And faster. Humph. These people are looking for death and sending themselves to death at the same speed. Chi and Yuan snorted coldly, turned his left hand, and the missiles flying with the car outside the window also slowly rotated. Coming! shouted the observer. At the end, they saw a fiery red chariot speeding towards them. The speed is so fast that only the afterimage can be seen. Boom! Chi and Yuan was slightly shocked by Chi Yan's speed, and then activated his superpower, and the missiles shot forward rapidly. Court death. The faster it comes, the higher the damage it will take when it hits the cannonball. At this speed, it is impossible to dodge the missiles in time. This man is dead. Qian Yuan raised the corners of his mouth slightly, expecting a gorgeous explosion to occur. The cannonball spun forward in the air. Just when it was about to hit, Luchin started, controlling the chariot at its best and dancing together. He closed his eyes and felt the beating of every part on Chian's body. Moving, he turned the steering wheel. Qi Yan moved at an extremely slight angle. It was stuck on the extreme edge of rollover and being shot. And the front half of the front body of the car narrowly avoided the missile. Then, the car braked and swung back. And the rear body of the car swung like a dragon. Dodging the missile. Finally, he straightened his body and headed straight towards the armored lead vehicle. Bang bang bang! In one breath, Qi and Yuan realized that when Lu Chen dodged the missile, he had already flown into the sky with his people and his car. Impossible. Is that human being? Even a person with superpowers can't dodge the cannonball at that speed. Doubts exploded in Qian Yuan's mind. Who is he? Bang bang bang. Three chariots fell from the sky. And Qian Yuan used his superpower to make the fallen chariots face down. SKR. There was a violent breaking sound. And before they could react, Qi Yin had already rushed back. This time the flamethrower was turned on. And terrifying flames roared out. The huge iron chariots turned into steaming pots under the flames. Get off the bus! Get off the bus! Qian Yuan gave the order and was the first to jump out of the flame furnace. When he landed, he immediately took a fighting stance to prevent the opponent from directly crushing him. But what surprised him was that the opponent's tank did not attack further. Instead, they forced them out of the chariot, then left the front and stopped not far away. The armored tanks will not be able to return in a short time. Now they could only use their bodies to fight against the opponent's tanks. But fortunately, this is a team of specially trained superpowers. The armored vehicle is just a means of transportation for them. Only after getting off the vehicle can their combat power be unleashed to the greatest extent. Line up! Qian Yuan shouted to the team members who jumped out of the car one by one. Both this chariot and the one that had just escaped had their own quirks. And he wanted to take them back and present them to the leader of Lingji. The eight team members stood in a row behind Qian Yuan and formed a formation. Even though what they had just experienced left them feeling frightened. With Qian Yuan around, they would not lose their confidence. After all, Qian Yuan is one of the top superpowers in the base, and even in the entire Hai Chung. Qian Yuan raised his hands slightly, and his superpowers roamed wildly in his body. He is accumulating strength. When the chariot charges next time, 
he will lift it completely off the ground. When a fish leaves the water, it is useless no matter how fast it swims. With a clang, Chayan's car door was slowly opened. A slender man wearing a black trench coat got out of the car. After closing the door with a bang, he leaned sideways on the chariot and waved to everyone in Qinyuan. His expression was content and carefree, exactly like how he should appear on the battlefield. Qianyuan's eyes widened, anger burning in his chest. Not only did the opponent not take advantage of the chariot to attack, they even got out of the chariot in an extremely provocative manner. Cannot stand. Unforgivable. Go! Crush him into bloody foam! Qianyuan said angrily. The accumulated superpower exploded instantly, and he jumped into the air and rushed straight towards Lu Qin. The eight superpowers behind him also released their own superpowers and charged with Qianyuan. For a moment, it was brilliant and spectacular. The nine superpowers rushed out like hungry beasts. I vowed to tear this stupid human being in front of me to pieces. Seeing how fierce the opponent was, Chase Lu had no choice but to wave his hand and point lightly. Duang. A space of time unfolded, and the actions of the nine superpowers slowed down instantly, almost to a standstill. Shoo! Lu Chen put his index finger in front of his lips and made a silencing gesture. Don't worry. Wait until our people arrive. Chapter 178 Superpowers vs. Superpowers Time Force Field The three-stage ability of Time Zero Users can create an area and determine the flow rate of time within that area. Within the Time Force Field created by Chase Lu, the opponent's legion of superpowers that had just emerged instantly lost all momentum. Looking at their extremely slow speed, everyone was only shocked. The slowdown in the flow of external time does not affect the brain's thinking. Apart from being shocked, Qian Yuan's mind was still working at full capacity, analyzing the situation on the scene. The first is a cruel fact that he doesn't want to admit, but has to accept. The man in front of me is very strong. Time-based abilities are already rare among scarcity. Coupled with this man's skillful control, it's so powerful that it's frightening. What he said next was, Our people haven't arrived yet. Is he waiting for reinforcements? In this case, he should not be sure that one person can defeat them all. In other words, there is still a chance. Xian Yuan's eyes flashed, and he slowly regained his sense from the analysis. There is still a chance that the opponent's ability seems powerful, but it has not shown any damage yet. It is basically an auxiliary skill, and its reinforcements will definitely not be too powerful. After all, they are just a small force. So as long as you wait for this time force field to end, it will be time to start killing people. Rumble. While he was thinking, Xian Yuan saw two tanks approaching from behind Lu Chen. One was the one that had just escaped from him, and the other was even larger. Xian Yuan's brows slowly wrinkled. How is it possible? That tank also seems to have been specially modified. The special modification of two tanks can be explained by luck or something else. But three tanks in a row are like this, which makes people suspect that their base seems to have the ability to modify super tanks like the Salvation Army. How can that be possible? Master Lin Ji's ability is said to be customized by the Psalm organization. Isn't it unique? Qian and Lei Bao stopped behind Lu Chen. And Yudan Zhuang Yuan and others got out of the car. What the HL? Boss! What's wrong with him? Yudan looked curious. A little trick. Lu Chen turned around and counted the number of people. Zhuang Yuan had no special powers. Including Sukiheim. There are seven psychics on Thunderstorm and three on Lightning. You each choose someone to deal with the eight superpowers at the back. Luchin said. What are you going to do? Boss? Just blast it with one cannon. You don't have many opportunities to train after acquiring superpowers. This is just the time for you to give it a try. If we encounter a single soldier fighting in the future, we won't be in a hurry. Boss is wise. Yudon said with a smile. With a sound, Luchin canceled the time force field. The team members inside did not react and all fell forward. Qian Yuan's power drove them up and prevented them from falling to the ground. He stabilized his body, suspended in the air, and stared at Chase Lu with a pair of angry eyes. How dare you treat their team of battle-hardened superpowers as sparring partners? They must pay the price. The price of blood? Qian Yuan was so angry that he wanted to tear Lu Chen into pieces immediately. Lu Chen didn't pay attention to the wolf-like eyes on the other side and continued. With great power comes great responsibility. You are all rare superpowers in your respective teams. Whatever happens in the future, you will be the last barrier for the team members behind you. So it is very important to hone your combat skills and ability level. Let go of your hands and feet and go all out. Boss, 
Boss, the other side is coming, Yudon shouted anxiously, interrupting Lu Chen's pre-battle lecture. Oh, 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 then come here. Charge, charge. Lu Chen waved his hand and asked all the team members to charge forward. Encounter is the best way to react on the spot. And melee is an excellent scene for training combat skills. Regardless of success or failure, this battle is the best training for this group of new superpowers. Of course, if it fails, Lu Chen will not let his side suffer casualties. He turned around and winked at Zhuang Yuan, who immediately understood. Then he took out a Barrett M82A1 heavy sniper rifle from behind. This is an artifact in a certain game that can kill someone with just one shot. The sniper artifact is paired with Zhuang Yuan, who is not a superpower, but is a superpower. As long as one's team members are in danger, it means that one of the opponent's superpowers will have his skull flipped over. This is not a fair fight. In a real battlefield, no one will tell you about martial ethics. Rush, on the wide street, the superpowers from both sides charged head on. None of them were in a hurry to take action, because the first point in an encounter was to figure out the opponent's abilities. I'll go first. Lin Zhongjing roared. Roar. A burst of furious sound waves spurted out, stirring up waves of rocks and sand on the ground. Ah. Uh, a woman in the opponent's formation opened her mouth and screamed. Two waves of sound waves collided in the air, causing bursts of explosions. Roar. Ah. Uh, since ancient times, when facing waves, if you go to the left, you will lose. Lin Zhuang, standing on the right, screamed longer and more ecstatically. After a few seconds, the woman hummed and was blown away. Lin Zhang Zheng was overjoyed and his momentum immediately rose. This chapter is not finished yet. Please click on the next page to continue reading the exciting content. Running the superpower. He was about to give the opponent another shot. Suddenly, a burst of tyrannical pressure came on him, instantly interrupting the power that had just been running. The pressure came like a mountain, and Lin Zhuang fell to his knees directly. A mouthful of blood gushing out. Qian Yuan's right hand was seen above everyone, making a pressing gesture. Invisible tremendous pressure acted on Lin Zhuang's body. He wanted to kill Lin Zhuang directly to regain confidence in his own side. Wind blade! The team members around Lin Zhuang waved their hands and fired sharp blades made of wind into the sky. Qian Yuan's eyes flashed, and the supernatural power came to his shoulders, and he fell quickly, avoiding the wind blade. Then he used his left hand, and the team member suddenly knelt down and let out a scream. Ant! Qian Yuan shouted angrily and clenched his hands into fists. The pressure on Lin Zhuang and another team member increased dramatically, as if they were in the deep sea. Dying, an idea flashed in Lin Zhuang's mind. Boom! A loud noise sounded from behind. Qian Yuan's eyes flashed and he raised his hands. Stopped a bullet larger than a human hand in midair. Although the sniper attack was unsuccessful, the pressure on Lin Zhuang and another team member disappeared instantly. Seeking death! Qian Yuan locked his eyes on the direction of the bullet and clenched his hands into fists again. The bullet immediately flipped over and shot towards Zhuang Yuan. Rub! There was a flash of light, and the bullet in the air was cut in half from the middle and landed on the ground. Lu Chen unsheathed a molten hidden sword in his right hand and slowly walked towards Qian Yuan. Let's have some fun! Chapter 179 It's cool! How did that bullet break? Everyone on the other side stared blankly at the bullet broken into two halves, unable to stop wondering in their hearts. None of them saw Lu Chen take out the knife. In just a blink of an eye, the sword flashed. A fire blade popped out of his right arm, and the bullet shattered into two halves. Come on! Lu Chen stretched out his index finger and tapped Qian Yuan twice. With a bang, Qian Yuan jumped up from the ground, past Lin Zhuang and others, and headed straight towards Lu Chen. At this point, the battlefield is divided into two places. This was also intentional by Lu Chen. Qian Yuan's strength was a dimensionality reducing blow to other team members. He must separate him from it so that the team members can get real training. After Qian Yuan left, the frontal fighting resumed. He landed a hundred meters away from Lu Chen. His heart full of vigilance. Lu Chen's action made him know that he must go all out in the face of this kind of enemy. Come on! Qian Yuan said coldly. The supernatural power was activated. His feet were in the air, and the surrounding roads began to crumble inch by inch. Lu Chen flicked the fingertips of his left hand, and the hidden sword popped out. Facing this kind of enemy, he couldn't be as leisurely as before. After Qian Yuan left, Yudan and others dragged Lin Zhuang and another injured team member to the rear. 
and the front has entered a war against waves. Because it was an encounter, neither side knew the other's details, and no one dared to move forward rashly. Only those with the power of long-range attacks can activate their powers and attack. Boom! A fire dragon like the sun spewed out from the opposite side. Extremely fierce. Danger! Iron Mask, who has the ability to sense danger, directs the team members to escape. However, the distance between the two sides was too close, and the fire dragon was extremely fast, so several team members had no time to escape. At the critical moment, Xiao Liang opened his chest and stood directly in front of the fire dragon. Boom! The fire dragon hit Xiao Liang head on. The fire exploded, and the heat wave spread out. Xiao Liang! Yudan yelled desperately. The fire ended, the smoke dissipated, and Xiao Yang still stood firmly in place. All of his upper body clothes were reduced to ashes, and his body was covered in black toner. The chest was even more terrible. It was already bloody and bloody, with pus and blood overflowing. The two team members who were rescued by Xiao Yang were about to shed tears. We are both superpowers. Why are we so useless and need our teammates to save us? Small light. The members of Yudan team couldn't accept it for a while and kept shouting Xiao Yang's name. Just when everyone was grieving and wanted to avenge Xiao Yang who died heroically, the charcoal black body suddenly shook. Cool! Xiao Yang roared angrily and waved his hands. Everyone was shocked, and Xiao Liang's expression could be seen through the dark toner. It is neither the heroism of dying heroically nor the pain of being seriously injured, but a look of joyful enjoyment? WTF? It turns out that Xiao Yang's superpower is the ultimate improvement of human body function. Not only physical strength, strength, but also the body's ability to resist blows have been improved. That's why he was able to withstand the attack of an entire fire dragon and remain standing. But the happy expression on his face after being beaten was not given by supernatural powers. Special code. You kid is so wild. Yudon shouted. This time, not only Yudon and the others were surprised, but even the other side's superpowers were dumbfounded. These guys across the street, Playing in such a perverted way? Suddenly I don't want to fight them. Fire Dragon! The opponent's superpower released another fire dragon attack angrily. The superpower he unleashed with all his strength not only caused no harm, but also made others happy. Who would be less popular if replaced? Danger! Tianmian shouted again subconsciously. But after shouting, he didn't know whether to shout or not. After all, that guy doesn't seem to be very scared. Seeing the fire dragon coming again. Seal Yang's eyes really lit up. But then, I thought that even though my body had stronger powers, it wasn't invincible. If you resist twice, you will really lose your life. You also need to be restrained in rewarding yourself. And you can't be like some readers. Withdraw! He turned around and picked up the two team members, jumped forward and jumped out of the range of the fire dragon. With a bang, the fire dragon fell into the air. Poison frog rain of arrows! Another team member from the opposing team shot green poisonous arrows at them. This is too much! Iron Face men rushed out of the bunker. Their laser eyes lit up. Two fiery red lasers stirred in the air, knocking poisonous arrows to the ground. Two, 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 two! Yudon also climbed out of the bunker and fired fiercely with two rifles. In the overload state, the rifle's performance is extremely improved. In an instant, the team member who fired the arrow rain just now was shot into a sieve by fish eggs. The powerful fire suppression made the enemies dare not show their faces and hid behind the armored vehicles. In just three seconds, the extended magazines of both rifles were emptied. The gun also emitted black smoke and was completely scrapped. This was a sequelae of overload. Although the suppression was short-lived, it also gave our side some breathing time. The Windblade superpower user and Xiao Shui discussed a joint attack. Itachi is the messenger of the wind. He can bring back information from the wind and can also guide the strong wind. With the blessing of the Itachi Scythe, the Wind Blade can gain a certain degree of guidance ability. Wind Blade! The team member exhausted his powers, and released dozens of Wind Blades in the air. This chapter is not over. Please click on the next page to continue reading. After that, Xu Shui's powers were fully activated, and he used the Ferret Sickle to slightly guide the Wind Blades. Ah! A scream sounded. It was the woman who had just been fighting with Lin Zhuang. This scream completely disrupted the progress of the wind blades. And the wind blades that could have bypassed the bunker hit the armored vehicle one after another. Damn it! The wind blade superpower roared. His powers are exhausted. Which means he won't be of use anymore. Wow! Everyone looked forward. 
I saw a muscular man holding a huge boulder in front of him and rushing towards them. There are people in the building on the left and the corridor on the right, Xiao Lian shouted. Although the attack was destroyed, Itachi Kama still brought back information about the enemy's attack. I saw a man on the right crawling quickly along the wall of the building, resembling a spider. I didn't see anyone on the left at all. It's invisibility, Iron Mask shouted. I'll deal with him. I'll be on the other side. Sukiheim, who had been silent and observed the battlefield, said, Then leave the middle one to me. Xiao Liang bumped his fist expectantly. Let's have a passionate battle. Lin Zhuang recovered from his injuries and looked toward the rear with the remaining Yu Dan and others. The decisive moment is coming. On the other side of the battlefield, as soon as the battle started, Lu Chen moved forward to close the distance. Qian Yuan, on the other hand, kept retreating and keeping a certain distance from Lu Chen. Being experienced in combat, he could probably guess that Lu Chen was a melee assassin. When a mage fights an assassin, he must keep a distance. Time Force Field. With a buzzing sound, Lu Chen lightly pointed at Qian Yuan. And the Time Force Field unfolded. Qian Yuan's figure stagnated and could no longer retreat. Lu Chen smiled softly and stepped forward quickly. The two sides got close to a certain distance. And Lu Chen suddenly stopped. After entering a certain range of Qin Yuan, a strong pressure acted on him. The further inside, the stronger the pressure becomes, making it impossible to move. So the battlefield on this side was different from the fierce fighting on the other side. But both sides stopped moving. Those who didn't know better thought the two were taking an intermission. Qin Yuan, who was in the time force field, tried to escape from the force field. But his movements were slow, and he couldn't move for a long time. Lu Chen, who was under strong pressure, tried to turn his body, but he was unable to move at all. The two people stared at each other, and the situation became awkward for a while. Lu Chen resisted the invisible pressure and squeezed out a smile that was not only ugly but ugly. Little brother, you can't tell the winner like this. How about we pull away first? Qian Yuan stared at Lu Chen, his eyes still shining fiercely. Snort! Chapter 183 Stages of Superpowers Qian Yuan snorted and reduced the pressure on Lu Chen. Lu Chen suddenly felt relieved and quickly stepped back, canceling the time field at the same time. The two sides instantly opened a distance of nearly 100 meters, and the battle once again fell into a stalemate. Cool! Suddenly a voice came from the other side of the battlefield. Lu Chen glanced at it. What does it mean to be happy? Just from this glance, when he looked back, Qian Yuan was surrounded by countless rebels. He waved his hands violently, and bits of gravel shot towards Lu Chen like bullets. Swish, swish. I'll test it! Lu Chen turned over and hid behind the collapsed boulder on the road. Unexpectedly, in just an instant, cracks appeared in the boulder and exploded in an instant. This rain of gravel bullets is more powerful than bullets, with no room to escape anymore. Lu Chen activated his powers. Time zero. Everything around him came to a standstill and Lu Chen shuttled through the rain of gravel like a dragon. Seven seconds was not enough time for Lu Chen to get close to Qin Yuan suspended in midair, and he didn't know if there was always a pressure field protecting it. After spending two seconds avoiding the rubble, Lu Chen activated his power again. A hot energy circulated in his chest. Molten state. Starting from his heart. His chest gradually turned red, and bursts of heat came out. It takes ten seconds to bring the whole body into a molten state but it doesn't take that long to only heat the upper body. With a burst of breathing, like a strong wind sweeping by, all stationary things began to move again. Time zero stops. At the same time, Lu Chen's upper body, including an important part of his lower body, was already in a molten state. Swish, swish. Countless gravel rain struck again. Lu Chen swung his double blades to protect his legs, leaving his upper body directly exposed to the attack. The moment the projectile-like gravel came into contact with Lu Chen's body, it was vaporized and turned into a puff of white smoke. The gravel continued to attack, and countless white smoke floated out from Lu Chen's body. The dazzling red light emitted by the molten state illuminates the white smoke as beautifully as the morning sun. Qian Yuan was stunned. This was a double superpower. The abilities that can be obtained by level 3 superpowers can be achieved by implanting two crystal cores and gaining dual superpowers. But not all three-stage superpowers can obtain dual superpowers. The implanter must have strong enough physical fitness and unparalleled mental control. Otherwise, the crystal core will backfire and turn into a zombie. Qian Yuan is unable to become a dual-power person because of his physical condition. 
but the man opposite him turned out to be a person with dual powers. Moreover, isn't his superpower Yugo's fire blade? He killed Yugo and gained his powers? But it has only been one day. And Master Lin Ji cannot analyze the crystal core in such a short time. How could he do it? Thousands of thoughts kept surging in Xian Yuan's mind. And just a few encounters with this group of people had already subverted his worldview. I originally thought that this group of people were just Yeku and Tugo and his like. But I didn't expect that they were so powerful. Seeing that the attack was ineffective, Xian Yuan opened his palms and the gravel around him fell. The white mist dissipated and the lava colored Luchin stood there with heat waves billowing out. Light is refracted when it enters a high temperature area and the space around it appears to be distorted. Luchin breathed in the air, his red chest rising and falling. After using his powers on a large scale many times, his mental strength was almost at an end. In the next round of moves, the ultimate kill must be performed. Xian Yuan, who was suspended in midair, was also trying his best to calm his breathing. His palms were sweating, and there were beads of sweat on his forehead. His mental strength was also on the verge of running out of energy. Xian Yuan gritted his teeth and used all his strength to drive the supernatural power in his body, regardless of whether he is a person with dual powers or not. This move. He must be killed. Luchin stood there, waiting for time zero to recover. The ultimate killing method has already been formed in his mind. This blow will definitely kill the opponent. Lu Chen and Qian Yuan stood still, their fiery gazes colliding passionately in the air. A chilling air suddenly spread between the two of them, and the air was terrifyingly quiet, like the calm before the storm, like the silence before a cowboy duel. Cool! 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 Suddenly, another slightly perverted shout came from next door, instantly breaking the solemn atmosphere. Damn it! Lu Chen was speechless for a while. Field of Annihilation! Just as Shuang shouts stopped, Qian Yuan suddenly burst into flames with momentum, like a rainbow. His hands were arched into claw-like shapes, and they were suddenly closed in front of him, from top to bottom. The moment he put his hands together, Lu Chen felt something was wrong. A violent pressure was coming towards him from all directions. Fortunately, Shuang shouts didn't attract his attention this time. Lu Chen reacted the moment he noticed the abnormality. Time field! This time, the time stance no longer controlled Qian Yuan, but shrouded himself. Driven by supernatural powers, the flow rate of time approaches zero infinitely. But even so, Qian Yuan's attack still had an impact on Lu Chen. This is the ability unlocked in the third stage of his superpower. The user can designate a smaller space and pour all the pressure that the power can control into it. Things in space will be disintegrated by pressure in an instant and dissociated into atomic states. It is called the annihilation space. This is a prompt ability, and Lu Chen can only slow down time, but not pause time. Therefore, the violent pressure did not disappear, but entered the time force field inch by inch, acting on Lu Chen's body. Time zero has not yet turned around. Chase Lu is unable to move at all in the time force field, but the pressure is increasing as time slowly passes. This pressure can instantly annihilate people. Even a little bit of it makes Chase Lu feel the aura of terror. I couldn't move any inch of my body, and it felt like every cell in my body was going off the alarm. Time zero. Time zero. The CD time of time zero will not be affected by the time force field. So Chen Lu only needs to wait a few more seconds to activate it. Ah. Qian Yuan gritted his teeth and activated the last bit of superpower in his body. Persistence. Persistence will win. He knew that Chase Lu had activated the time slowing ability. But this can only delay death. As long as he persists until Lu Chen's powers are exhausted. When the flow rate resumes, all the pressure will still fall on Lu Chen. He won. He won. Even if you use up this ability, you will faint. But the opponent will be completely annihilated. On the frontal battlefield, our side will definitely win. And the team members will come to rescue them when the time comes. A ferocious smile slowly crept up Qian Yuan's face. I won. The Salvation Army won. Within the overlay field of annihilation space and time force fields, Lu Chen's eyes were about to burst out. Fortunately, Time Zero has lived up to Lu Chen's trust. With breathing becoming difficult, Time Zero finally completed its cooling. Time Zero. The mind jumps and time starts from zero. Call. Lu Chen, who returned to normal time flow, immediately took a deep breath. The pressure just now almost burst his lungs. Six seconds. Entering the Time Zero state, the pressure did not decrease. But Lu Chen's movement returned to normal. Without any pause, Chase Lu slowly took out a pistol from his coat despite the pressure. 
for seconds. When the melt is activated, the pistol is instantly heated to a molten state. Xian Yuan's force field cannot block energy weapons. And the molten state is an energy weapon. Two seconds. Bang! Lu Chen pulled the trigger. The bullet entered a slow state the moment it came out of the chamber. In time zero, any object that is not in direct contact with Lu Chen will enter a deceleration state. One second. Lu Chen tapped the bullet with his finger. And the bullet was slowly heated until it melted. Zero seconds. Lu Chen held the bullet with his palm. Time ends at zero. Whoosh. Chapter 181 A real man just wants to have fun. Time zero ends, and the flow rate outside the time force field returns to normal. With a whoosh, lava bullets flew out from Lu Chen's palm. Because they are in a molten state, the bullet can directly penetrate Lu Chen's palm without losing its kinetic energy. The reason why Lu Chen wrapped the bullet with his palm was to use his palm to help the bullet withstand the final pressure. Only in this way can the bullets be ensured to follow the trajectory launched by Lu Chen. After the bullet broke through the time force field, it resumed its original speed and rushed straight towards Qian Yuan like a firebird. Call. Qian Yuan's expression changed. And in the blink of an eye, the other party responded with, Okay. He didn't even see how this happened. Seeing the bullets coming rapidly, Qian Yuan subconsciously activated his powers to block them. But the red bullet didn't stop like before. But kept shooting at him. Damn it! Qian Yuan shouted angrily. And at the critical moment, he cancelled the annihilation space. He raised his hands, and a pressure acted on his shoulders, instantly lowering himself down, landing from midair. Qian Yuan's eyes were fixed on the flaming bullet. That seemingly murderous bullet actually missed half a meter to the left. He didn't have to dodge at all. The bullet couldn't hurt him at all. I was cheated. Qian Yuan looked down, and saw Lu Qin was only ten meters away from him. Damn it! He moved his palms, trying to activate his powers again to distance himself. But this time the superpower didn't respond to him. He had been completely drained. Yeah! Xian Yuan let out a final roar and fell towards the ground under the final release of pressure. Lu Chen took two steps forward, stepped on a boulder, jumped up, and pushed his chest with his knee in the air. Boom! The two fell to the ground at the same time, causing rubble to fly everywhere. Lu Chen knelt on one knee, and Xian Yuan's chest was pressed under his knee. The chest was sunken and almost no ribs survived. With a pop, Qian Yuan spurted out a mouthful of blood. He looked at Lu Chen, the light in his eyes gradually dissipating. How could the Salvation Army lose? I haven't killed all the monsters yet. How can I lose? Lu Chen stood up slowly from the ground. The other person's chest was deformed and his ribs were probably broken. He took a deep breath and wiped the cold sweat from his forehead. Whether it was pressure or time, the battle between the two sides broke out invisibly. In the eyes of outsiders, only Rui Shiyu and Lu Chen sprinted forward in the end. The rest of the time, the two of them stayed where they were and stared. This is also the reason why Zhuang Yuan has not supported him. Although support may not be of much help, Lu Chen retracted his hidden sword, made two expressions, and relaxed, let out a long sigh. Damn it! I won't do it again next time! On the frontal battlefield, after each superpower locked their target, they came out of their bunkers to face the enemy. The battlefield was once again divided into independent small battles. Because of Shioshui's weasel side, the enemy's frontal attack and flank invasion plan were cracked by the Angel of Death. Tsukiheim faced off against Spider-Man, while Ireface faced off against the Invisible Man. In the center of the battlefield, a strong man charging against a bolder faced Shao Liang. Afterwards, countless long-range attacks came out in full force, and the members of the Death Angel also released their superpowers to deal with each other. Ah. Uh, the strongman roared angrily and threw the boulder toward Xiao Yang. Xiao Yang turned his hips and punched, smashing the boulder into pieces with one blow. Boulder fist! The strongman roared again, and the gravel clung to his fists. After completing the combination of giant fists, he stepped forward and punched Xiao Yang. With a bang, gravel flew wildly and smoke filled the air. Cool! A wanton roar came from the smoke. The strongman was stunned for a second then punched him with all his strength. Xiao Yang stood where he was, neither too much nor too evasive. Another punch, and the strong man's stone fist was smashed into pieces. Cool! He responded with another happy sound, and as soon as he finished speaking, he punched through the smoke and came. Bang! Most of the armor made of gravel on the strong man's face was broken into pieces. He staggered, struggling to maintain his stability. Ah! The strong man was completely angered. 
His stone fists gathered together again, and he rushed towards Xiao Yang. Cool! Ah! Uh, cool! Ah! Uh, different from the splashing of gravel in the center of the battlefield. It is full of passion. The battles on both sides of the battlefield were silent fights between assassins. In addition to her supernatural powers, Yu Ji's own combat skills are also top-notch. Facing the enemy clinging to the wall, she climbed up the wall in a few clicks. The two beautiful legs jumped like a phantom, and they were close to the Spider-Man in an instant. Cobweb entangled. Spider-Man sprayed a spider web with dissolving saliva at Sukiheim. Once entangled in spider webs, the corrosive saliva gradually dissolves organic matter. He couldn't wait to see Yuji being dissolved and naked. Hey, hey, hey. As soon as the spider web came out, Spider-Man let out an obscene and wild laugh. Amid laughter, Yuji took advantage of a balcony to calmly take off. In midair, her legs danced like scissors. After a few rubs, a cold light flashed. The cobweb shattered into threads. And Yuji landed steadily on another balcony. He raised his head and looked into Spider-Man's eyes. Charm is activated. This is her newly unlocked ability usage after upgrading to the second stage last time. Enemies within range can be temporarily disoriented. As soon as the skill came out, Yuji jumped up again. The high heel blade slid past, and a head with a crazy smile fell from the air. How can you see me? A voice echoed in the air. Iron Face is holding a dagger to fend off the invisible man. You are an invisible person, and I am a clairvoyant. I can see the color of your underwear, Iron Man said. The pressure on the dagger disappeared, and the invisible man retreated. If the invisible man does not attack, he cannot see the invisible man. But as long as the other party has the intention to kill him, then he can obtain the other party's location. So the kamikaze must provoke him. How is that possible? A clairvoyant shouldn't be able to see me either. Don't believe me. I can tell the color of your underwear. Iron Man said sternly. No way. You would never guess it. Pink. It's still lace. Kimian shouted. What the H-L? Go to H-L. Taimion smiled slightly and found you. The murderous intention that was exposed because of his hobby was too strong. Taimion deliberately turned his back to the direction in which the invisible man was charging, brandished his dagger, and assumed a parrying posture. When the invisible man approached, he took out a gun from his trouser pocket. With a bang, a man in a tactical suit fell to the ground. The bullet hit him right between the eyebrows and shot him in the head. Taimion looked at him with a proud smile. The one who chooses the power of invisibility must be the old gentleman. As for the color of underwear, of course, the more perverted the better. You're still a big young. Chapter 182 Interrogating Each Other Bang bang bang. The standing contest in the center of the battlefield continues. The strongman's gravel armor had been shattered and scattered in all directions. And Xiao Liang's body was also covered with blood. But the two of them showed no signs of fatigue at all. They went back and forth with each other. Punching each other hard. Behind the two. The team members with long range attack abilities on both sides had basically exhausted their energy. The two sides returned to traditional events. Holding rifles and shooting at each other. However. The balance of the frontal battlefield will also tilt depending on the outcome of the flanking battle. After Tsukiji kills Spider-Man. She attacks him along the flank wall. By the time the other party found out, Yuji had already fallen into their crowd. Seeing Yuji's intrusion, several team members didn't know whether to be excited or scared for a moment. Little miss, who are you looking for? Yuji glanced at her coldly, her eyes turning red. The three team members closest to her immediately weakened and collapsed to the ground. There is an enemy behind you! The remaining team member shouted, turning around and firing at Tsukiji without caring about the front. Yuji's figure was light and agile, she jumped and turned over, and hid behind the armored vehicle. Tsukiheim's surprise attack from the back caused chaos in the opponent's formation. Under the leadership of Yudan, the Death Angels found the opportunity and rushed out, without disturbing the two reckless men in the center of the battlefield. They opened fire and entered the enemy's position. Several were killed and several injured, and the battle ended in an instant. At the same time, Lu Chen had just dealt with Qian Yuan and came to the front battlefield. Seeing that the team members had basically won a complete victory, I felt satisfied. This improvised team of superpowers was pretty good, and they didn't even ask Zhuang Yuan to help. But what is the situation? Lu Chen fell into silence as he looked at the two people who were still standing firm in the center of the battlefield. Yu Dan and others have already captured the prisoners and arranged them in a row. Why are these two people still fighting? Lord Leader! Seeing Lu Chen approaching, everyone shouted, What's going on? 
Lu Chen pointed at Xiao Yang. Yudan had a wry smile on his face. The two of them are having a 1v1 battle between Nin. After saying that, Yudan scratched his head and felt ashamed for his subordinates. Lu Chen walked forward and found that both of their faces had been swollen and there were countless wounds and bruises on their bodies. And it seemed that both of them were almost unconscious. And they were basically fighting only on instinct. No. What do you mean by this look of enjoyment on your face? Lu Chen looked at Xiao Yang's expression and immediately knew who made those cool sounds during the battle. There's another buddy. Your hometown has been demolished. And you're still hanging on to the lane. Yuji! Lu Chen shouted helplessly. Yuji stepped forward and activated her powers. The two big men softened, hugged each other face to face, and then fell to the ground. Here are some people to lift him up. Let's go back to camp. Lu Chen waved his hand and turned to leave. At this point, the war between superpowers has finally come to an end. The second collision with the Salvation Army base also ended with Lu Chen's overall victory. Returning to the camp, the soldiers burst into warm applause for the triumphant return of the superpowers. And these new superpowers also gained a great sense of accomplishment in this battle. However, the battle was not over yet. Lu Chen asked Rong Hubu to strengthen the defense and expand the scope of reconnaissance. Then let the accompanying medical staff deal with the injuries of the superpowers. Except for Xiao Liang. All other team members in this battle were only slightly injured. And Xiao Yang's self-healing ability is very abnormal because of his superpower. Therefore, this attack can be regarded as a precious training opportunity at a small price. Plus a bunch of superpowers and highly practical superpower cores. After dinner and getting the troops in order, it was time for another enjoyable interrogation session. This time we captured a third stage superpower. And we can definitely get more information about the Salvation Army from him. As an organization entrenched underground, the Salvation Army's underground network must be intricate. After these two battles, Lu Chen estimated that the opponent would not fight on the ground again. At this time, a prisoner who is familiar with the opponent's underground circuit is crucial. In the temporary camp, Lu Chen's next plan gradually unfolded with Yu Ji's interrogation. Salvation Army Base. Combat Command Room. Lin Ji and the captains waited for the signal on the LCD screen to be transmitted back. They have been waiting since they set off in the afternoon of Qian Yuan to almost early morning now. Everyone's emotions changed from determination to win, to doubt, to panic at the end. Lin Ji looked heavy, and the red wine in the glass had not been touched for several hours. The team members sent out lost contact one after another. This can no longer be explained by coincidence. The captains in the underground looked pale, and no one dared to joke to lighten the atmosphere. Even the Qian Yuan of the third stage superpower has lost its message. What kind of monsters are there outside? Is anyone here yet? Lin Ji's voice was cold and fierce. This is his standard behavior when he's angry. Come! Come! Sir! A captain bowed and said. Afterwards, the door to the conference room opened, and Kamikaze and his party were escorted in. It wasn't until Qian Yuan lost news that Lin Ji remembered Kamikaze. Before this, he had never taken the Nanchang people seriously, and had no intention of getting information from them. Now that even Qin Yuan fell into the opponent's hands, he finally remembered these Nanchung lackeys. Kneel down! Several team members pushed the Kamikaze group to the ground. When these people came to catch Kamikaze, Kamikaze had a vague suspicion in his heart. This group of people must have suffered a big loss at the hands of Lu Chen. Seeing that Lin Ji no longer had the strategizing expression on his face, Kamikaze confirmed his suspicion even more. What am I asking you? Answer truthfully. Otherwise you will die shouted the team member next to him. Okay. 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 Kamikaze replied with a nod. Who is the leader of that team in Nanchung? Lin Ji's voice was as cold as a poisonous snake. Lu Chen. Kamikaze answered. Lu Chen. Lin Ji gritted his teeth and repeated it. Just saying this name made him feel angry. How much combat strength do they have now? Lin Ji asked. Everyone below heard Lin Ji asking this question and couldn't help but look at each other. Asking this question means that the leader has regarded these Nanchung people as real opponents. It took only one day for those Nanchung native dogs to completely change the leader's attitude towards them and let the extremely proud leader inquire about this group of people from others. How terrifying are these people? Master Chief, when I left, they estimated that they had about 100 off-road vehicles. 100 off-road vehicles. How is that possible? A captain shouted. How could a mere 100 off-road vehicles defeat their armored convoy? It is true that there are 100 vehicles. 
but their main combat power is a few of them super tanks. Super tank? Lin Ji's eyes narrowed. Even the Feng Lin Huishan, he modified didn't have the title of super tank. What kind of super tank could the opponent have? Even if it is a super tank, how can a few vehicles change the outcome of the battlefield? The difference in firepower between the armored convoy and the off-road convoy is like a huge chasm. How can a few vehicles make up for it? Do you remember what I said? He destroyed our entire base with a tank? Lin Ji was stunned for a while and thought about it. At that time, he just thought that the opponent's base defense was too weak. What do you want to say? What I want to say is that that tank is really no ordinary tank. Chapter 183 Regaining the Force it's not an ordinary chariot. What kind of chariot is it? Lin Ji asked doubtfully. His special ability is mechanical modification. And no one understands the role of a tank better than him. And this is what the Salvation Army is proud of. Therefore, he believed that it was impossible for anyone to beat him in tank modification. If the opponent can win the battle, there must be a powerful superpower. Anyway, it's very powerful. It ignores almost all weapons and has super strong attack power. Moreover, there are several such tanks. Could it be that the other party also has the power of mechanical modification? Impossible. Lin Ji immediately gave up the idea. The ability of mechanical modification is an exclusive skill tailor-made for him by the Anthem organization. It cost a lot of money at that time. And it was impossible for the forces in Nanchung City to afford it. At best, the opponent's tanks were modified by a few more professional mechanics. Have you seen the Vulcan? Lin Ji asked. I've seen it. How do those chariots of his compare to the Vulcan? This, Kamikaze was speechless for a moment, feeling like it was a proposition. To him, Chase Lu's tanks must be stronger than the Vulcan. But if he said that, this petty leader would definitely skin him alive. Seeing that Kamikaze stopped talking, Lin Ji suddenly gained some confidence. The Kamikaze, which had always boasted about the strength of the opponent's tank, immediately stopped firing after he moved out of the Vulcan. From this point of view, the opponent's tank should be far inferior to the Vulcan. Among the four tanks of Fenglin Huashan, Fengshan is the least offensive and can only provide a communication system. The remaining three tanks are still in the base and are not in use. With their combat capabilities intact. Where is the other party's superpower? Lin Ji asked again. Since the tank level is not good enough, then the superpower must be very powerful. Kamikaze shook his head. I don't know how many superpowers they have. Sure enough, a look of pity flashed in Lin Ji's eyes. The most important information point was missed. The other party must be someone with extremely weird powers. The only reason Kamikaze didn't know was that the opponent could defeat them with just ordinary modified tanks. So he couldn't spy on the opponent's powerful superpower at all. After hearing what Kamikaze said, Lin Ji immediately started thinking. He wants to make a new assessment of the opponent's combat power. The first is the tank. The opponent's tank may be professionally modified although not as good as the four tanks. It should be on par with armored fighting vehicles. Secondly, there are superpowers. The opponent must have superpowers with extremely weird abilities. Only in this way can we explain why the opponent can win frequently. The last thing is the choice of battlefield. These failures were because our side was fighting on the ground. You must know that the Salvation Army made its fortune underground. And the underground is their home ground. After thinking again, Lin Ji sorted out his mood. Although something went wrong in the new phase of the mission, it was not very serious. As long as they capture this Nanchung team, their subsequent march into Nanchung will be unimpeded. Take it away! Lin Ji glanced at the wind. Several team members took the Kamikaze group down. He looked at the backs of Kamikaze and the others, feeling a sense of disgust in his heart. Although they did not participate in the battle, he now has no good impression of the Nanchung people. After the Kamikaze was dragged away, Lin Ji returned to the throne and control the LCD screen to enter Haiching's underground circuit map. Chief, do you have any countermeasures? Several team members asked. Lin Ji stared at the root map with sharp eyes. We underestimated our opponents and paid the price. But now, this far should stop. His eyes swept across the conference room, making the captain shudder. Underground? Next we will meet the enemy underground. So that those arrogant guys will never come back. Yes, yes. Fighting underground. We will definitely not lose. A team member agreed. The Wood God and the Vulcan are our ultimate weapons. Lin Ji pulled everyone out of frustration with just two words. Being defeated several times in a row by an opponent you previously despised will indeed make you doubt yourself. But once someone reminds them, they will wake up immediately. What if the other party doesn't go underground? 
Lin Ji chuckled. No. They must think they are strong now and can manipulate us at will. They have already tasted the joy of defeating the strong. And they will definitely want to win more in the next step. They will definitely continue to attack our underground base. The leader is right. As long as they dare to attack, we will let them go without any return. We must crush them to death. I'm so angry. Kill them all, and then attack Nanchung. The captain's emotions were aroused again, and these several defeats made them full of anger. Rearrange the underground defenses, and let this place become the tomb of Nanchung people tomorrow. The graves of Nanchung people. The graves of Nanchung people. The team members shouted. On the mechanical throne. Looking at the shouting people. Lin Ji showed a cold smile. Lu Chen. I'm going to cut you into pieces. Nanchung City. Free Country Base. After Lu Chen defeated the Free Country. He did not take away the survivors here. This chapter is not finished yet. Please click on the next page to continue reading the exciting content. And because the Free Country Base is located in the westernmost part of South City, far away from the Northern Woodland, the Beast Tide has less impact here. Coupled with the excellent defense capabilities of the base itself, the survivors of the Free Country successfully survived two waves of beasts without third-generation leaders, without the cruel oppression of the previous leader and the threat of alien species. The situation in the base is now prosperous. Apart from daily life, there are already experimenters in the base who have started teaching. Although children don't like going to school, human knowledge needs to be passed on. In the last days, this is even more important. In addition to going to school, the survivors also started planting on a small scale. This skill engraved in the bones is not so easy to forget. Although there is still enough food to eat now, they hope to accumulate experience first for future consideration. It can be said that this base truly demonstrates human resilience. Without superpowers or cheats, through wisdom and hard work, successfully resisted the beast tide and put the development of the base on the right track. It was approaching 10 o'clock and the fires in the base were almost extinguished. Only the searchlights on the city wall were shaking. Although the frequency of alien species has decreased a lot after the beast tide, the guards still did not relax their vigilance. In the quiet night, the guards were on duty conscientiously. Suddenly, a strange sound came from the wind. Call. The sound became louder and faster. And soon, it was completely different from the sound of the wind. Alarm! Alarm! shouted the captain of the city guard. Before he finished speaking, a bright burst of fire shot from the sky. The team members looked up and saw that a meteorite was hitting them. Get down! the captain shouted desperately. In the face of this natural disaster, they can do nothing. Call! A whistling sound passed by, and the meteorite fell in the center of the base. To the surprise of the team members, the meteorite did not make a violent sound when it hit the ground. They slowly opened their eyes and looked down. I saw a monstrous flame gradually extinguishing, and a person walked out of it. This? What is this? The team members were speechless and extremely shocked. It's not that they have never seen people with superpowers. But this kind of thing falling from the sky is too exaggerated. Chapter 184 Idiot Put down the gun! The captain shouted to the guards. He was a guard in the free country when he was still led by superpowers. So he has a deep understanding of the abilities of these superpowers. The man in front of him dared to fall directly into the center of the base. So he was certainly not afraid of their weapons. Faced with this situation, threatening with a gun is undoubtedly causing trouble for yourself. Now they have no choice but to act based on the mood of this uninvited guest. The flames gradually extinguished. And the man twisted his neck and stepped out of the fire. He has a slender figure wears a brown windbreaker, and looks very young. There are people in this base. The man looked surprised. The captain of the guard immediately trotted downstairs and came to the man's side. His attitude was extremely humble. Facing a person with this level of superpower, if you don't say anything bad, you will die. Sir, we are all survivors of the free country base. The man glanced at him with indifferent eyes. I didn't expect it either. I thought this small base wouldn't be able to withstand the beast hide. The captain saw headphones on the other person's ears and realized that the other person wasn't talking to him. He gave up a smile and took two steps back consciously. Hurry up. If you don't come I'll go in alone. The man hung up the communication, looked around again, and finally laid his eyes on the captain. Are you the leader? Ah. Uh, I'm not. I'm the captain of the guard army. Our base no longer has a leader. No more leader? The man frowned slightly and pulled out a tablet from his windbreaker. After swiping twice, the country of freedom and freedom has been found. 
The registrant of your base should be someone named by Lao Dot. Lao Bai is dead. The captain said truthfully. Dead? What about his subordinates? Is there no one to take over the position of leader? No. We adopt a collective decision-making system without a specific leader. Then how do you get into the metal tower? Metal tower? The captain was stunned. Seeing the captain's reaction, a flash of suspicion flashed in the man's eyes. Where are the superpowers in your base? There are no superpowers either. There are no superpowers either? The man's expression was slightly strange. And he raised his head and scanned the base again. Without superpowers? How did you imbecile survive the beast tide? Idiot? The captain was stunned for a moment. We have added machine guns to the city wall and placed them outside the city wall. No. 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 I don't want to hear this. Do you know what the beast tide means? He looked at the captain indifferently. With a strange expression. The tide of beasts means renewal. The strong survive and the weak die. Now you tell me that there are no superpowers. No new humans. And only low-powered humans can survive the beast tide. The man took a step closer his eyes flashing coldly. Are you saying that all our efforts are in vain? No, I didn't deny the superpowers, the captain said tremblingly. He didn't know that his words had offended the other party. I just think that as long as we unite, we ordinary people can overcome difficulties. What a joke. Before the captain finished speaking, the man suddenly grabbed his neck and lifted him up. I'm sorry. The man's grip was so terrifying that in an instant, the captain's brain was starved of oxygen and he couldn't breathe. Team leader! A team member on the city gate shouted angrily, then raised his gun and shot the man. Automatic rifles sprayed flames and bullets streaked through the night sky toward the man. The man didn't even turn his head, but stretched out a palm in the direction of the bullet, and several light blue flames came out of the palm. The winding flames instantly melted the bullet into molten iron, moving quickly along the trajectory like a snake. Within a few breaths, the flames climbed up the barrel of the gun and onto the body of the shooter. Ah, heart-rending screams were heard, and the team member kept rolling on the ground. But no matter what, the terrifying flame could not be extinguished. The flame seemed to be alive, and would burn whatever it touched. The ground where the team members rolled was already covered with a layer of flames. The team members nearby were shocked and frightened, and kept retreating. Dad, Dad, help me. After a few seconds, the horrific screams finally stopped, and the team member was burned to a pile of ashes. This? What is this? The fear of death has enveloped the hearts of all team members. An alliance of low-level humans that does not need the leadership of superpowers. The man sneered. Your presence is a hidden danger. He threw the captain to the ground casually, as if he didn't care about what just happened. As soon as the captain landed, he coughed violently. Along with the coughing sound were tears in his eyes. The team member who died tragically in the flames just now was his son. He just passed the warrior test this week and became a guard. It is his dream to become a warrior like his father. As the captain of the guard army and as his father, he could do nothing at the last moment of his life. You are a B.U.G. A loophole in this new world. This base needs to be cleaned up. You organize yourself and gather everyone in the base. The captain tried his best to calm down and slowly stood up. He had to answer this man's question. Otherwise more people might die. That, the captain asked. What do you mean by cleaning? Just kill you and send you to heaven or something like that. The man turned around and looked at the metal tower nonchalantly, as if he had just said something insignificant. Why? The captain asked feebly, the light in his eyes gradually dimming. Do you need why? The man asked. The captain stared blankly at the back, countless images flashing through his mind. When the apocalypse breaks out, their family is captured and taken to a free country base. He suffered humiliation and climbed step by step, to the position of a member of the guard army. There was a man who forced his way through the base and brought them liberation. Many team members were not afraid of sacrifice and fought tooth and nail to resist the beast tide. Everyone is working together to plan the future of the base. A son became a guard and called him captain for the first time. How could all of this be wiped out by a fireman falling from the sky? Why should he? Die to death with your special code. The captain suddenly got angry, took out a dagger and stabbed the opponent in the heart. The man refused to dodge and let the dagger go straight in. The moment the dagger sank into the body, a stream of orchid flame floated out. The flames climbed up the captain's body along the dagger. Ah, heartbreaking pain came. But the captain did not throw away the dagger. He held up the dagger and thrust it into the man's body again and again. And every time it penetrated, 
flame surged out. After a few times, the dagger turned into molten iron. Flames covered the captain's body, and he fell to his knees wailing. The man looked back at him, feeling a little strange, and then turned away. Someone organize it and call out everyone in the base. He shouted calmly to the guards. Monster! Monster! Kill him! Kill him! Seeing the captain being burned to ashes again, the guards finally broke out. Go to H, L! You beast! Kill him! Go to H, L! Countless bullets poured down along with the guards' roars. Two, 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 two! Alas! The man sighed. Thousands of blue flames spurted out from his body. Chapter 185 Beheading Team You've gone too far! Number 6 A barefoot girl wearing a white tactical leather jacket stood next to the man. She looked at the charred bodies in the free country, with a look of regret on her face. Doesn't it eat cooked food? How can you say it's cooked? It's completely burnt. The girl touched the huge animal lying nearby. It was all white, and its eyes glowed blue. It was actually a huge alien wolf. Then let's go to the next base. This beast should run pretty fast. Right. What kind of beast is that? It's called Xiao Wu. Because my name is number five. It's called Xiao Wu. Each of your pets is called Xiao Wu. Number six shook his head helplessly and looked at the tablet in his hand. By the way, does the metal tower in this base really have no mechanical heart? You must have missed it. Right. The girl named number five kept stroking her alien wolf. No, I'm sure not. According to these people, it should have been taken away by a man. It's so abominable. A mechanical heart isn't enough for these imbeciles. Why are you still trying to rob it? It doesn't matter. Maybe I can harvest two at the next base. Number five looked at the pitiful wolf lying on the ground. His eyes full of pity. Is the next base far away? Xiao Wu is almost starving to death. Number six crossed out the name of the free country on the map on the tablet. And then swiped right. The nearest ones are Hong Yuan Warehouse and Tiger Gang, which are both a bit far away. Aw? Uh? What should we do? Xiao Wu can't run anymore. Just change it to another one tomorrow. I won't leave tonight. Let's sleep here. Look around this base again. In case you find any surprises. Number six turned around and entered the metal tower. After inserting some kind of card at the door, all the lights in the metal tower turned on. How lazy. Number five rolled his eyes. Every time he and number six went out to do tasks, they were very leisurely. It took two days to clean up a small town last time. But this time we will probably stay in Nanshan for a week. After sighing, number five's eyes flashed. The wolf lying on the ground seemed to have received some kind of instruction and immediately stood up. Little darling, go look for it yourself. Number six said there might be some food. As soon as he finished speaking, the alien wolf lowered his head and smelled the scent. The air was filled with the smell of coke, which greatly hindered the wolf's sense of smell. After searching the base for a long time, Sanlong suddenly discovered something unusual. There was a fanatical light in its eyes, which was the fanaticism of smelling the scent of prey. It roared suddenly and dug frantically towards the ground with its claws. Come on! Come on! Number five cheered from the side. With a bang, a large piece of the ground collapsed. A scream came from inside. Number five leaned over and took a look. Inside was a group of women and children, looking at them in horror. Roar! The wolf roared excitedly, and the white fur all over his body trembled. The children below were frightened by the roar and burst into tears. Now you can have a full meal! Number five clapped happily, turned over and climbed onto the wolf. I'm coming! She shouted, and the wolf jumped down from the hole. Early the next morning, Haichung, Death Angel Camp, Lu Qing got up early to do exercises. In such a tense war, it was very important to maintain physical vitality. After working for a while, the sky became slightly brighter and the team members basically got up. They prepared their equipment early and gathered in the center of the camp, waiting for today's order. On Chintian, Lin Dachui and a group of mechanics worked hard all night again. They worked overnight to allow five heavy artillery tanks to return to the battlefield, and all the leading vehicles in the convoy were replaced with armored fighting vehicles. Thanks to the overnight work of Lin Dachui and others and Chen Qian's powerful modified carriages, the team's strength has increased significantly. After thanking all the mechanics, Lu Chen came to the center of the camp and prepared to release today's battle plan. Through the information obtained from Yu Ji's interrogation last night, Lu Chen drew a rough underground circuit map. It has to be said 
that the combat effectiveness of the Salvation Army base underground is indeed much stronger than that on the ground. First of all, Haiching's underground water system is so vast and intricate that it can almost be described as an underground city. And the opponent is a team that has been here for a long time and is very familiar with the entire underground system. You can attack your own side from all unexpected angles. Then, there is the number of convoys. The enemy has at least three convoys of the same level as Johnson stored underground. And it is said that there are three types of tanks with special functions. Luchin discussed with the captains for a long time before coming up with today's battle plan. Operation Decapitation In order to prevent the opponent from attacking from a dark angle and causing attrition of one's own troops, Luchin only sent a small number of tanks underground, while large troops guarded various exits on the ground and rounded up deserters. As an elite unit, the small number of vehicles and team members sent in must be selected from the best. The first is thunderstorms. Thunderstorms can use space to carry red flames and lightning into the ground. Then, there is Chintian, who can bring 10 ordinary tanks. Those new tanks that have been modified by the machine repair department can come in handy. In addition to the fish egg team, the team members driving the chariot also include the superpower team that passed the test yesterday. This chapter is not over. Please click on the next page to continue reading. Finally, coupled with the outstanding members of the team, all these combat capabilities add up to form the beheading team. After entering the underground, Chase Lu will choose the nearest road to the Salvation Army's lair, the head to head first, and the troops behind will take care of it slowly. In the center of the camp, Lu Qing gave the above plan to all the team members. The next step is to select ordinary team members except for the superpowers. This is a very dangerous mission, especially for ordinary warriors without special powers. Lu Qin initially asked everyone to volunteer and form a death squad. However, Almost all the team members raised their hands to sign up, which was beyond Lu Chen's expectation. It's not that everyone is not afraid of death, but they believe in Lu Chen and his command. Because there were too many people, Lu Chen finally had to ask the captains of each team to make recommendations. In the end, 50 members of 10 tanks were assembled. After issuing the order, Chase Lu stood on the roof of a car. It was the pre-war declaration session again. To be honest, he was not very good at arousing everyone's emotions. Usually he would let Rong Biao and his son or others do the talking. But considering that this is the first time to fight outside, he still needs to say something as the leader. Clearing his throat, Chase Lu shouted forcefully, Team members, this is our first time fighting outside. Everyone put in 100% of your energy to win this battle perfectly. Let them see how powerful we are in Nanchung. Kill! 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 Go! 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 The team members were very happy and cheered. At the end of the declaration, each convoy went to their respective roundup points as planned. The members of the beheading team stepped onto the two super tanks, Thunderstorm and Chitian. There is still the author's team of superpowers on Lei Bao, while the other soldiers are on standby in Chinkian's trunk. Rong Hu Biao drove Chitian to put five giant artillery tanks and five armored tanks into the vehicle space. Zhuang Yuan replaced the wild bees in the thunderstorm with lightning. After everything was completed, Zhuang Yuan drove Thunderstorm to clear the way, followed by Qing Tian. Under the guidance of Chase Lu, the beheading team took them to the nearest underground entrance to the Salvation Army headquarters. Chapter 186 Underground Combat Arriving at the entrance, Cyclops stepped down from Thunderstorm. After he stood up front, he activated his abilities. Fierce-focused lasers shoot out from both eyes. The high-temperature ray instantly penetrated the metal gate made of pure steel. With a swing of his head, he cut a hole in the metal door through which the chariot could enter. With the laser cutting complete, Cyclops returned to Thunderstorm. Let's go! Lu Chen ordered. Zhuang Yuan suddenly stepped on the accelerator, and Thunderstorm crashed into the metal door. The metal door that had been cut crashed down inside under the impact of the Thunderstorm. Lei Bao went all out and rushed down the stairs, followed closely by Qing Tian. This decapitation operation must be fast because the opponent has a radar map of the entire underground line. As long as they enter the underground system, the other party can know their location in real time. So the faster you act, the less time you give the other party to react. The two medium-sized tanks rushed into the ground violently and were unstoppable. After rushing into the subway station, a siren sounded, followed by a loud explosion. Boom! Boom! A shocking explosion sounded. And fire! and shock waves instantly enveloped Lei Ba and Qing Tian. The entire subway entrance suddenly collapsed. 
and the nearly 10-meter thick soil layer above the subway directly pressed on the thunderstorm in Chintian. After the explosion that lasted for more than 10 seconds, the subway entrance, which was originally structurally intact, was already dead silent. Collapsed gravel and soil poured onto the subway tracks, destroying various reinforced concrete structures. At this time, in the Salvation Army command room, the alarm bell blared and a red dot flashed crazily on the LCD screen. Success! Success! cheered the team members below. What a shame to these people for daring to break into our territory! Blow them up! Lin Ji calmly stared at the radar map. Two minutes had passed, and there was no signal at the explosion location. This proves that the opponent's tanks have not entered orbit. No matter how much combat power this unit has, they have been completely wiped out. After last night's arrangement, they placed large quantities of high explosives at all entrances. Not only are these bombs powerful, they are also installed at key nodes in underground structures. Even if the intruding convoy manages to escape the bomb, it will be buried alive by the collapse of the ground. Don't be too happy. This is just the first wave. Victory can blind people's eyes. The people on the other side are acting recklessly because of a few victories. The damage from this explosion will most likely serve as a wake-up call for them. And we must remain vigilant. Lin Ji scolded everyone underground. And then the corners of his mouth curled up slightly. Although this was only a small victory, he had a hunch that today's battle would be won. The leader is right. Keep on guard. The captain stared at the LCD screen again. And right at the location of the explosion, two blue bright spots appeared. How? How is it possible? Everyone stared at the blue dot and asked in surprise. As long as you don't escape the first time, you will be destined to die. How is it possible that there are still cars that can drive out of the thick soil layer 10 m high? It's possible that the signal was blocked before. So there's nothing to panic about. Linji snapped. Just two tanks entering. Let the defending first generation three teams pay attention to intercept. Indeed, even if they were lucky enough to get in, they would only be two tanks. The team members reacted immediately. Teams 1 and 3, pay attention to defense. There is an enemy invasion. Teams 1 and 3, pay attention to defense. There is an enemy invasion. Order received. The captains of the first and third teams reported at the same time that they were teams formed at odd hours. Lin Ji set up additional defensive teams at various key nodes closest to the center of the base last night. This combined defense team has a total of 15 armored fighting vehicles and 5 heavy artillery fighting vehicles. In this small underground space, this kind of firepower is definitely overflowing. The enemy is coming! Be alert! The captains gave the order, and alarm bells blared in the dark tunnel. 20 tanks are ready to go, waiting to destroy those uninvited guests. The red warning light rotated, illuminating the tunnel. Suddenly, an extremely dazzling light came from the tunnel. Enemy found! Fire! The guardsmen pulled the trigger without saying a word. Countless ferocious firepower poured out towards the opponent. On the radar charts of the two captains, the two bright spots continued to advance despite the firepower. How can it be? How could it be possible to move forward unharmed under such firepower? The team members could no longer look directly at the light and could only close their eyes and shoot. The white light that filled the entire tunnel gradually turned blue and then slowly turned red. The red color is getting redder and brighter, like a sun approaching them. What the H, L is this? Boom. The next second, fire broke out, and a flash of light flashed through. The 20 tanks lined up in the tunnel were instantly penetrated, and explosions followed. Disintegration laser. Those who were hit directly by the laser, and within a certain range, were the luckiest. They are vaporized directly without feeling any pain. Team members who are further away from the laser will be burned by the terrifying heat first, and then attacked by electric current. In the end, it turns into a piece of black charcoal or human flesh with barbecued pork, and dies in pain. The explosion ended, and the last light in the tunnel disappeared. Two long-range lights from Thunderstorm and Chintian came on. They drove quickly past the car wreckage, heading towards the Salvation Army base. There was silence in the combat command room at the Salvation Army base. They just saw with their own eyes the blue light spots of 20 tanks disappearing instantly. What ability is this? What kind of monster is the other party? Lin Ji kept searching in his mind for a way to make 20 tanks disappear at the same time. After thinking for a long time, he determined that the other party used a signal shielding weapon. Because no matter how powerful the attack weapon is, it is impossible to destroy 20 tanks in an instant. Vulcan! Vulcan! 
Linji shouted. Bring the Vulcan over here! This must be the opponent's main tank. It blocked the signal of the defending team. While the team is delaying them, quickly bring in the Vulcan and let the Vulcan finish them off here. The captains were pulled back by Linji. It turned out to be just a signal shielding weapon. They thought the defensive team was instantly killed. Vulcan! Vulcan! Support Area F! Support Area F! The captains who regained their confidence began to perform scheduling tasks again. The long flame dragon underground is Lin Ji's most proud destructive weapon. The Vulcan. Starting slowly. Chapter 187 The Dragon of Fire. Full gear. Start the Vulcan. Buzz. With a whistle. The 200 meter long steel dragon suddenly started to move. The model bronze car body was covered in burnt blood and countless scratches. This tank is the most important weapon of the Salvation Army. And it is their ultimate trump card in the underground. A locomotive with terrifying power and 10 fully armed armored carriages. The Vulcan is the king of the underground. On the radar chart on the LCD screen, as the Vulcan started up, a long series of dot matrix signals lit up. Lin Ji stared fiercely at the two light spots that broke through the defense line. The two light spots on the radar map were passing through the intricate underground tunnels, heading towards the base headquarters. These two tanks, which were lucky enough to break through the defense, actually wanted to head straight towards their base camp. What a shame! What a blasphemy! Linji couldn't bear it anymore. The Vulcan was originally used to deal with large enemy forces. But now, he was sent to crush these two bugs. He wants these arrogant bugs to experience what real terror is. Close! shouted the team members below. The opponent's chariot is driving on the track that the Vulcan is moving! Crush them! Linji roared. Full firepower! Grind them into mincemeat and roast them into charcoal! With full force! With full force! The team members below were paging into the communicator. The Vulcan was never ordered to go all out. Because the previous opponents did not need it to exert its full strength. They looked at the two faint blips on the radar map. Opposite them is a long queue of bright lights. I don't know how desperate the people in the two cars will be after seeing this huge beast. Although it's a bit overkill. It's really fun. The team members were all staring at the radar chart with great anticipation in their hearts. They urgently need to see each other's signal crushed by the Vulcan. Kill them! A chorus of shouts came from the command room. The dark tunnel was instantly filled with light. And the sound of whistles surged in. Here comes the big guy! Luchin said looking into the distance. Is this their Vulcan? Tsukiji asked. Probably. Luchin looked at the light in a daze. His expression a little dull. Yuji and Zhuang Yuan were both slightly surprised when they saw his expression. I couldn't help but wonder. Is the opponent very powerful? Because they had never seen Luchin show such an expression in front of the enemy. As the distance between the two sides got closer and closer, the huge whistle was deafening. Zhuang Yuan and Yuji couldn't help but beat drums in their hearts. Even when driving a medium-sized truck like a thunderstorm, you can still feel the pressure brought by the huge creature on the opposite side. No wonder Lu Chen was stunned. As a tank modification person, he should be able to understand this shock better. But the enemy is right in front of him. And even Lu Chen finds it difficult. Will this battle fail? Turning to Lu Chen. He was still staring blankly at the Vulcan roaring in the distance. Luchin was indeed stunned at this moment. But he was not stunned by the opponent's strength. But the joy cannot be expressed in words. Commonly known as being too happy to speak. This is the sound of collision with the rails. This whistle. This sense of oppression. This is simply the best music in the world. Who can not love this kind of steel behemoth? Luchin kept imagining how this tank would look like after he upgraded it with the heart of machinery. The more I thought about it, the more excited I became. And the more I thought about it, the more excited I became. I'm so stupid. This thing must be taken down. Don't use the disintegration laser. Lu Chen suddenly spoke up and stopped Zhuang Yuan, who was about to fire the fission laser. This shout startled Zhuang Yuan and Yuji. Don't you need a cracking laser? Zhuang Yuan asked. She knew that the most powerful weapon in the team was the disintegration laser. You used it to fight mobs in the beginning. But now you don't use it when facing this kind of enemy? I want to capture him alive! Luchin rubbed his hands and shouted excitedly. Ah! A big question mark popped up in Zhuang Yuan and Yuji's minds at the same time. They never doubt Lu Chen's strength and judgment. But this time it was a bit too much. This is the opponent's trump card weapon. Why would you want to capture him alive? Yuji looked at the excitement on Lu Chen's face and suddenly felt that he might not have been stunned just now. What should we do? After a brief moment of doubt, Zhuang Yuan asked directly, no matter what Lu Chen asked for, 
She believed it 100%. Speed up! Hit the maintenance room in front! Chase Lu shouted. Staring at the map he drew yesterday. A truck parked in a tunnel would inevitably collide with the Vulcan. There is no branch road in this tunnel. They can only crash into the maintenance room next to it. As soon as Lu Chen finished speaking, Zhuang Yuan stepped on the accelerator and drove forward. Rong Hubiao! Crash into the maintenance room on the right before the train comes! Good! Buzz! The whistle got louder and louder. Like a roar from the abyss. I have to say that the pressure of the Vulcan is definitely the strongest that Lu Chen has ever encountered. I don't know how many floors higher than those third generation alien species. This is the power of technology. This is human art. Lu Chen's eyes shone. And the smile on his face gradually became ferocious. He can't wait to get this baby. Boom. Violent shaking struck. And under Zhuang Yuan's control, the thunderstorm crashed into the maintenance room, which had a relatively fragile structure. Chi Tian drove past them and soon crashed into the maintenance room on the other side. Both vehicles successfully derailed and avoided the Vulcan's path. The other side escaped. Ha ha ha. I thought they were so awesome. But they hit on both sides. You actually think that hiding on both sides will help. The Vulcan's strongest ability is to breathe fire. Ha ha ha. Burn them to death. Turn them into cokes. Bursts of laughter erupted from the Salvation Army war room. The two blips on the radar map rushed out of the Vulcan's orbit and crashed into the maintenance room. Huh? Lin Ji sneered and breathed a sigh of relief. The repeated failures actually made him feel a little shaken. When the opponent suddenly accelerated, the image of the Vulcan being destroyed even flashed in his mind. Later, he discovered that the other party was just avoiding him, and his tense nerves instantly relaxed. While relaxing, he also mentally scolded himself. How could one have doubts about the Vulcan? This is my proudest and most perfect work. I'm coming! Go to H, L. Burn them to death. There were cheers from the team members below. On the radar map, the long steel dragon representing the Vulcan was almost reaching the opponent's hiding position. Linji grinned in an exaggerated arc. He, who never participated in the cheers of the team members, became extremely excited this time. This is the attitude that low-level people should have. Facing the Salvation Army and the Vulcan. These damn rats should hide here and there. Burn it! With full force. Let these damn rats go to H. L. There was a flash of light. And the Vulcan signal intersected with the other parties. Woohoo! Burn them to death! Burn them to death! The war room instantly erupted into violent cheers. Lin Ji stared at the radar chart. And the fingers that were gripping the armrest were so pinched that they lost all color. There were bursts of fire in his eyes. And he seemed to be on the battlefield at this moment. He saw the H. Fire spewed out by the Vulcan. Raging to roast those disgusting souls. Those people's tanks melted under the high temperature. And their skin and hair were instantly ignited. Their screams and cries filled the entire tunnel. They regret. They despair. They are afraid of being their own enemies. Burn it. Burn it. Burn everything. Lin Ji smiled ferociously and fell into crazy joy. Chapter 188 Catching the Giant Loach Alive Burn them to death. Burn them to death. There was a carnival in the command room. Although they only destroyed two enemy tanks, this was also the first victory they witnessed with their own eyes. The flames of the Vulcan unleashed all their fury. Hey! Don't tell me! These two things are quite durable! Among the shouts, this sentence suddenly floated out. Although the voice of the team member was small, these words pierced everyone's brains like a needle. The cheering and jumping team members were stunned for a moment. And some gradually broke away from the carnival. Eh? How come the Vulcan has already passed through more than half of it? And the radar signals of the two vehicles have not disappeared yet. With the power of the Vulcan, ordinary tanks have been turned into molten iron. How come the signals from these two vehicles have not disappeared? It seems to be quite resistant to baking. Just as everyone slowly calmed down, two more signals suddenly popped up on the radar chart. What the H, L? Why did the signals change to four? Am I presbyopic? Everyone panicked wondering if there was something wrong with their eyes. Even Lin Ji, who was sitting on the throne, was stunned. What does it mean? Exploded equipment. The next moment, the two radar signals suddenly started moving, chasing the Vulcan. What? The eyes of everyone in the Salvation Army in the command room almost bulged out. The movement of these two radar signals completely broke their luck. Isn't this a cheater? Everyone looked at the two fast signal points on the radar map. Fear growing in their hearts. Are their opponents really human? Lin Ji, who was sitting on the throne, 
had lost control of his expression. And his face kept twitching, looking at the two signal points that were frantically chasing forward. He worried about the safety of the Vulcan for the first time in his life. In the tunnel of Zone F, a crazy chase is taking place. After the Vulcan passed by them and spewed out flames, causing some tolerable attacks, Lu Chin materialized lightning and red flames directly from the thunderstorm. With a flash of thought, Lu Chin teleported into the red flames. Yudan's group was teleported directly into lightning from the rear compartment of Thunderstorm. Yudan, follow my instructions and capture this car alive! Lu Chin shouted excitedly into the communicator. Live? Capture alive? Doubts arose in the hearts of Yudan and the others. This is not a big loach. How can it be captured alive? Despite their doubts, they still abided by Lu Chen's orders 100%. Start! Lu Chen ordered. Red flames and lightning bolts flew out, leaving a brilliant arc of light in the tunnel. What a way to catch you! Boss! Two tanks were speeding side by side in the tunnel. Although the tunnel is spacious enough, it is only large enough for Qian and lightning to advance side by side. At this speed, if the two make any mistakes, they will collide. But Chase Lu didn't seem to think it was a narrow tunnel at all. His speed increased faster and faster. And he had caught up with the Vulcan in the blink of an eye. Drive to the front. Destroy the railway track and derail it. Lu Chen shouted into the communicator. The violent roar of the Vulcan and the sound of the high-speed wind forced them to shout at the top of their lungs. Looking at the behemoth in front of him, the excitement in his heart was beyond words. Yudan then arrived at the rear of the Vulcan. In front of him was the Vulcan that almost occupied the entire tunnel. Boss! You can't drive through this at all! Yudan shouted. Watch it! Lu Chen's voice came from the communicator. Yudan looked to one side. And what happened next was something he would never forget. I saw Chase Lu driving Chi Yan accelerating towards the wall. Just when Yudan thought he was going to hit him, Chi Yan's wheels actually drove onto the wall. The entire body is tilted at nearly 80 degrees, making it look like it is driving on a tunnel wall. Follow me! Boom! Chase Lu said a few words. And then the fiery charge started. Chi Yan rushed out like a rocket, leaving only Yudan and the others messy in the wind. So hacking crazy. Yudon looked to the side. And all the boys swallowed their saliva. Although they trusted Flash's defense. This was a slight mistake. It will definitely fall badly. Yudon looked at them and gave a wry smile. It seemed that everyone still didn't trust his driving skills. What are you afraid of? Just do it and it's over. Yudon roared angrily. While also cheering himself up. Now that Chase Lu has given the order. As a subordinate. He has no reason not to execute it. With a flash in his eyes, superpowers began to flow through his body. Overload activated. He quickly shifted gears, stepped on the accelerator, turned the steering wheel, and followed Lu Chen's example and drove towards the other wall. After a sudden tremor, lightning also started to drive quickly against the wall. Yudan's powers were fully activated, and he concentrated on controlling every minute operation of the chariot. Fire charge! After stabilizing the car body, he pressed the fire charge. Lightning flew out violently. Red flames and lightning clung to the wall. Speeding through the gap between the Vulcan and the tunnel. The Vulcan team members are reporting on the combat situation. When they reported that the battle was over. They received information from headquarters that the enemy had not been eliminated. The crew leader of the Vulcan was confused for a while and repeatedly confirmed with the headquarters. They clearly opened fire and attacked two tanks parked on both sides of the tunnel. In the nearly 200 meter carriage. All high-performance flamethrowers sprayed fire at full strength. This kind of flame can melt all known alloy metals. How could there be a tank alive? And even if the signal point exists, the people on the car will definitely be cooked. Even Sung Yukon was roasted under this temperature. How could anyone survive? After hanging up the communicator, the Vulcan commander murmured. He also said that two cars were catching up with him. It was a joke. Whoosh. Before he finished speaking, a burst of fire flashed past the Vulcan. The commander glanced at the boy next to him. What was that just now? The younger brother looked at him. The commander laughed dryly and wiped the sweat from his forehead. I must have made a mistake. I have been burning for too long just now. There is no enemy in this tunnel for them to open. Whoosh. On the other side, another burst of fire flashed. The commander glanced at his younger brother. The younger brother looked panicked. The car, Captain, seems to have really driven by. Chapter 189 Bet All Your Fighting Power Boom! Red flames and lightning roared past the Vulcan. After returning to the level road, 
Yudon was covered in cold sweat. The operation just now was the most thrilling operation he had done since he learned the power. Looking at Lu Chen's careless operation, Yudon almost doubted whether he had the ability to control a chariot. After quickly crossing the Vulcan, the two tanks continued to move forward. Fish eggs! Aim at the orbit and destroy them all! Lu Chen's voice came from the communicator. As soon as he finished speaking, the red flames in front of him were on full fire, and the rails where he passed were burned red. This is forcing the entire train to stop. After understanding what Lu Chen meant, Yudong gave the order, and Xiao Yang adjusted the direction and angle of the machine gun. Two, 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 two. In an instant, the minigun sprayed countless bullets at the rear rails. Bullets with corrosive venom destroyed the railway tracks. Corrosive smoke and debris continue to pour out, and the Vulcan's path is gradually being cleared. Even though the Vulcan is a tank modified with supernatural powers, its basic principles have not changed. Like an ordinary train, its progress still relies on the sliding between the steel wheels and the rails. Steel wheels and rails are two legs that complement each other. If either one is missing, the train will lose its forward momentum. On the Vulcan, the commander is organizing all team members to re-enter combat status. After a period of thinking, he finally believed that two tanks survived and surpassed them. Although he didn't know what the other party wanted to do now, he was already furious. Go at full speed and catch up with the two cars in front of me. If you dare to play with fire in front of the Vulcan, I will let you see the King of Hell today. After saying two domineering words, he looked forward firmly. In an extremely panicked situation, a leader like him is needed to stabilize the morale of the army. Just these two cruel words and a look in his eyes. The momentum will increase exponentially. Hack! Hack! Before the pose, capital at the beginning of the sentence. Details was finished. The commander was immediately frightened by the scene ahead and broke his voice. Looking along the headlights of the Vulcan, I saw that all the rails ahead had been torn down. If we keep driving at this speed, the Vulcan will immediately lose control and derail. Emergency brake! The driver shouted with all his strength. Regardless of image. She, when the air brake switch was turned on, a sharp friction sound sounded as if it was about to pierce the eardrum. All carriages pull up the brakes at the same time and brake. The friction between the steel wheel and the rail shot out countless sparks. Everything on the train was thrown forward violently until it hit something. Under full braking, the Vulcan still slid forward for several hundred meters. Fortunately, it did not derail and lose control, causing greater losses. The commander was sweating profusely and clutching the armrest above his head. The rails were renovated with materials modified by Mr. Lin Ji. How could the opponent destroy them without using missiles? He gasped for air feeling thankful in his heart. Although the Vulcan mission failed, he was able to save the entire vehicle. After that, he can use it again just by repairing the track. Lord Lingji should not punish him excessively. Whoosh, whoosh. A whistling sound sounded, and two flames flashed past the Vulcan. Car! Commander! They are back again! When he heard the two cars leaving, the captain's legs weakened, and he collapsed on the ground. Are we still going to hack them? The younger brother asked. The commander glanced at him. Forward slash underscore backslash backslash. He took a pistol from his waist and threw it on the ground. You go after it. After forcing the Vulcan to cease, Lu Chen and Yudon returned the same way and destroyed all the tracks behind them. In this way, the Vulcan was trapped in place and could no longer move. Returning to the range of the thunderstorm, Chase Lu's mind flashed and he teleported several of his party back to the thunderstorm. At this time, Zhuang Yuan and Qing Tian also happened to drive out of the maintenance room, and the two tanks set off again, embarking on the road to the beheading operation. After taking down the Vulcan, Lu Chen couldn't stop feeling happy. According to Yu Ji's information, the Salvation Army base has three mechanical hearts, although it is unclear whether the three mechanical hearts can upgrade the train. Taking down such a behemoth is enough to be exciting for a long time. We were only halfway through the journey, and we caught a big treasure. I don't know how many good things there will be in the future. The Salvation Army is indeed the Salvation Army and likes to benefit everyone and do charity. After several battles, the Death Angel's combat power is increasing steadily. Luchin has become more and more fond of this, good brother. There was dead silence in the command room at the Salvation Army base. Everyone looked at the Vulcan stagnant on the radar map, and their hearts were filled with fear. The Salvation Army's strongest combat force. The Vulcan was shut down in just two minutes. After the four light spots on the map merged into two again, they began to move towards the headquarters. 
everyone gradually realized that the two tanks did not seem to have escaped the explosion by chance. But were heading towards the headquarters from the beginning. Do they want to capture the thief first before capturing the king? The captains looked at each other in disbelief. This chapter is not over. Please click on the next page to continue reading. Before they would have just thought it was a joke. But now they are not so sure. All teams, return to the defense headquarters. A cold voice came from behind everyone. They slowly turned their heads and saw Lin Ji's dark eyes. And chills surged from his side. Angry. They knew Lin Ji was really angry this time. Some people's anger is like a volcanic eruption. Extremely violent. But some people's anger is like a deep frozen iceberg. And everything is calm on the surface. In fact, thousands of cold murderous intentions have gathered. Under Lin Ji's order, everyone did not dare to gossip anymore and immediately mobilized all teams to return to the defense base. The Lin Shin is activated. Another order was issued. And everyone started the Lin Shin on the instrument. The Lin Shin is not a combat vehicle in the true sense. It is a defense system composed of heavy firepower turrets. When Lin Ji established the Salvation Army base, the Lin Shin was built to support it. Within a certain range from the headquarters, each tunnel and each node is equipped with heavy artillery modified by Lin Ji. The defense system formed by these heavy artillery is called Lin Shin. And they are the last line of defense of the headquarters. And activating the Lin Shin means that the enemy has already entered the base camp. Open the Tushin Passage. Lin Ji slowly stood up on the metal throne. After everyone was stunned for a while, they started to operate frantically again. Is even the Tushin going to be launched? Master Lin Ji is going to put all his fighting power on the line. Did the opponent push Master Lin Ji to a dead end with just two tanks? Null. Boom. As the order to activate the Earth God was executed, a huge mechanical roar came from the base. It was as if an ancient beast was awakening from its slumber. Behind Lin Ji, the metal wall broke through the middle and slowly retreated to both sides. After the heavy wall was opened, there was an extremely dark passage inside that seemed to have no end. Lin Ji stepped down from the throne and walked toward the dark passage. Everyone in the command room was constantly sweating, and even breathing became difficult. The Saturn, the machine they had only heard of in rumors, that war beast that only leader Lin Ji can control. Is it about to appear? Chapter 190 is on full fire. Whoosh. Thunderstorm and Qing Tian moved quickly along the tunnel. The alarm bells on both sides of the tunnel continued to rotate. And there was a lot of noise in the tunnel. It looks like they've raised the alert level again. Tsukiji looked out the window at the alarm bell. Next we will face a flood of enemies. Lu Chen called up the bioradar. And the dense red dots on the radar map began to gather towards the headquarters. The bad news is that the Salvation Army's underground combat power far exceeds Lu Chen's imagination. They have nearly a thousand tanks in reserve. And the troops they defeated on the ground are really just the tip of the iceberg. The good news is that nearly half the force won't make it back before they reach the Salvation Army headquarters. As long as their leader is taken down, the remaining combat power will be destroyed. While Lu Chen was thinking, a burst of violent gunfire broke into the sound of the alarm bell. Two, 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 two. Where did the attack come from? The bioradar shows no enemy approaching. Lu Chen frowned. By the track! Zhuang Yuan has shouted. Chase Lu followed the sound and saw something emitting violent fire in the dark tunnel. Boom. Boom. Not just machine guns. But artillery SH. LS2. It's some kind of fort. There are many of them. Zhuang Yuan once again used his perfect eyesight to clearly see the source of the enemy's firepower. With Zhuang Yuan's prompting. Lu Chen finally saw those heavy forts clearly. They lined both sides of the track. Each about the size of a small car. Its firepower is even more terrifying. Whether it is bullets or SH. LS. The power is very impressive. Arriving at the Salvation Army headquarters under this kind of firepower. The armor losses on both tanks would be particularly severe. The disintegrating laser cannot quickly deal with the turrets scattered everywhere. And Qing Tian has no better way to defeat the enemy. I didn't expect that the opponent's lair would be so terrifying. Fish eggs. Open the way. Lu Chen shouted. Lightning the most powerful of the four tanks, was summoned again. Destroy those forts as much as possible. Yes. After accepting the order, the Udon team rushed out without saying a word. The overwhelming bullets poured on the front window of the car, almost blocking the entire field of vision. There are even cannonballs, and each shot will cause a huge amount of damage if it hits a certain point. Flash's armor value dropped like water. Fire with full force. Yudon roared. Xiao Liang took aim briefly and bullets from the rapid-fire machine gun roared out. 
Xu Shui and Xu Qiang in the back row also controlled machine guns to cooperate with Xiao Yang. Lightning is on full fire. Boom. Boom. The efficient method of killing the enemy has weakened the opponent's attack a lot. But the armor value has dropped quickly. Suddenly, a burst of blue data lines enveloped lightning. The decline in armor value slowed down again. This was because Lu Qin was consuming crystal cores to repair Ji Dian's armor. Although it can't slow down the armor's decline much. Lu Qin is already doing his best to preserve his own condition. Relying on the lightning to clear the way. The beheading team moved forward for a long distance. Flash's armor value also dropped by 10% of the danger value. Lu Qin urgently recovered the lightning and allowed it to continue repairing in the thunderstorm space. Recovery is much faster in the load space than outside. Ji Dian came to an end and Lu Qin summoned Red Flame. Unlike Flash who has a machine gun, Red Flame must rely on collision to kill enemies. Destroying your enemies also means being fast. The faster the speed, the faster the relative speed to the oncoming bullet. This will further increase the power of the bullet. Therefore, Lu Qin also used a time force field when he used Red Flame to collide. As you advance towards the turret, apply a temporal force field to it, causing it to come to a standstill. And when Xi Yan was about to collide, he cancelled the time force field and was instantly destroyed. Whether it is the speed of the car or the timing of the time force field, every second must be accurate. With this crazy operation, Qi Yan successfully helped the team drive a further distance. After the armor value fell into the dangerous range, Lu Qin recovered Qi Yan and repaired the armor. For the next section of the journey, we can only rely on Qin Tian and Lei Bao to resist. Fortunately, it's not far away from the opponent's headquarters. Moreover, the plastic steel armors of the two thunderstorms and Qi Tian are much stronger than those of Qi Yan and Lightning. Moving forward, the enemy's combat power is not only the forts, but also the chariot squads gathering from all directions. Lu Qin let out a sigh of relief. It was really difficult to do this alone. More and more chariot squads are gathering densely and densely. They flowed from tunnels, sewers, and other passages extending in all directions to the tunnel where the decapitation team advanced. Various chain tire breakers, blowing up the road, and directly intercepting them with tanks. These people spared no effort to organize the two steel behemoths in the tunnel to move forward. Fortunately, Thunderstorm and Chitian are both C-class fully equipped tanks, and both have upgraded track assembly. When driving on a level road, these two skills seem very useless. But when there are enemies blocking the way and road conditions are frequent, the usefulness of this skill is fully demonstrated. No matter how hard the opponent tried, both tanks were on the same level. These teams that arrived later were easier to deal with than the cold and powerful forts. First of all, their individual firepower is much inferior to that of the fort. Secondly, it is impossible to form a formation in the tunnel, and the team's firepower cannot be fully utilized. In the end, these people were arranged too densely. After the thunderstorm fired two fragmentation lasers, these people basically collapsed. This chapter is not over. Please click on the next page to continue reading. Humans are not just mindless killing machines like aliens. They are afraid. When the destructive laser is swept across, most people will fall into boundless fear and lose their combat effectiveness. Rumble. Lei Bao and Qing Tian ran over countless chariot wreckage, crossed numerous firepower nets, and finally arrived at the last section of the tunnel. In front of them was the extremely spacious underground palace, the main hub of High City's underground system. The enemy where countless searchlights gathered was the headquarters of the Salvation Army. A huge metal building. Units prepare. The beheading operation begins now. Lu Chen shouted into the communicator. Boom. Another flash of Shihong flashed. And the disintegrating laser shot into the densely packed enemy convoy on the main hub. The roars, explosions, and bullets mixed together. Reverberating throughout the whole place. Deafening. Get out! Lu Chen roared angrily. Lei Bao and Qing Tian rushed out of the tunnel and drove into the huge hub space. Thunderstorm waited in the rear for the cooldown to complete, while Qing Tian rushed straight into the center of the enemy convoy. Boom! Powerful shock. The moment the entire car body pressed down, a strong shock wave spread around. This powerful range attack paralyzed the center of the local convoy. At the same time, Lu Chen's thoughts flashed. Red flames and lightning appeared immediately and the pilots and operators returned to their positions instantly. At the moment of returning to their positions, red flame and lightning rushed towards the last heavy turret in the hub. Within a few breaths, the most threatening firepower was eliminated. Red flame 
and lightning targeted other enemies in the hub. At the same time, Lu Chen's thoughts flashed again, and the ten heavy artillery and armored tanks carried by Qi Tian appeared. The death squads in the Qi Tian carriage and the superpowers in the thunderstorm entered the corresponding tanks. All tanks started instantly, clearing out the last enemy forces in the hub in a burst of fire. Kill! Chapter 191 The Beheading Operation Begins Firepower surged all over the sky in the huge underground hub, and the flames of various weapons were brilliant. Like fireworks. Bullets fired. SH. LS exploding. Sirens. Whistles. Shouts. All mixed together. The huge cavity of the headquarters hub becomes a natural resonance box for these sounds. A grand symphony of guns and guns is being staged in this huge underground world. Rumble. After Chi Tian entered the center of the enemy tanks and paralyzed most of the tanks, Lu Chen summoned all his combat power and launched a hearty counterattack. The enemy is still in the terrifying shock caused by the thunderstorm and the sky, facing the death angel chariot that appeared out of thin air. It was impossible to organize an effective counterattack for a while. Ten tanks were killing all the enemy convoys, while red flame and lightning were clearing the turrets and other vehicles on the outside. The situation on the battlefield was instantly reversed and the large army was ready to go. With great momentum. After Qing Tian rushed in, it turned into a mess of loose sand, facing attacks coming from all directions. They couldn't tell whether they were enemies or friends. The heavily defended headquarters hub has become a slaughterhouse for the angels of death. After a ten-minute bloodbath, the offensive and defensive battle of the headquarters came to an end when Thunderstorm fired a cracking laser. Each convoy occupies favorable terrain and organizes enemy support troops. Superpower users, be prepared. The final battle is coming. Lu Chen shouted into the communicator. There is no life signal on the bioradar except our own. And all the enemies in the headquarters hub have been wiped out. If the situation was not so urgent, perhaps Lu Chen would let those who were willing to surrender a way out. But now our own combat power is limited and we cannot capture them. So we have to clear them all. All the enemies at the door have been eliminated which also means that the beheading operation has reached the final stage. As long as you enter the metal tower and eliminate the enemy leader, the battle against the Salvation Army will come to an end. Under Lu Chen's order, ten ordinary tanks were transferred from Lu Chen into Qing Qian's vehicle space to recover fuel and bullets. Yes, Qing Qian's super vehicle space can not only restore fuel to the tank, but also restore ammunition, which is called invincible endurance. After that, Lei Bao and Qing Tian opened the way, and ten ordinary tanks passed through the wreckage and occupied the favorable terrain at the entrances on both sides of the hub. Their mission is to stop the enemy's subsequent support convoy and delay the decapitation team composed of superpowers. The entrance to the tunnel was narrow and blocked by the remains of the enemy convoy, so the firepower of ordinary tanks was sufficient. Moreover, he also had Lei Bao and Qing Tian in charge, and Lu Chen also asked Yu Dan to stay behind with lightning speed as a mobile combat force. At this point, this defensive team is flawless. And the next step is to see their actions in the metal tower. After the defensive convoys were in position, Lu Chen drove Qi Yin to the metal gate. With a flash of his mind, he teleported the superpowers on other chariots to the red flame. After some operations, including Lu Chen, a team of ten superpowers was assembled. No one with superpowers will be left alive. The experimenter will look at the situation. We must act decisively. I hope everyone can return safely. Lu Chen stood in front of the door to explain the final matters to the superpowers. Everyone nodded in agreement. And after checking the equipment one last time, Lu Chen took a step forward. The scanning device came out and the blue data line swept across Lu Chen's body. Not surprisingly, after sweeping past Lu Chen, the metal door slowly opened to both sides. When Yuji saw it, she couldn't help but raise her eyebrows indicating that she had seen the scene before. As the former leader of the Angel of Death, she knew clearly that only those who had registered their biological information could enter the corresponding metal tower. However, Lu Chen is not bound by this rule and seems to be able to enter any metal tower unconditionally. After Lu Chen entered, the system panel for Huanin Home opened in front of him. What was different from usual was that this time, he was not asked to choose his favorite music. He entered the registration panel and saw the name of the leader of the metal tower. Lin Ji, when he wanted to directly remove the other party's information. He did not have enough permissions. It seems that this metal tower has a higher level of access than Nancheng City. It is no longer possible to perform some advanced options simply 
by swiping your face. Fortunately, someone gave me a door key before. Lu Chen chuckled and took out a black card with strange patterns from his windbreaker. This was what was left on the man with the burning blade at that time. I also used this card to activate the communication device of the metal tower to make a video call to the Salvation Army. Insert the card into the card slot on the side. Lu Chen successfully obtained advanced permissions. However, this permission can only add visitor information, but cannot remove already registered biometric information. Insert the card and register the biometric information of the 19 members at the door. All members of the decapitation team entered the Salvation Army's base headquarters. Except for Yuji. Everyone showed more or less shock. This was their first time inside the metal tower. But the shock was quickly replaced by nervousness. They are here to perform life and death missions. Not for sightseeing. Those with reconnaissance powers immediately released their powers to detect surrounding enemies. Luchin opened the holographic structure of the metal tower in the panel. The metal tower at the Salvation Army base has only three floors. But each floor is extremely large. What puzzled Luchin was that there were some black projections below the metal tower. It seems that there is a large space underneath. But it is not shown in the holographic projection. There is no time to think so much. The other party must know that their group has entered the metal tower. They have the home field advantage and can ambush in advance. Without tank support, this battle will be a disaster. After reading the structural diagram, Lu Chen gestured for everyone to come forward and quickly explain the situation to them. In order not to cause additional incidents, the decapitation operation must be carried out quickly. They divided their forces into three groups. And Lin Zhuang led a team of four to search the first floor, which was relatively least risky. Tsukiji led a five-person team to search the second level, which was slightly more risky. Lu Chen alone searched for the third floor where the enemy leader was most likely hiding. The three teams communicate in real time through communicators and support each other. After the mission was released, the beheading team came to the elevator hall and took the elevator to the corresponding floors. Dark corridor. Small space. This is an extremely dangerous mission. Without the protection of the chariot, all team members would be in danger, facing enemies that may emerge from anywhere. Life and death only take a moment. The Salvation Army Combat Room. A shivering sound came from the deathly silent command room. Are they really released? Then none of the experimenters will survive. How long has it been? We only have those monsters left. Okay. Chapter 192 going deep into the lair. Ding. A crisp mechanical sound sounded. The elevator door opened. And the team led by Lin Zhuang successfully reached the first floor of the metal tower. As soon as the elevator door opened, a strong smell of blood immediately penetrated their noses. The pale walls covered with bloodstains reflected a strange silver light under the blue light. The four people's hair instantly went up, and they went into a state of high alert. The four members of the team exploring the negative level are Lin Zhuang, Xiao Liang, Tianyan and Laser Eyes, a scout, a human shield, and two C positions with powerful attacks. This combination was carefully considered. Xiao Liang, who has strong defense, walked out of the elevator first. Followed immediately by Scout Tianyin. Lin Zhuang and Laser Eyes followed the two of them. Tianyin closed his eyes and used all his strength to activate his powers. It is different from the detection ability that relies on eyes or voice. His sense of danger relies entirely on his own perception. He can accurately capture enemies within a certain range that are malicious or intent on attacking him. So the dark environment had no impact on him at all. The task of each team is to clear all rooms and eliminate dangers. The floor plan of the Salvation Army base is circular, with the elevator shaft at the center. For corridors extend from the center to the edge of the circle, with various rooms located on both sides of the corridor. The team of four continue to move forward along the dark corridor. The interior configurations can be seen through the full-length mirrors in some rooms. Most of the rooms on the first floor are laboratories, including many plant cultivation rooms. There are also some rooms that are more disgusting, with many alien or zombie bodies stored in them. Is there an alien species that has escaped? Xiao Liang said. That was the only explanation for the smell of blood in the air. It should be that the enemy knew we were entering and wanted to use these monsters to resist. Lin Zhuang said in a deep voice. It's really crazy. Xiao Liang muttered. He saw a mutant laboratory filled with experimenters who had been cut off in half. How desperate these unarmed experimenters must be when faced with powerful alien species. Lin Zhuang also scanned the laboratory and a flash of nervousness flashed in his heart. Judging from the injuries of these people, the alien that attacked them must be a big guy. 
The corridor was silent, and everyone was almost at the end. And as it went deeper, the pungent smell of blood became stronger and stronger. If there's danger, move to both sides, Taimion suddenly shouted. Call. A cold light flashed, and a brown tail thorn stabbed towards everyone. Fortunately, even after Iron Mask's call, everyone separated to both sides, narrowly avoiding this dangerous blow. Through the dim light, Lin Zhuang saw the segments of the tail. There is a sphere at the end of the tail, and a sharp tail spine grows out of the sphere. This is a heterogeneous scorpion. Lin Zhuang reacted immediately when he saw this distinctive tail. At the same time, the venom of scorpions flashed through his mind. Xiao Liang, don't resist. It's poisonous, he yelled at Xiao Yang, fearing that he would use his body to resist again. As soon as he finished speaking, the tail hit Lin Zhuang directly. Scorpions rely on their tentacles to identify prey and their sensory abilities are so strong that they can detect air vibrations. Lin Zhuang's words immediately revealed his location, so he was targeted by it. Seeing that the tail stinger was about to hit Lin Zhuang, Xiao Liang rushed forward and hugged the rear end of the alien scorpion's tail. The tail spike hovered in front of Lin Zhuang, scaring him so much that he broke into a cold sweat. But the fear did not last long. He immediately rolled out of the attack range of the tail spines. The scorpion tail which was hugged by Xiao Yang with great force, began to swing wildly. Taking this opportunity, the laser-eyed boy immediately stood up and fired two lasers into the dark corridor, taking advantage of the fiery red laser being fired. Everyone also saw clearly the alien species dormant at the end of the corridor. A giant scorpion takes up almost the entire corridor. The two lasers shot from the eyes hit the giant scorpion's hard sh. L. Seemingly not causing any damage. After being hit by the laser, the giant scorpion immediately opened its mouth and let out a terrifying low cry. Seeing that the tail could not move at all, the giant scorpion rushed towards the crowd quickly. Coming over! Kimian roared angrily. The laser eye uses all its power to activate its powers. But it is impossible to penetrate the giant scorpion armor in a short period of time. This was the first time that everyone faced the powerful alien species with their bodies after breaking away from the heavy firepower of the tank. And in such a small space, they have no chance to move around. Ah! Xiao Liang roared angrily, hugged Scorpion Tail with one hand, and threw him backwards with laser eye in one hand. He wants to fight against the giant scorpion alone. The giant scorpion waved its giant pincers, crawled crazily with six pairs of legs, and arrived in front of everyone in an instant, facing such a formidable giant. Xiao Liang's heart trembled suddenly. The breath of death seemed to be in my ears. Lie down! Lin Zhuang shout came from behind and then Xiao Liang felt a slight vibration in the air behind him. Without any hesitation, Xiao Liang threw the scorpion tail forward, turned around and pounced on the ground. Roar! A burst of horrifying sound waves spurted out, and the invisible air seemed to turn into thousands of troops at this moment. The fear sound waves passed by, and the giant scorpion that wanted to move forward could no longer take a step forward. It seemed to be frightened and twisted wildly on the spot. This chapter is not finished yet. Please click on the next page to continue reading the exciting content. Facing the giant scorpion with a SH. L that was harder than metal. Lin Zhuang's sonic attack, which ignored the armor, had a miraculous effect. In addition, the narrow corridor space prevents sound waves from spreading outward. The power increased several times compared to that released in the open area. Lin Zhuang drove his powers even more violently, and a steady stream of sound waves struck at the alien giant scorpion. After struggling for nearly 30 seconds, the giant scorpion exploded with a loud bang. A disgusting thick green liquid leaked from its abdomen, and its tail hung weakly on the ground. Seeing the death of the giant scorpion, Lin Zhuang took two steps back and took a deep breath. The pressure of encountering giant alien species in such a small space can be imagined. Xiao Yang, who was lying on the ground and covering his ears, got up from the ground with a silly smile on his face. Brother Lin is so strong! Lin Zhuang shook his head and smiled bitterly. Next time you risk your life, I will scold you. If something happens to you, how will I explain it to you, Don? Xiao Yang smiled and touched his head, took out a knife, and looked back for the crystal core in the giant scorpion. Even though they had just passed the life and death crisis, no one had time to rejoice. They resumed their defensive state and covered Xiao Liang. The second floor below, the lighting on this floor is even dimmer, and the corridor is filled with thick smoke. The fog was so thick that even the light of a tactical flashlight couldn't penetrate it. Yuji took the lead and walked at the front, 
her sharp heels making an icy sound on the ground. Their five-person team includes Yuji, Investigator Xiao Shui, Feng Ren who can cooperate with Xiao Shui, and two long-range output team members. Lu Chen asked them to explore the second floor mainly because of Yuji's strong combat ability. Moreover, Xiao Shui's reconnaissance ability is top-notch, and the team will not lack output. This kind of team is better able to face the more dangerous negative second floor. But now something is wrong with them. And Xiao Shui's superpower cannot be sustained. Because as long as he turns on his superpower, he can hear inexplicable vibrations coming from below the ground. This kind of vibration will make him dizzy and unable to activate his powers all the time. This means that the team will sometimes move forward in corridors with almost zero line of sight. Dang! Dang! The sound of Sukiheim's high heels echoed in the metal corridor. She has extreme trust in her own reactions. Chapter 193 Being attacked from both sides, long lost picture. The thick fog blocks everyone's view. And you never know what you will encounter next step out. Yuji looked calm and walked forward step by step. Just as she took a step, a withered and bloody hand in the mist grabbed her ankle. This almost impossible to detect attack was instantly discovered by Yuji. When a sharp collision sounded, and Yuji used her high heels to pin the hand to the ground. Immediately, Yuji used her other leg to find the zombie's head along her arm. There was a flash of cold light, and the head fell to the ground. This was not the end. When Yuji took a step forward, she found that two more zombies appeared in her sight. His waves of roars came from the fog. This corridor has been filled with zombies. Everyone stand back! Yuji let out a low roar, stepped back with her right foot to accumulate strength, and then swung forward. Swish! Swish! Swish. Thousands of cold lights flashed through the mist. And Yuji used her leg skills to form a field of death in front of her. All zombies that rush into this area will be broken into pieces. Countless zombies fell at Yuji's feet. Blood flying all over the sky. The people who were fiercely protected by Yuji were worried about Yuji and were wary of their surroundings. Shushui concentrated his will and activated his powers again. Itachi flew around and spread out. This legendary monster could bring him all the information in the darkness. He heard the sound of Yuji killing zombies, and the sound of groups of alarmed zombies running behind the corridor. As the superpower is released, the range he can hear will become wider and wider, and the sound will become clearer and clearer. He heard the sound of a zombie crouching on the ground at the end of the corridor, munching crazily. Further on, the fine vibrating sound came again, like an earthquake, and like a dragon roaring. What is hidden at the bottom of this metal building? Not long after the high-frequency oscillation sounded, a strong sense of dizziness hit him. He suddenly fell to his knees, cancelled the ability, and finally endured the discomfort to remind Yuji. Lady Tsukiheim, there is a special zombie at the end. He couldn't tell whether the zombie was a second or third generation zombie based on the sound alone. But not following the crowd blindly means that it is definitely not an ordinary zombie. After receiving the message, Tsukiji took two steps back and took off the shotgun from her waist. Bang! Bang! If there was a big guy behind her, she would have to consider conserving her energy. Moreover, these low-level zombies can be cleaned up with firearms. So there is no need to take risks. Seeing Yuji's backside, the two team members immediately stepped forward and fired with rifles alongside Yuji, facing low-level zombies. They all reserved their energy to use their superpowers. After a burst of fire suppression, the roars of the zombies in front completely disappeared. Tsukiheim stared ahead, reloading the shotgun in her hand. She knew that there was an advanced species that had not appeared in the thick fog. Roar. Shah. Not long after the gunfire stopped, another burst of zombies roared and ran. This time, Shioshwai's superpower was not needed for everyone to react. The sound came from behind them. The gunfire just now attracted all the zombies on this floor. They were flanked in the middle of the corridor, being attacked from both sides. Behind, a team member shouted, raising his gun and shooting at the mist. All firepower was turned to the rear. Bullets fired into the boundless fog. Only Yuji still stood there, facing the advanced species in the unknown darkness. You guys hold on! Tsukiji left a word and walked into the darkness. Shioshui couldn't help but feel worried when he saw Yuji's figure disappearing into the darkness. He banged his head twice, jumped up from the ground, and joined in the shooting at the rear. He wanted to quickly clear out the zombies behind and then support Yuji. Yuji kept walking into the darkness with a shotgun. There were piles of zombie corpses on the ground. So she needed to distract herself to find a place to put her feet. Even if the visibility is only half a meter. Even if you know that a powerful monster may rush out 
at the end of the corridor at any time. But she couldn't feel the slightest fear in her heart. That emotion didn't seem to exist in her emotional repertoire. There was something she had never mentioned to anyone. She is actually a person with no past memories. Her memory only started from the moment she entered the Angel of Death Metal Tower. Before that, all information about her parents, her childhood, and where she came from was blank. The anthem brought her to Death Angel to run the base for the dying original leader. This is her first mission in life and the only meaning of her life. Her memories are all about Metal Tower information, management concepts, and combat skills. There is no other residual information at all. As if it is a machine built just for the task. Since when did it change? Yuji smelled a strong stench. She loaded the shotgun and stepped inside step by step. Probably from the moment Lu Chen appeared. When Chase Chase defeated her and occupied the Angel of Death base, she felt that her life had lost its meaning. With no memory of the past, she has no nostalgia for this world. Only the humiliation of failing the mission. But Chase Lu did not execute her, but kept using her powers. It made her feel something different. Something she had never experienced before. This chapter is not finished yet. Please click on the next page to continue reading the exciting content. As Lu Chen asked her to interrogate the prisoner again and again. He asked her for her opinion again and again. He even rehealed her legs and allowed her to go on stage to receive an inexplicable reward. All this made the feeling in her heart become stronger. She silently followed Lu Chen's every move and stored all his laughter, anger, embarrassment, and jokes with others. It was as if a small space suddenly appeared in her mind, which was full of professional skills and combat skills. In this small space, all her emotions about the world are stored. Lu Chen is the second mission in her life and the only meaning of her life. When the crisp sound of metal collision sounded and Yuji stood still in place in front of her, a huge zombie squatted on the ground and gnawed on the human corpse in front of her. Its whole body was tangled with muscles. The blood vessels as thick as its arms were beating constantly and its back was densely covered with strong bone spurs that were half a person tall. This is the most disgusting zombie she has ever seen. Boom! Without any hesitation, Yuji pulled the trigger. The shotgun roared and sprayed out bullets, exploding a mist of blood on the zombie's back. Boom, boom. Without pausing, Yuji held a shotgun and fired at him wildly. To deal with this kind of enemy, holding back a little means death is approaching. See ah, an angry roar came from the blood mist. The shot just now had no effect on the monster. The spike zombie stood up suddenly from the ground, turned around, and laid his eyes on Yuji. Chapter 194 Yuji's Thanks The standing spiked zombie was nearly 3 meters tall. And Yuji's gaze instantly changed from looking down to looking up. The outside of its arms and the front of its chest were covered with protruding bone spurs. With strands of flesh and blood attached to the bone spurs. His. The mouth of the bone spurred zombie split from the middle outward. Opened to an astonishing width. And then let out a roar. Along with the roar. Blood foam continued to spurt out and the finely arranged fangs inside continued to wriggle. Yuji took a cold look, then shoved the shotgun barrel into its mouth. With a bang, it spurted blood. Then, Yuji leaned over and swept her legs, cutting off her left foot instantly with her sharp high heels. The zombie didn't have time to scream, so he knelt down on one knee, and his head had already reached the position where Yuji could reach it. Yuji then swept away the strength of Tang's legs, stood up and kicked her, pointing the cold light directly at the zombie's neck. But this time the zombie reacted. And its hunting nature was finally triggered when it felt death approaching. A giant hand suddenly pinched Yuji's calf. With just a slight squeeze from this hand, Yuji's calf would break in an instant. Yuji did not stop her attacking movements before the opponent exerted his strength. Using the other foot's strength, he kicked in the air. There was a cry of blood. And the giant hand holding Yuji's calf was cut off. Another severe pain came. And the bone spurred zombie was completely enraged. It exploded the shotgun in its mouth with one bite and faced Sukiheim's kick with its right arm. This time, it no longer greeted him empty-handed. Instead, it clenched its right hand into a fist with several bone spurs pouring out of its arm. The appearance of bone spurs blocked all Yuji's attack roots. If this continues, before cutting off the opponent's arm, his own leg will be pierced by bone spurs first. Yuji immediately retracted her legs and turned to attack the growing bone spurs. The high heels and bone spurs intersected in the air. And the bone spurs growing out of flesh and blood actually blocked Yuji's alloy blade. The zombie exerted force suddenly and pushed Yuji's legs back. Then, 
a huge thorn grew directly from the severed left hand and swung it towards Yuji. One leg was restricted, and Yuji had no time to dodge. In the thin line between life and death, Yuji's eyes turned red and her powers were activated. Lu Chen upgraded her superpower to level 2, unlocking the ability to directly control enemies. It was this short-term control that caused the bone-spurred zombie to lose consciousness instantly, and its arms hung limply. After saving the day, Yuji did not retreat at all, but took a step forward and kicked the zombie's head violently. She, ah, uh, I don't know if it's because the control time of the superpower is too short, or because the bone spur zombie's resistance is too high. Just when Yuji was about to succeed, the bone spur zombie woke up. The moment it woke up, countless spikes emerged from its body. A bone spur half a meter long pierced Yuji's hanging calf. Yuji frowned, gritted her teeth, and used strength again. And before the zombies could fight back, she pulled out her calf, holding onto the wall. Yuji took a few steps back with one leg. She is good at melee attacks, and there is nothing she can do against this zombie covered in bone spurs. Blood continued to flow from the black wound on her right leg. The severe pain made her face pale, and cold sweat fell from her forehead. The bone spur zombie's wounds were recovering rapidly, and it stood up from the ground again with a roar. No, no, Yuji said secretly as she looked at the figure in the mist. If she couldn't stop the bone spur zombies here, then the group of team members behind her would be attacked from both sides and would most likely die. Then their mission will fail. And the mission Liu Qing gave them will fail. She could only delay as much time as possible. And Yuji's heart sank. Maybe you could only use your own life. Before Yuji's determination to die was realized, a roar came from behind. Wind blade! Whirring whirring. Yuji's long hair kept dancing. And the invisible wind blade appeared in the mist. That is a curd cold knife. Shichichi. The wind blade seemed to be able to aim automatically, evading the zombie's bone spur defense and slashing at its body. For a moment, blood surged all over the sky, and wailing sounds came out through the fog. Ankles, palms, arms, eyes, chest, all exposed parts were accurately cut off by the wind blade. The bone spurred zombie knelt down again, without any hesitation. Yuji endured the severe pain and stepped forward together with countless wind blades. A defensive hole was found in the jungle of bone spurs on the zombie's chest. Shua. There was a flash of cold light, and his head fell to the ground. The bone spurred zombie collapsed to the ground like a puppet with its strings cut off, and its body was torn apart by the wind blade. Without stopping, Yuji found the crystal core in the corpse. Turn around and return while holding onto the wall. The battle on the other side is also coming to an end. There are just a group of ordinary zombies over there. Although there are many, they cannot withstand several supernatural attacks. Shioshui collapsed weakly against the wall, breathing heavily. Because he was worried about Yuji, he forcibly activated another superpower after Yuji faced the enemy alone. Sure enough, he heard the sound of Yuji being injured. So he joined forces with a wind blade to launch support for Yuji. After the support ended, the intense dizziness in his head almost made him lose his fighting ability. He doesn't know what the situation is over there. If Yuji fails, the team will be wiped out here. After a short wait, a reassuring voice came from down the corridor. This chapter is not over. Please click on the next page to continue reading. When? When? Along with the sound of footsteps, Yuji's figure appeared in the mist, and everyone let out a sigh of relief. Yuji walked up to a few people and glanced at the exhausted people. Her body had adapted to the pain, and the expression on her face returned to that iceberg look. Let's go! She said coldly. Everyone was stunned for a while and got up from the ground. There was no cheering or encouragement, and the atmosphere was a bit cold. However, everyone was used to Yuji's character and didn't think it was a big deal. After re-preparing, everyone set off into the darkness again. Suddenly, a cold voice came from behind them. Thank you all! Everyone was stunned for a moment, and then laughed dumbly. In the silent and cold dark corridor, a warm current flowed into their hearts. The third underground floor. Lu Chen's footsteps echoed in the corridor, and he had searched almost all the rooms. Now only the last large room remains. If nothing else, this should be the combat command room of the Salvation Army. What will be inside? Lu Chen couldn't help but think. According to the information from Yu Ji's interrogation, there is only one third stage superpower user, Qian Yuan, in the Salvation Army base. Everyone else is basically in stage 1 or stage 2. This is also an important reason why Luchin dared to plan a beheading operation. 
If it's not a third stage superpower, will it be a group attack by a second stage superpower? Lu Chen tapped his fingertips, unsheathed the hidden sword, and began to gradually heat it up. Apart from the superpowers, there was another thing that concerned him. The closer you get to this last room, the more you can hear a faint roar. The opponent's ultimate weapon? He still doesn't know the level of superpowers of the leader of the Salvation Army. Lin Ji. I only know that it is a modified auxiliary ability. And its combat effectiveness is not very strong. Thinking no more. Lu Chen took out his black card and swiped it at the door. Either a mule or a horse came out for a walk. Ding. The hatch of the command room slowly opened. Chapter 195 The Ultimate Weapon. Chi. With the sound of machinery running, the metal hatch slowly opened. As soon as a crack was opened, Countless bright lights shot out. Two, 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 two. The base guards hiding behind the door were shooting wildly at the door. What a ghost! Lu Chen, who was hiding on the side of the door, cursed secretly in his heart. Fortunately, he didn't stand directly at the gate just to look cool. Even if he won't be shot into a sieve, it will still consume him once and for all. After waiting for his whole body to enter the molten state, Chase Lu took a step forward and walked into the hail of bullets. Those metal bullets shot into his body making a squeaking sound, and immediately vaporized into white mist. Lu Chen slowly walked into the command room, and bursts of white mist emerged from his body, like a villain with special effects. It has to be said that the mastery of the molten state almost allows him to ignore these basic gun attacks. He doesn't have to use time zero to dodge everything. He has a strong life-saving ability, and also has offensive power. The most important thing is that there is still a hint of handsomeness, and Lu Chen is very satisfied with this ability. The guards who were neatly arrayed opposite him were all so frightened that they froze in place. What kind of monster is this? After exerting strong mental pressure on the opponent, after pretending to be almost done, Lu Chen accelerated his speed. He changed his walking into a leaping step. And with the enhancement of his dual superpowers, his body was no longer in the category of ordinary people. Even if time zero is not turned on, his rapid movement can still produce afterimages in the eyes of ordinary people. In an instant, Lu Chen approached the team members. His hand shook, and the red sword light flashed immediately. Two molten hidden swords flew freely in the air, creating a dazzling sun disk. Wherever the red light went, heads fell to the ground. Lu Chen didn't have time to stay alive, so it was the greatest kindness to end their lives neatly. In less than half a minute, Lu Chen killed every one of the guard team. Not a drop of blood flowed out from the incision, because the high temperature burned the incision into coke and resealed it at the moment of cutting. The gunshot stopped, leaving only the sound of vaporization coming from wherever Lu Chen passed by. After killing the guard team, Chase Lu cast his gaze indoors and glanced around. This is a huge room, and the place where the battle just took place is just a corridor leading to the hall. Walking further inside, you can see the huge LCD screen and control room. Opposite the control room is a tall throne made of metal. Lu Chen walked towards the hall, steam rising from his body. No one on the throne? This was Lu Chen's first question after entering the hall. During the last video call, he saw Lin Jidwan sitting on the throne with his own eyes. After further observation, he discovered that there was a deep passage behind the throne. What's this? Lin Ji is hiding inside? Several more questions popped into my mind. Unable to get an explanation for the time being, Lu Chen turned around and focused his attention on the group of people in the control room. One by one. He had also seen this group of people on the video call. And he remembered the way those people looked so stupid at that time. Lu Chen walked slowly to the door of the control room and opened the fragile door lock with a knife. Ah! As Lu Chen swung his knife, the people in the control room shouted and huddled up. Only a tall man in combat uniform stood in front of them. Lu Chen slowly canceled the molten state and conserved his mental power. At the same time, it also allows those people to see their expressions better. Hurry up! Hurry up! Lu Chen said slightly sarcastically. The Gundam man rolled up his sleeves and moved sideways, constantly looking at Lu Chen. Molten State? You killed Yugo and gained his skills? The man stared at Lu Chen warily, constantly analyzing the two people's fighting power in his mind. He is the captain of the guard army and is responsible for all security matters in the base. He saw Lu Chen breaking into the command room alone. He estimated that all his teammates had died in the battle on the two floors above and he just cancelled the molten state. I don't know whether it was due to lack of mental strength or arrogance in his heart. As a teammate with Zhang Wu, he knows the molten state very well. And its biggest flaw is that the heating time is very long. So while asking questions, 
he approached the other party with steps that seemed to be moving sideways, but were actually moving forward. The opponent only has this ability. As long as the opponent enters your attack range, the battle will end. Tread. The man estimated the attack distance, stepped on the edge with a heavy step, and violently launched with force. The Supreme Iron Mountain relies on you. Driven by supernatural powers, the user can thrust a certain distance instantly. The powerful iron shoulder will crush all obstacles in its way. The flesh and blood body can be shattered at the touch of a touch. She. Depend on. The man's head fell to the ground, and he died with regret. It doesn't make sense. Isn't it enough to practice for two and a half months? Lu Chen didn't look back. His expression was slightly boring. Lu Chen was also a little tired of looking at the group of timid little people in front of him. He had killed too many people, and was numb. Now he only regretted that he didn't have the ability to attack in a large area. It would be better to kill these guys together. Just when he was about to finish the killing and quickly enter the secret passage to look for Lin Ji. The roar that had previously been hidden in the background suddenly grew louder. The entire Salvation Army base began to tremble. Lu Chen frowned, feeling worried in his heart. This chapter is not over. Please click on the next page to continue reading. You must know that the Metal Tower is a building built directly into the earth. Almost integrated with the earth. A building of this size cannot easily be shaken by small vibrations. And this energy can actually make the entire base tremble. If they hadn't encountered a major earthquake that had never happened in a thousand years, there would have been only one possibility. The opponent's ultimate weapon is coming. This also just explains why there is no shadow of Lin Ji on the throne. Too late to kill. Lu Chen turned around and rushed towards Lin Ji's throne. In this level of disaster, it was only a matter of time before these people died. But he can't die here. He must hurry up to get the mechanical heart and teleport it back to the tank. Boom. There was another violent shaking. And the base was already shaking visibly to the naked eye. Lu Chen felt as if he was on a ship caught in a storm. He was shaky when running and couldn't find any strength at all. Damn it. If only I could fly. Lu Chen staggered and finally came to the throne. Behind him, three mechanical hearts suspended in the light beams emitted a faint light. Sure enough, it was the same information as Yuji obtained. Three mechanical hearts. Without any time to rejoice, Chase Lu stood firm amid the violent shaking and grabbed three mechanical hearts. Bang. Stab. After another violent shock, a harsh cutting sound came from the ground. Lu Chen heated up his hidden sword and pierced it straight into the throne before he could barely stabilize his body. Listening to the crazy cutting sound, Lu Chen looked incredulous. Is there something underneath that wants to cut right through the metal base? The only weapon he knew that could forcefully break open a metal tower was the disintegrating laser. Because the material of the metal tower can be said to be the hardest material in the world. And now this thing underground actually wants to use physical methods to cut through the foundation of the metal base. Chapter 196 The Earth God Appears See la la la. Thin and dense noises came from under the metal base. And the foundation of the base began to vibrate at high frequencies. With a bang. A crack appeared on the metal ground. This was the first time Lu Chen saw metal being torn apart directly. And it was still the metal of a metal tower. As the base was damaged. The entire metal tower sank suddenly. It is on the verge of destruction. The host can carry the mechanical heart to jump. After the mechanical heart is taken out. The metal tower will run out of energy within 10 minutes. Where does it take 10 more minutes? Lu Chen shouted in his heart. He didn't have time to check the gains such as crystal cores. So he directly browsed to the character logout column. He needs to transport all the team members who entered together. Boom. There was another explosion. Like a muffled thunder exploding in my ears. The openings of the cracks are getting bigger and bigger. And countless small cracks have appeared in other places. Things like gravel or broken metal spurted out from the cracks like droplets. Lu Chen quickly searched through all the team members to make sure no one was left behind. Then thoughts flashed through his mind. Teleport! With a buzzing sound. A blue light beam enveloped him. At this moment, there was a painful cry from the ground of the metal base. Like all rigid materials, they have a critical point of failure. A load-bearing rigid body is not like a fluid, which changes into its shape according to the amount of force exerted on it. They only break when the force you apply reaches a certain threshold. Therefore, the collapse of rigid materials is an instantaneous collapse without warning. The foundation of this base has just gone through this process. It has been completely destroyed. The originally hard and stable ground was completely shattered in an instant. And as the ground shattered, Lu Chen could clearly see the giant thing underneath. Looking at it, it turned out to be a monstrous mouth. 
The huge circular rings are combined and rotated layer by layer to form a steel behemoth that can crush and devour everything in the world. Then it's a shield machine! The moment the teleportation took effect, Luchin understood what kind of mechanical equipment it was. Shield machine. A miracle of human engineering. A giant engineering equipment used for underground tunnel excavation. Forget about trains. This lunatic actually converted the TBM into a war weapon. The light blue light disappeared and Lu Chen and others appeared at the gate of the base again. Not a single member of the team who went in with him was left behind, and all of them were teleported back. Like Lu Chen, their faces were all deeply shocked. What happened? Boss! Lin Zhuang asked Lu Chen on behalf of everyone. Escape from the underground quickly! Lu Chen did not explain, but directly issued the order. He could tell at just one glance that the monster shield machine was no longer an ordinary shield machine. That lunatic Lin Ji must have made even crazier modifications. Not only is the size doubled, the diameter of its cutting wheel alone is close to 30 meters. If a monster of this size activates, let alone the metal base, the entire area will collapse. Without asking any questions, everyone boarded Qi and one after another, and then were teleported back to their respective convoys by Lu Chen. Lu Chen found that Yu Ji's calf had been severely injured, but he had no time to think. Vibrations have been transmitted to the hub, and dust and gravel are constantly falling from above. This underground system can no longer hold up. While teleporting Yuji, Lu Chen kicked the accelerator and drove Qi Yin towards the thunderstorm. Boom! As soon as Qi Yin fired his kick, the Salvation Army base collapsed downwards with a crash, and the entire earth above it was directly pressed down. This guy demolished the entire base just to win. This is not just a gamble on life. This is a gamble on everything in this organization. Cruel person. Lu Chen asked all the team members defending on both sides of the hub to gather at the thunderstorm. Then the thoughts flashed wildly, and there was no time to classify them. And the team members were pushed into the back compartment of Thunderstorm and Chi Tian. Then he teleported back to Thunderstorm and took all the tanks back into space. Let's go! Chase Lu shouted as soon as he returned to Thunderstorm. Zhuang Yuan stepped on the accelerator and the thunderstorm rushed out of the tunnel where it came from. Shi Tian followed the weather. Boom! There was another tremor, and the hub that could barely hold up just now collapsed in half. Dust and gravel poured into the tunnel like a huge sandstorm. The underground system is basically more than 20 meters above the ground. With a full 20 meter thick soil layer, if the entire tunnel collapses, even Lei Bao and Qing Tian will have difficulty escaping. Lu Chen turned around to check the tunnel after the thunderstorm. Fortunately, the underground hub was strong enough. The tunnel has not completely collapsed yet, and they still have a certain amount of time to escape from the tunnel. But after the steel monster came out, Lu Chen couldn't guarantee how long the tunnel could last. So they have only one goal now, and that is to escape underground as much as possible. After the thunderstorm started, Lu Chen suppressed the panic in his heart. He took out his communicator and first contacted the convoys on the ground guarding each exit, telling them to stay away quickly. If the ground collapses, they will also be deeply affected. Lu Chen does not want to see meaningless sacrifices. Then he contacted Li Hai and asked him to drive the Colossus to the subway exit he marked. The original subway exit has been blown up, and they must find a new one. And it can't be an exit close to the Salvation Army base. So as to avoid the bombs they ambush. After arranging everything, Lu Chen looked ahead. Next was their crazy escape journey. Null. A long roar came from the end of the tunnel. The entrance to the tunnel has begun to collapse. Damn it! Lu Chen cursed secretly in his heart. But it was a pity that Lei Bao and Qing Tian were not as fast as Qi Yin. Otherwise, you can escape in a minute without having to play to such an extreme. But Chase Lu didn't expect that the other party would come up with such an exaggerated thing. Activating this weapon would destroy his organization even if he won. He didn't consider other people's lives at all. Anyone who uses this kind of self-damage to 50 enemies can only be said to be a complete lunatic. A strong and violent smashing sound came along the tunnel. Just now, its crushing mouth pointed upwards and ate the entire metal base. Now it must have crossed over and destroyed the entire tunnel. Just wish it wasn't destroying tunnels so fast. Chapter 197 The Fierce Battle Begins Quick! 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 All convoys must evacuate away from the Salvation Army base. Li Hai used the function repaired by Lin Dachui and others to give orders to all the soldiers. The Fengshan signal range is extremely large, which is why Lu Chen was able to contact them underground. The location where the Salvation Army base is located has collapsed. 
Now it is definitely not possible to direct the convoy to evacuate in one direction. They must be allowed to spread in all directions. Boom. There was an explosion. And Li Hai saw a crack spreading rapidly on the ground. Then the ground trembled. A large piece of the ground collapsed downwards. And the buildings on both sides began to tilt and collapse. The roaring continues, and the sky is filled with dust. This scene, like the end of the world, unfolded in front of Lehi. Let's go! Lehi roared angrily. The convoy was racing at full speed away from the site of destruction. What kind of monster is this underground? Lehi's heart trembled. They need to return to the camp quickly and take away Lu Chen's Colossus and Crazy Bee. The team member who received the driving ability last time is concentrating on driving the chariot. The speed of the car had reached its fastest speed under his control. But Lehi still felt it was not enough. Behind them, the originally hard ground was shattering inch by inch, sinking underground like quicksand. Tall buildings collapsed towards the ground like weak weeds. The speed of the chariot determines their lives. This is the real speed of life and death. Rumble. Rumble. The sound of ground breaking and collision filled the entire underground tunnel. Lu Chen was guiding Zhuang Yuan to drive with the underground pipeline map he drew earlier. Yu Ji, who was sitting aside, looked pale and said nothing. Although she is a superpower, she is not a superpower in the direction of enhancing her body. The penetrating injury to her calf was still very serious for her. After Lu Chen planned his escape route, he rethought Lin Ji's attack target. He would definitely not bump around like a headless fly when driving this behemoth. Devouring the entire Salvation Army base was to eliminate their group of interlopers. The next step will definitely be to attack their camp and eliminate their entire army. He has asked Li Hai to conduct the evacuation of the camp. The most important thing now is to think about how to deal with this monster. The noise in the tunnel gradually decreased, which meant that the Earth God had left the direction of the tunnel and set off towards their camp. After driving for a longer time, Lei Bao and Qing Tian finally arrived at the designated exit. After confirming that no explosives were placed at this exit, Lei Bao and Qing Tian rushed up the steps with a bang. After letting Cyclops shoot open the blocking iron door, Thunderstorm took the lead and rushed out. With a bang, the sun shone on Lu Chun and others again. They couldn't help but narrow their eyes. It's great to see the sun. Lu Chun took a sharp breath. Not long after they rushed out of the underground, Li Hai, who had agreed with him, drove up in the Colossus. Following the Colossus, was a crazy bee that was driving crookedly. I actually forgot about the crazy bee. Lu Chen was frightened for a while. He only gave Li Hai the permission to unlock the Colossus. So who drove the crazy bee? Li Hai opened the door of the Colossus, jumped down, and ran towards Thunderstorm. Zhuang Yuan rolled down the window and listened to Li Hai's report. Lord Leader, all convoys have evacuated in all directions as ordered. There are no casualties for the time being. The camp support staff and prisoners have been evacuated to a safe area. And Colossus and Crazy Bee have arrived at the designated location. After listening to Li Hai's report, Lu Chen nodded with satisfaction. Whether it is finishing quality or speed, Li Hai has achieved perfection. Very good. You and Captain Rong Lubio will hand over the work and direct the convoy to carry out the next instructions. After finishing speaking, Li Hai trotted away. Lu Chen teleported to the co-pilot of Kuangfeng. He wanted to see who was driving the Kuangfeng. Ah! You're holding my little bear down. As soon as he entered the passenger seat, a sharp voice sounded. Lu Chen looked to the side, and Lear was looking at him with an angry little mouth pouted. Did you drive here? Lu Chen looked incredulous and pulled the teddy bear out from under his butt. Humph. Lil took the teddy bear and turned his head to the side. Lu Chen looked at her feet and found that the seats and footrests had been modified. These modifications allow Lil to drive a chariot despite her small stature. Lu Chen cursed Lin Dachui in his heart. Lu Chen! Yueji has fainted! Zhuang Yuan's voice came. Lu Chen was stunned. And then he remembered the wound on Yuji's leg. Don't be angry. Go save your beautiful sister! Lu Chen took Lear back to Thunderstorm, placed Yuji on the sofa in the trunk, and asked Lear to treat her. Seeing the shocking wounds, Chase Lu felt palpitated being able to endure such a wound without saying a word. Lu Chen couldn't imagine what kind of strength it would be to support her anymore. Seeing that the wound was gradually recovering under Lear's treatment, Chase Lu teleported back to the Colossus. He is going to end this last enemy. The panel unfolded, and Lu Chen teleported the team of superpowers and ordinary soldiers back to the corresponding convoy. Facing such an enemy, ordinary tanks and second-stage superpowers are of no use. Only super tanks can fight. 
he took Qi in and lightning out of the space. And then returned the Yudan team to their positions. Let Li Hai and his operators board the red flame. And all available combat power will be ready. This chapter is not finished yet. Please click on the next page to continue reading the exciting content. All super tanks. Listen. Follow me. Lu Qing gave an order. And all the super tanks headed in the direction of the super beast under his leadership. The thought flashed. The panel opened. And five unmanned combat aircraft slowly took off. As the angle of view increased, the devastated urban landscape was revealed in front of Lu Qin. This scene, which was like a natural disaster, made Lu Qin's heart tremble. The traces of the underground giant beast were very easy to spot. So Chase Lu headed in the direction of the collapsed building. In order to better destroy the surface buildings, the giant beast has arrived at the shallow soil layer. From time to time, you can see parts of the mechanical wheel breaking out of the ground. What a madman. Although he had said it many times, Lu Chen still sighed in his heart. We can't let it continue to be destroyed like this. They will have to stay in Haicheng City for a while. If you let it grunt in the ground for a while longer, this area will be finished. After thinking about it, Lu Chen's eyes darkened. He clenched his five fingers suddenly, and the fighter plane flew quickly towards the surface. Get its attention first. Lu Chen controlled the fighter plane to fly above the Tushin, lowering the plane's position. The rising ground accurately indicated the direction of Saturn. Lu Chen turned on manual aiming, and all ten Tomahawk missiles entered the ready state. The fighter planes roared forward, and the distance between the two sides became closer and closer. Lu Chen seized the opportunity and drove it with his thoughts. Tomahawk missile! Swish, swish. All super missiles were activated instantly and roared towards the surface. The battle between war machines begins. Chapter 198 stuck in the throat. Boom! A salvo of ten Tomahawk missiles was fired and the ground exploded instantly. The entire bomb street seemed to fly into the air. The damage of 10 Tomahawk missiles is enough to kill an intermediate third generation species. This does not include additional damage caused by electrical surges. The damage caused by 10 Tomahawk missiles can instantly paralyze a huge alien. Lu Chen believes that this kind of mechanical equipment will also have a huge impact. In the explosion of fire and dust, there was a constant flow of fine currents. As the dust fell, Lu Chen controlled the fighter plane and turned back to check the status of the first wave of fighting between the two sides. Just as the fighter plane was getting closer, several missiles shot out from the thick dust. Swish, swish. These missiles came quickly and urgently. And at first, they were covered by dust. So Lu Chen didn't react at all. The three fighter planes collided directly with the missiles, lost contact with Lu Chen, and fell to the ground. Lu Chen was shocked and quickly raised the remaining two fighters. He never thought that the opponent's machine buried in the soil even had entire weapons. Regardless of his heartache, Lu Chen could only use the remaining two fighters to check the situation. Through the dust that was about to disperse, Lu Chen saw that the outermost cutting ring of the Tushin seemed to have lost power. It seems that even with the damage reduction of the soil layer, the effect of 10 Tomahawk missiles is still outstanding. After raising its head and firing several missiles into the sky, the Saturn started again. It used its prosthetic limbs to adjust its direction and bury its entire body under the soil. The opponent is using the soil to avoid attacks. Lu Chen's brows tightened, and thoughts kept flying in his mind. Although it cost a little, it has now attracted the other party's attention. It must stay in the shallow soil layer and cannot be allowed to drill down. If it is allowed to drill down, we will have no means of attacking it. We must let him come out of the soil and solve it with one move. Zhuang Yuan Drive to Park Avenue! Lu Chen shouted into the communicator. Park Avenue was the direction the Saturn was heading, and the thunderstorm served as bait. Lu Chen was sure that the other party's character would not allow a chariot to pass safely over its head. It will definitely come out of the earth and attack the thunderstorm. Rome Hubiao! Take the east side of Park Avenue and move forward with the thunderstorm! Lu Chen ordered again. Fishball! Li Hai! Go around to the flank! While arranging their troops, Lu Chen's giant statue followed closely behind Lei Bao. Thunderstorms were a priority for this attack. If the opponent can cut the metal base, then its material must be at least as hard as the metal tower material. After the Tomahawk missile, only the disintegrating laser can penetrate the metal tower. The thunderstorm must hit the opponent. Boom! 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 There was a roaring digging sound below the surface, as if a giant snake was moving at the bottom. The streets on the surface continued to crack and bulge and they were all broken. On the wide parkway, blue thunderstorms charged towards the giant underground thing. 
like a lone knight facing thousands of troops. Zhuang Yuan's hand holding the steering wheel kept shaking, and she stared straight ahead. Although she had experienced many things with Lu Chen, this time, she was facing such a huge machine alone. His ears were filled with a loud sound like thunder, as if he was sailing into the abyss. Zhuang Yuan, you can start accumulating strength. Lu Chen's voice came out from the communicator. Even though it was mixed with the sizzling sound of electricity, it still made her feel a little relieved. Don't be afraid. I will take good care of you, Lu Chen said calmly. Zhuang Yuan didn't reply, but relaxed his grip on the steering wheel slightly. Even if you face a mountain of corpses and a sea of blood, there will always be someone standing behind you to protect you. This kind of power gave Zhuang Yuan great relief at this moment. She tapped the disintegration laser button. As she always did, the disintegrating laser began to charge up, and the distance between the two sides continued to shrink. Lu Chen's palms were sweating. If something went wrong, he would teleport Zhuang Yuan back to him as soon as possible. Everyone, prepare. After the opponent breaks ground, Launch an attack as soon as possible and attack with all your strength. Lu Chen shouted into the communicator to remind all team members. This may be their only chance. Boom! 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 The dull sound of breaking ground was getting louder and closer. Lu Chen knew that this was not only the reason why the two sides had become closer, but also the reason why the other party had increased their height. The Earth God is indeed about to launch an attack. Lu Chen, who was using his fighter plane above, could see that the raised ground was getting closer and closer to the thunderstorm. Get ready. Zhuang Yuan! Chase Lu reminded him for the last time. Finally, the raised ground meets the thunderstorm, and the earth god is about to break out of the ground. Etc. Lu Chen was stunned. Why didn't the Tushin come out? He saw the raised ground extending behind the thunderstorm, which meant that the other party passed through the thunderstorm. Why not destroy the thunderstorm? Lu Chen was filled with doubts, and almost lost control of the fighter plane. Just when Lu Chen was surprised, a violent sound shook the sky. Boom! The earth god breaks out of the ground. It rushed out from behind the thunderstorm. The huge cutter was like the god of death coming, swallowing the thunderstorm directly. Teleport! Lu Chen didn't even think about it. He gave up thunderstorm and sent Zhuang Yuan back to him. Boom! There was another loud noise, which was the launch of a disintegrating laser. But this cracking laser can no longer hit the opponent. He didn't attack from the front, but dodged Thunderstorm's disintegrating laser from the back. Lu Chen's mouth was slightly open, and his mind was constantly thinking of ways to solve it. But no matter how he arranged his troops, he could not find hope of a comeback. Thunderstorm was destroyed, and they no longer had any means to fight the enemy. Is there no choice but to retreat? The light in Lu Chen's eyes gradually dimmed. If you retreat now, Thunderstorm's loss will be in vain. No. No. Lu Chen suddenly noticed something. Why is the Saturn stationary? He discovered that the Earth God had never returned to the Earth since it broke ground. Isn't he afraid of follow-up attacks? This is unreasonable. Lu Chen immediately opened the panel. And to his great surprise, the Thunderstorm data still exists and has not been destroyed. It's just that the armor value is dropping like water. It's stuck. It got stuck in a thunderstorm because he had never compared it with a metal tower. Lu Chen also misjudged the strength of Thunderstorm's body. I thought that after Thunderstorm was swallowed by the Earth God, it would instantly turn into scrap metal. Looking at it now, as a fully equipped C-class medium-sized tank, its armor strength is likely to be much higher than that of metal tower materials. Still have a chance. Lu Chen's heart was filled with ashes, and he shouted into the communicator. Everyone sprints! After saying that, he stepped on the accelerator, and drove the Colossus forward. If you can't chew off the C-Class tank, then I'll let you try my B-Class tank. I'll kill you today. Chapter 199 High Technology is for Hand-to-Hand -hand Combat. Call. The Saturn stopped. And the loud cutting sound disappeared. Instead, the roar of engines came from all directions. In the center, the cutting wheel of the Saturn was stuck by a thunderstorm and was unable to cut the ground. And being unable to cut means that it can no longer be drilled into the ground. The remaining three super tanks were running at full power, sprinting towards the Earth God, perhaps aware of the crisis. Countless bullet holes opened on the body under the cutting wheel of the Earth God. The SH. LS were loaded one by one. And in an instant, thousands of SH. LS were fired. Swish, swish. Countless missiles headed towards the chariots rushing from three directions. If it is hit by all these missiles, even if it cannot break through the defense, 
it will not be able to play a role in blocking the Tushin in the future. All tanks must retain enough armor under this round of missile attacks. Without any hesitation, Lu Chen's thoughts flashed. The two tanks, Qi Yin and Ji Tian, disappeared directly out of thin air. They were taken back by Lu Chen into the thunderstorm's vehicle space. Since the thunderstorm has not damaged it, his vehicle space is still useful. The next second, faced with more missiles fired at Colossus and Chi Tian, Lu Chen remained calm and his eyes were firm. Deflection shield. Rub. A blue light curtain spread out around the giant statue. After a moment, a protective shield formed into a hemisphere, covering the Colossus and Chi Tian in the same direction. The extremely fast missiles shot towards the protective shield like lightning. The protective shield seemed to be extremely thin, but it blocked all the missiles and discriminate bombardment. Layers of ripples spread out on the surface of the shield, and missiles disappeared in an instant as if they were lost in the sea. The missile attack stopped and the deflection shield slowly closed. None of the missiles fell, and they were all defended by the deflection shield. Although the seemingly indifferent defense was dangerous, only Luchin knew how dangerous it was. This defensive missile almost exhausted all the energy of the Colossus. The face of the Colossus was completely red, and the energy warning sounded sharply. Charge! Lu Chen ignored other things and roared at the communicator. This is their only chance, and they must try their best. With a flash of thought, red flames and lightning reappeared. Their two tanks were the first to join the battle of the cock cutting wheel. Bang bang. After two collisions, red flame and lightning suddenly got stuck into the terrifying cutting wheel of the Earth God. Facing such a behemoth, even a super tank seems a bit unsatisfactory. However, the addition of red flames and lightning greatly eased the lost speed of thunderstorm armor. Things are changing for the better. Boom boom. There were two more explosions, and two super tanks. One large and one medium. Colossus and Chintian also crashed into the cutting wheels of the Earth God. The original cutting pressure was evenly distributed to each tank and the Tushin did not move at all. Stuck! Lu Chen gave another order, and all the tanks were driven at full speed to prevent the cutting wheels from ejecting themselves. Several of the most powerful super machines in the world actually rushed together to engage in hand-to-hand -hand combat. While Lu Chen was cursing in his heart, his mind flashed and was sent directly to the thunderstorm cab. Now they have only trapped the Saturn, and to break through its armor, they must use disintegrating lasers. Lu Chen stepped on the accelerator, and after Lei Bao struggled for a while, he successfully escaped from the cutting wheel. With a powerful flick of the tail, Lu Chen turned the thunderstorm around and pointed it head-on at the center of the Tushin. The laser muzzle is opened again, and the fission laser enters charging mode. I don't know whether it sends the power of the disintegration laser or something else, but the cutting wheel of the Earth God once again increased its destructive power. The armor loss speed of the stud gear super tank has been further accelerated. Rong Hu Biao. Boom. Before Lu Chen finished shouting, Rong Hubi activated Qin Qian's armor shock. Strong shock waves spread out layer by layer. Even the armor of his own tank was damaged. This is a rain-shaped skill. But the good news is that after this reduction, the armor value of each tank will no longer decrease. Not only Lin Ji, but also the Earth God was affected by the shock wave. In any case, this shock gave our side a lot of time. The muzzle of the gun turned from blue to red and the disintegration laser finally charged up. Let's see where you run away this time. Lu Chen's thoughts flashed, and the disintegrating laser roared out like a divine punishment. Lu Chen didn't know where the cockpit was, but he adhered to the principle that the center must be an important part. He aimed his laser at the very center of the Saturn. Boom! Shen Hong flashed by, and everything depended on it. When everyone opened their eyes again, they saw a red molten hole in the center of the Earth God. The metal armor has turned into fiery red molten iron and is slowly flowing downwards. Did you make it? Just when everyone was wondering. There was a sound. And the Tushin began to operate again. Damn it! Lu Chen cursed in his heart and opened the panel. He found that the armor value of each tank began to decrease again. But the rate of decrease slowed down a bit. The giant cutting wheel on the outside has been damaged. But the small and delicate cutting wheel on the inside is not. But the cracking laser has already entered the cooling stage. Can the armor value of the tank be maintained until the cooling is completed? Chase Lu set his sights on the Tushin again. He discovered that the disintegrating laser had dissolved the outer armor. And the inner armor was obviously not of the same grade. Maybe the fire blade can cut through it. On the battlefield where life and death are on the line. All decisions must be made in the shortest possible time. Flash's armor has dropped by 
and Qian and Colossus Qingqian's armors are also on the edge of 30%. There is no time for myself to think now. Lu Chen kicked the accelerator, causing Thunderstorm to crash into the Tushin again. As the two parties approached, Lu Chen opened the car door, turned over and climbed onto the roof of the car, activated his powers, and his whole body entered a molten state. Moments before the collision, Lu Chen made a leap and climbed directly into the large hole opened by the cracking laser. With a bang, the double fire blades popped out. Lu Chen inserted it into the inner armor of the Tushin without any hesitation. Chi. There was a sound of vaporizing from the armor instantly. Just as Lu Chen thought. Although the inner armor is much stronger than ordinary armor. It is far inferior to the outer metal tower material. His fire blade can cut through it. Lu Chen used all his strength to carve a human-shaped hole in the inner armor. After the cutting was completed, Chase Lu suddenly pulled it out. The thick inner armor was broken open. And a maintenance channel was revealed in front of Lu Chen. Lu Chen took a step forward and found that above the center was the cockpit of the Earth God. And a man with countless wires and cables behind him was staring at him blankly. Ringi. Lu Chen murmured. He stepped forward, his two blazing blades burning like the blazing sun. Lin Ji. Suspended in the air and connected to various instruments. Moved his arms. There were two more chirps from the cutting wheel of the Saturn. It's over. Stop. Lu Chen's calm voice sounded. The next moment, a red flame flashed in front of Lin Ji. Shua. By the time he reacted, he had lost his suspension and fell to the ground. The alarm sounded, and all the pipes connected to him were cut into pieces by Lu Chen. Zheng, the fiery red blade faded away, and the silver-white hidden sword was placed between Lin Ji's eyebrows. It's over! Chapter 200 is a crazy reward. Sirens buzz behind Lin Ji, and Kulin gush from the pipes. His god Gabbana, naked and withered, knelt down in front of Lu Chen. His ambitions, dreams, pride, everything was shattered with the shutdown of the Saturn. Lin Ji fell to his knees, sobbing constantly, crying like an old cat. Lu Chen retracted his hidden sword and kicked him with a knee, knocking him over on his back. The force of this blow was so great that his rotten wood-like body let out a wail of pain. Dark black blood gushes from the shattered nose bones. Unpleasant cries echoed in the cab along with the alarm. Lu Chen looked at the haggard Lin Ji, and finally let go of his worries. The war against the Salvation Army finally comes to an end. Lu Chen let out a long breath, endless fatigue welling up in his heart. When the adrenaline secreted on the line between life and death fades away, all that is left in the body is endless fatigue. This day of fighting underground was extremely thrilling. But no matter what the process is, the crying Lin Ji in front of him is the best victory prize. Lu Chen turned around and left the cockpit. Lin Ji was already disabled. He wanted to tell the team members the news and also asked Lil to give him some treatment because he seemed to have drained himself dry using some kind of technique. At least Lu Chen didn't look like this when he made a video call before. The leader of the big base in Haichang City must know a lot of secrets and he can't be allowed to die so easily. Walking to the cockpit, Lu Chen saw that the team members had all run out of the tank. Among them, Xuan Yuan, Yudan and others are still trying to enter through the entrance of the cave. When everyone saw Lu Chen coming out of the cave, their tense expressions immediately became relaxed. Lu Chen showed a calm smile. We won. Everyone. Woohoo. Yeah. As soon as he finished speaking, Yu Dan and others took the lead in cheering. The joy of victory filled everyone's face. The opponent's combat power is very close to our own in every dimension. For most of the team members participating in the battle, this battle was definitely the most dangerous one. Along the way, any link will mean failure. And this victory is absolutely significant. This is not only their first victory in Haichung, but also determines whether they can gain a foothold in Haichung. It also let them know the specific combat power of Haichung, paving the way for future development. Finally, the Salvation Army, a huge organization, will bring them endless trophies. Yudan, bring Seelyang up and carry this man down. Rong Hubiao, notify each convoy and do your best to capture the deserters. At the end of the day, we must keep their tanks. Everyone else, pack up and we're going back to camp. Lu Chen said to everyone. Good. All the team members agreed in unison and took action immediately. Lu Chen stood at the entrance of the hole where the earth god was penetrated. And the breeze mixed with the smell of dust blew by his ears. Even though part of the blade is in the soil. Lu Chen is still nearly 10 meters above the ground. Which shows the huge size of the Tushin. He kicked his feet. 
and the crisp memory of stepping on metal reached his ears. Vulcan. Earth God. Luchin showed a smile on his lips. The battle supplies from this battle will definitely more than double their combat power. A new era for them is about to begin. The Salvation Army. This organization entrenched beneath the entire Haichung city. Can be called the underground king of Haichung. Its size is simply staggering. The work of cleaning up the battlefield and taking stock of the harvest continued late into the night. Seeing more and more refugees and prisoners gathering in the camp. The team members below all became numb. Rong Hubiu and Zhuang Yuan went into battle together to count the various weapons and equipment seized and the number of prisoners. The first is the captured warriors. The Angel of Death only had 10 convoys entering Hai Chung this time. So they could only hold 10 escape exits. There are definitely hundreds of subway entrances and exits in Hai Chung City. So the prisoners captured this time must only account for a small number. Even with these small numbers, the team members intercepted nearly 100 heavy armored combat vehicles and 20 heavy artillery combat vehicles. The number of captured combatants easily exceeded 1,000. And the number of refugees and logistics personnel detained below exceeded 1,000. Later, seeing that there were too many people, Lu Chen asked the convoy to come back and ban the convoy from pulling people. With the current size of the Death Angel, it is impossible to digest so many people. These are just the trophies obtained by guarding the entrance of the cave. And they have not yet been explored underground. There will definitely be more weapons and equipment hidden underground. Including the Vulcan. Apart from weapons and equipment. The next step is crystal cores and superpowers. According to statistics, there were 15 supernatural beings captured this time. Including a third stage psychic. The team members directly obtained more than 20 secondary crystal nuclei. The crystal core that Chase Lu obtained himself is even more exaggerated. When escaping from the metal base, Lu Chen did not watch the crystal core harvest because of the critical situation. Later, when he checked it for himself, he almost choked on his own saliva. Not to mention the countless first level crystal nuclei. There are actually 50 second level crystal nuclei. And the number of third level crystal nuclei is a number that Lu Chen has never seen before. There are 8 in total. The level 3 crystal cores obtained in this battle were equal to the sum of all previous battles combined. When he saw the number of crystal nuclei, Lu Chen even doubted whether he had really defeated such a large base. Apart from the chariot and the crystal core, the next step is the more important strategic level device. After obtaining three mechanical hearts, Chase Lu could directly unlock a large tank. There are also war behemoths such as the Earth God and the Vulcan. Although Lu Chen has not yet experimented, he guesses that they can most likely be modified through crystal cores. Finally, there is the leader Lin Ji, whose special power is what Lu Chen wants to obtain most at the moment. Seeing such a wealth of loot, Lu Chen almost didn't know where to start upgrading first. By using all these crystal cores for upgrades, Lu Chen estimates that the overall combat power of the super tank will be improved to a very terrifying level. With great joy and excitement, Lu Chen planned to start with the Colossus first, before upgrading the Colossus. He also analyzed the eight third level crystal cores obtained from the Salvation Army base. After all, some third level crystal core powers are still very terrifying. If it is simply used for upgrading, it would be a bit of a waste. It didn't matter if it wasn't analyzed. Lu Chen was shocked again when it was analyzed. The abilities of these crystal nuclei seemed to be specially prepared for him. It was able to perfectly solve all Lu Chen's concerns.